jewelry maker. We're making jewelry. Jewelry. Good morning, jewelry makers, and welcome to a gorgeous brand new Wednesday. <laughs> We've only got a got Monica today. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> We got Michael on cameras, everyone. Hey. King is on floor, my gorgeous, gorgeous King. And there she is. She's so lovely. Uh, we've got uh, production manager Ale, he's directing the show. Hoo, 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 hoo. And we've also got Lee Ham Dickens. He's going to be producing. Oh, look at you. It's the wave. It's that wave. <laughs> Over the shop. Hi. <laughs> we have got the most amazing show for you today. Uh, it's really good to be back. Um, how are you all? Message us. We'd love to hear from you today. Um, and uh, yeah, just let us know what you're up to. How are you, lovely Monica? I'm very good, thank you. Are you all all right? Yes, it's nice to have some sunshine these days. Isn't it? Well, yesterday and today wasn't great, but the last... It was a bit grey yesterday. Yeah. Where, where, where is this sunshine? Today, I think, is going to be nice. And this weekend? Well, I hope so. I really hope so. Liam was sat in the pub yesterday and it was cold. Oh. Oh, Liam. You went to a beer garden. Oh, no, don't do that when it's cold. Right. <laughs> We've got a brilliant show. Uh, we have got so much coming up. Uh, in this hour, check it out, check it out. The most beautiful, beautiful daisy earrings. Oh, my God, Aww, they're so cute. Good. Aren't they adorable? Oh. The beautiful little pearl in the middle. They're on pre-order. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, they're on pre-order at the minute. Uh, in at a tenner, just to let you know. Uh, so add those to your order as quickly as you can. Also, coming up in this hour, we've also got not one, but two hypo cement glues. Oh, yes, we bundled them together. Uh, and the price point is going to be absolutely ridiculous. So they're going to be coming up. Um, these are going to be so, so brilliant for the nine o'clock kits, aren't they, Monica? They are. They're perfect for the nine o'clock kits. Yeah. Nine o'clock kits, K2 Jasper and all of the threading material, uh, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, it's going to be absolutely brilliant. Look at these gorgeous, gorgeous K2 Jasper, beautiful turquoise uh, connector in there as well. Look at the amount of cord you're going to be getting with these kits. They're absolutely brilliant. And loads lovely. and loads and loads of your um, uh, kind of uh, satin uh, braided cord. And we've got another kit with cord as well, uh, which is great, great, great. Uh, 10 o'clock, oh yes, we've got these beautiful strands. Uh, we've got Dave joining us at 10 for these gorgeous um, strands of Jade Hagu's. Hey really excited about bringing you these. Loving the different sizes, Monica. Yeah. Oh yes. They're nice, they only, aren't they? You only need like one of each and you've got a beautiful pendant for the three of them on top. So of simple, so easy, yeah. but so effective. Absolutely gorgeous. So uh, beautiful, beautiful strands. That's going to be absolutely awesome. Um, now, 11 o'clock, we've got some blue jade as well, which is uh, blue jade, uh, blue john, which is going to be really exciting as well. That's uh, going to be coming up. We've got gorgeous rice beads as well. These ones here, uh, which are coming up in the 11 o'clock hour as well. Hopefully we'll get a chance to get through them all. We've got loads to get through. Um, so really excited about the blue john. Uh, we've also got one meter strands coming up in the nine, 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock, we've got the most gorgeous, gorgeous kits. Shell pearl kits. Now, these kits are gorgeous and they've got these beautiful little tassels. They're wonderful, aren't they, Monica? Oh, I love the 12 o'clock kits. It's so pretty and um, the colours colors are just gorgeous. So beautiful colours. You've got the gorgeous tassels on there as well. Yes. And you're going to be getting the white seed beads as well. So really excited about that. Liam has already said the more people who get the hypo cement on pre-order, the lower the price is going to be. So exciting times. Uh, yeah, so you've got, to, you've got to check out. You've got to get these. Hypo cement glue is the ultimate, ultimate glue. Um, we've got the Wall of Fame. We've got the Wall of Fame draw today. Shall we go there? We'll see you there. Here we go. So the Wall of Fame starting off today, kicking us off is Angela Payne, 608. Oh, look at that beautiful photo. Look oh. at that gorgeous photo she's taken there. Good morning, lovely people. 
This week's entry is a new collection of cultured pearls, gemstones in bracelets, uh, gemstones and pearls in bracelets and matching earrings from my Etsy shop. I recently purchased three strands of near round pearls from yourselves and I paired them with sapphire, ruby and tanzanite from JM. Sterling silver findings uh, as well. Hope you like them. The flowers are from my garden. I was wondering, Angela, they're lovely flowers you've got there, sweetie. Gorgeous. Thank you so much for that. Deborah Sabine, your number 609. Oh, nice. Beautiful <laughs> bit of wire work here. Um, hello to the JM team. Here's my entry. It's a dragonfly is shown and made by Mark this week. It's been made with 0.8 and 0.4 round copper wire. Beads from my mega 16 strand bundle of six mil rounds uh, that I bought a couple of weeks ago. And some beads from a bead scoop I've had for many moons. Uh, all components have been purchased from JM. I wish everyone good luck in the draw this week, but could really do with a win. Deborah, best of luck, sweetie. And also, don't forget, at nine o'clock, we've got these gorgeous meter long strands coming up. So they're going to be brilliant. They're just up your street. Who's your first entry from, Monica? My first one is from Jane Sado Oh, Sado gorgeous. That's beautiful. I oh. love that. That's me. Uh, she says, good morning, jewellery maker. Please may I enter this week's Wall of Fame with my second Tree of Life sun catcher. This time it's rose quartz nuggets, a rose quartz cabochon for the grounding stone and rose gold coloured wire in one millimetre and 0.4 millimetre. I think this wire really enhances the rose quartz. I agree, actually. And of course, a flurry of sparkle from moustache on the top. This is a smaller version, but I think it has as much impact, so I hope that you like it. Good luck to my fellow woffers, who are all such a talented bunch. And thank you so much, JM, for showing my first sun catcher a few weeks back on the telly. Yay, thank you, JM. Do you know what? Do you know what I love about that? I love the way that that kind of floral kind of yeah. theme spills over. It does. Uh, to the, to, over the top. It's absolutely cool. And I love that crystal she's used at the base. Yeah. So you can really see that it's really been design. thought through. It's not just... Yeah. You know. Jane, that's yeah. awesome. Gorgeous. Thank you. Number 611 is Jackie Davis. Oh, pretty. Oh, cute earrings. I like those. Hi, all at JM. Here's my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's a pair of sterling silver earrings with red garnet rectangle and faceted round. All products are from JM. Hope you like them. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't That's it? That's really lovely, Jackie. Thank oh. you so much, lovely. Okay, then six, Gorgeous. 612 is Diana West. Oh, pretty. Nice. Good morning, JM. Please find attached my entry to the Wall of Fame, a simple lariat necklace made with gold-plated base metal, chain toggle clasp and shell pearl with all products from Jewelry Maker. I would love some more chain as beautiful. Good luck to all in the draw. Oh, thank you, Diana. Gorgeous. I've got Julie Dudley from the Isle of Wight. Hello, my darling. Good morning. Um, hello again, everyone. I've been playing around with the concept of stretchy bracelets and mixing it together with other mediums. Oh. So this week's uh, Wall of Fame entry is a mix of rosary links and stretchy bracelets. I like oh, that. What a ever. great idea. Yeah. Um, I've also made a mix of wire work and stretchy bracelets recently. I'm planning on trying other mediums like macrame. Just makes it so easy to wear. Uh, good luck to everybody in the draw this week. Lots of love and best wishes. Julie, thank you, my lovely. Gorgeous. Um, Angela Smith, you're number 614. Oh, lovely. Oh. Um, hi, everyone. This week's entry to the Wall of Fame is a necklace made using Auralite um, uh, quartz, size 15 seed beads, and finished off with rainbow moonstones, all components from JM. That's a really, that reminds oh. me a little bit of the Tree of Life piece we've just seen, Angela. Yeah. Uh, gorgeous, thank you. Melanie Kears, you're number 615. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh. You're so clever. Um, it's another shoe ornament made with 11 seed beads, silver plated wire from JM, uh, accentuated with a blue lucite flower and a four mil crystal bicone from my stash. That's an absolutely Aww. brilliant project you've worked on there, Melanie. Well done. That's absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so much for that. Right, and then I've got number 616, which is Sarah Beswick. Please find attached this week's entry for the Wall of Fame, a ripple pearl sterling silver necklace. This was made for my daughter's birthday. Pearl for June and three pearls as she was born on a third. All products from JM. Good luck to all. Oh, isn't that nice? It's always nice to make sentimental jewellery. It is, isn't yeah. it? Now we've got to draw the wall of fame. Ooh. Monica's going to be releasing those prize winning balls. <laughs> uh, you're going to be, go on, give them a spin, Monica. Should I do the winner first? The first yeah, go, yeah. Okay. Give them a spin and then do it's the spin, winner. Spin. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. Okay, where's the door? Oh, just door. lots of entries this week. Here we go. So this week's winner of the Wall of Fame, winning £100 credited to the jewelry maker account is number? Number 581. 
Julia Tinsley. Julia Tinsley. Ah, oh, congratulamundo. Well done. You've won a hundred pounds credited to your jewelry maker account. And this week's runner up winning 50 pounds credited to their jewelry maker account is number. Number 605. Erica Cotta. Erica Cotta. Ah, oh, two lovely ladies. Thank you Yay. so much, my lovelies. Ah, oh, gorgeous. Thank you for that, Monica. I like your ring, by the way. Oh, thank you. It was for a show a few weeks ago. Is that made from seed beads? It is, yes. Oh, so <laughs> She's so clever. Oh, look at that ring. Oh, you are, that is brilliant. It's, got, it's a piece of lapis in the center. Is it? It's yeah. beautiful, I love it. Um, now, text topic today. Uh, so I've, I've, been, I've been on holiday, it was lovely. I uh, had a lovely time. Didn't have too many, didn't have any disasters, maybe. No, I think we're actually okay. We want to hear about your your uh, um, holiday disasters. I was going to say jewellery making disasters. And you can text us about that as well if you want to. Or your holiday disasters. We'd love to hear from you. So go to our website and send us a message and we'll read them out. The funnier the better, but keep it clean. It's a family show. Yes, you can send in the really, uh, the really dirty ones, but uh, we can't read them out. But we'll uh, read them to ourselves and have a laugh. Okay. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> okay, perfect. So... Hyper cement coming up. Hyper cement coming up. Maybe you came from, came home from holiday. Maybe you came home from holiday with more than you bargained for. Maybe you came home from holiday with more than you bargained for. Here we go. We're starting off. To, that I didn't. I didn't have fun. Oh God! Right, metallic dark bronze pearls. Where are they? Don't look at me. Dark brown. Here we go. Let's start off with these. Look at these. Don't look at me. We're gonna we're gonna make this a fast a fast pace now. It's a go go go. Eight ninety nine for your metallic Mayuki dark bronze seed beads. Here we go. All the way down. Come on, let's just smash these prices down. Smash them down, four ninety nine. <laughs> there you go, everyone. There's three different ways you can get involved with Jewelry Maker, either by calling us on our free phone number, 0800 644 655, or you can get involved on our website, jewelrymaker.com, or you can, um, uh, what else can you do? Download our app and watch us on the go. Gosh, it's been a while, sorry, everyone. <laughs> Monica, help! Uh, four ninety nine. <laughs> oh, gosh. Hang on a minute. What are you doing with these? I knew we did clearance whilst I was away. What's going on here? Come on. What's going on? Oh, Two no. nine. Oh. You're joking. Are those... those are clearance prices, Such Liam Dickens. Beautiful colour, that one. That one That one just goes with everything. Absolutely, beautiful. doesn't it? Just Cheryl, Joan, D, Alison, Amanda, Trevor. Well done to Maker, Andrea, Joan. 33 opportunities remaining. Go, go, go. Well done. Check out your baskets. Now, we are the UK's only dedicated jewellery making channel. Plus, uh, we're live 365 days a year. Plus, you get a 30 day money back guarantee with everything you get from Jewellery Maker. And you're only paying 3.95 p and per order as well, which is absolutely brilliant. They're a boat to sell out. Here we go. Oh, some symbols. Yeah, no, we're not. Yep, yeah, I got them. Here we go. Oh, hang on. Or are they these ones? No, nope, they're these ones. So here we go. Gold symbols. Now, what are symbols, Monica? Well, symbols um, are basically findings that work with shaped seed beads. Aha. Uh -huh. um, so you so, so you can use these with your. Um, Oh, that's uh, actually a class. Use them with your pressed uh, beads, but also, I mean, yes. I mean, you don't have to use them with your pressed beads, but I mean, they this, do fit really beautifully. Yeah, this particular one is just, a, it's, a, it's a basically a clasp, but it's a really nice uh, um, contemporary one, I think. It, it is nice, really isn't well. it? It's got a lovely finish on it. It's got a lovely shape on it. Uh, and it's, uh, and they've all got really cool names as well. Uh, Samar Samaria. Uh, this one is called 24 Carat Gold Plated, uh, which is absolutely amazing. Wow. That's yours. £2.69. Lots of people getting involved with that one. That's great to see. Well done. Oh, Dark Berry Seed Bees. I've got them here. Ooh. Size eights. Dark Berry. Gorgeous. Oh, I like this colour. 
It's a gorgeous kind of autumnal tone, isn't it? Really, really nice one. There's only a few chances available here. Get involved when you can. Well done. It's a go, 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 4.99. Yes, Liam, go, go, go. Moving on, because they're about to sell out. Well done. Okay, let's move on. Silver in the same shape. Yeah, what I like about the symbols that we do is that, especially the silver ones, they've got like a really lovely, um, almost like a, uh, a satin finish on them. It's not ultra yeah. shiny, is it? Yes. Uh, it's described as antique silver plated. So it's got that lovely kind of slightly brushed finish on it, which sometimes you you want to go for, don't you? You do. And I mean, although this is designed to go with your seed beading and your and your uh, shaped beads, mm. but I mean, this one you can use with any kind of beading. You know, you can just a normal, normal gemstone strand. Absolutely. It will work with. So, yeah. Absolutely. I like it a lot. Joy, Miss Janet, Lisa, Patricia, Cheryl. Well done to you. Hi, gorgeous girls and Team JM. Uh, you have. Yes, please. That would be very helpful. Uh, I uh, hope you had a lovely holes, Carol. Uh, Carol. Thank you. I did. It was lovely. Got the glue. Thank you, Liam. Uh, only with it till nine. Um, so, so have you on record? Oh, fantastic! Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what we can put on pre. Oh, I wonder what we can put on pre-order. We put things on pre-order. So Miss Janet can get a load of stuff. He's going to put a load of stuff on pre-order, darling. He's even put the kits on pre-order, so you can get them as well, Miss Janet. Message in with your holiday disasters. A gem yeah. duo connector. I reckon it's just one here. Is it this one here? Yeah. Do you know what we're going to do? We're going to do this one here today for a pound. It's yours today. Get involved. I love that. Yeah, definitely. Gorgeous. Ooh. That is just lovely, isn't it? And just such a lovely way of incorporating something a bit different into your jewelry. You've got your little, you've got your little loops either side. Uh, so you've got that lovely kind of brushed antique silver quality again, which is really, really nice. Isn't that pretty? Gorgeous. Go, go, go. 0800 644 Well done. I reckon that would work really nicely in chain mail, actually. Flower interlinks. In, ah, I have them here. These are so cute. Yeah. Me too, Lynn. They're awesome, aren't they? Uh, so you've got this gorgeous kind of, it's a real, um, it, it's a depiction of a flower, isn't it? It's got that lovely kind of outline shape, that lovely profile. You'll notice that this one here is um, slightly split. So the great thing about this is they, um, they, they link together. You can simply unclip them, link them back together. You can make an entire necklace or bracelet just using these if you wanted to. Um, yeah, or you, could, or you could use them as a, uh, a, a clasp on the back of a necklace or a bracelet. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. You use them in your... Um, Use them um, as uh, lovely earrings around. You could put resin in the middle of them, couldn't yes, you? Yes, you could, you could. I have a lot of these clasps and I really like them because if you open them up slightly and leave them that way, they won't open on, they won't come apart on their own, but they're yes. really easy to, to do up and to, and to undo as well, like a toggle clasp, basically. It, but precisely, they're super yeah. strong, aren't they? They're really, really reliable. Uh, well done, Go How much were those ones? Three ninety nine. Silver plated base metal. I've got them. Oh, hang on. What about? Hang on. Are we doing? Oh, we're not. Oh, okay. R feathers, things, class, charms. Here we go. Oh. Feathers and beautiful flowers. Oh, they're so sweet. Look, little. Two little feathers. Mm. Two little feathers. Beautiful. Two beautiful hearts. They're sweet, aren't they? You can make a little locket out of those, couldn't you? That would be nice. And you've got beautiful flowers as well. Beautiful flowers. Um, these are uh, plated base metal that you're going to be getting here. Gold-plated base metal. Really, really lovely. Oh, look at that one there. Oh, it's so sweet. Look at that. Oh, I was holding really it the wrong nice way around. It's, it's nice that it's in pairs as well, because you can use them for earrings if you want. Absolutely. I mean, imagine these in lovely earrings with maybe some chain... Uh, coming down some lovely rosary link chain, maybe. Yeah. It's just going to be a lovely, a lovely way to make that collection to really give you that beautiful theme. Three ninety nine, what a great deal today, Rupa. Well done to you. We've got makers coming through, loads of people uh, coming through. Well done, everybody. Whoop. Oh gosh, here we go. Hang on, hang on. There we go. We've got lovely rondelles with Quebec zirconia, and these are so cool. I love the look of these. These have got like a black. Yeah, a black Cabixaconia set. No, it's not. Ah, so it's a crystal um, in like an a, a really dark amethyst colour you've got there. 
gorgeous uh, with your um, lovely kind of dish shape. The nice thing about this is your round beads, if I just grab a strand of rounds, will kind of nestle really nicely in that little cup. So nice. So it's a lovely kind of, it's a lovely punctuation mark, a lovely kind of bracket almost to go around your gemstones. Loads of people coming through for these. That's great to see. Well done to Cheryl, Ms. Janet, Lisa. Also, if you make your sliding class bracelets as well, these make lovely kind of end kind of um, stoppers, if you like, on your cord. Hi, Carol. Glad to see you're back. Uh, I used to get searched every time I flew. Also, uh, I have my suitcase stolen. Stolen! Aww. I have to say, I got, uh, I got frisked at Alicante Airport. Oh. Not a totally unpleasant experience, but um, <laughs> I got frisked. <laughs> everything. You know, they get the swab thing out. The arms are swabbed, everything. Swabbing the bag, everything. It was, things going back through the thing. It was just... Yeah, I suppose I've got that shifty, shifty look about me. Um, not disaster as much, uh, but my wife and I came home from a day at Weston to find the door to our mobile home wide open, nothing missing, thankfully. Oh, we did Ooh. that once. We did left, you? We left the door open like this much, the front door. We left in the morning, came back late at night. <laughs> oh. I was very excited about going uh, down to London with my friend and um, going down to London with my friend and we got on the train and I looked in the car park and I, and I could see I'd left my boot open, the boot open of my car. So I was like, oh, gosh. So I had to step off the train and then go and close the bit and had to wait another 45 minutes for a train. Oh, no. Man, man. Yeah, my, my friend was like, see you later. Uh, no, she waited with me. Um, good story, Carol. 199. Stay tuned for more amazing stories. There we go. That's a brilliant, brilliant deal. You've got that lovely kind of almost diopside uh great yeah the camera is not doing these justice oh there you go but absolutely gorgeous you get that lovely kind of uh diopside green loads of people coming through well done messaging with your holiday disasters fast and piercy yeah don't forget these gorgeous earrings are going to be coming your way in about eight minutes time and you need to check out the glue glue Check out the glue. Check, check. It's a bundle of glue. Check, check. Check it out. Oh, I love these beads, Monica. Yes. Uh, I like the way they just sit on the strand, don't you? I happen to have a necklace here. No. You carry on while I get this out. Okay, look, look at the way they just... Hang on, I'll get those off. Look at the way these sit on the tea bar Don't they look awesome? They look kind of almost like reptilian don't they they're kind of almost got that kind of reptile look to them they're just so cool aren't they they're absolutely brill love them love them love them love them we're going to start off with these lovely silver ones um these are made from crystal i'll move these out of the way these are made from crystal and the, you can have them sticking up like gorgeous spikes work wonderfully in a lovely kind of spiral design Right, look at this. And then I want you to see the necklace that Monica's made using these beads. That is a, that's a masterpiece. That's gorgeous, Monica. That's one of my favourite necklaces. I made this a few I'm years ago. I'm not surprised. Show, but I really love it. Yeah. One of your favourites and it's not purple. No, it's not purple. Amazing. <laughs> uh, but seriously, that design is, is, I love that kind of almost lion's mane you've got going round the bottom yeah. with those gorgeous um, dagger beads. They're beautiful. Aren't they beautiful? So impressive. Um, four ninety nine for you today. Well done. Alison's bought three of those. Well done. Yeah. Let's do like a bronzy. Like a bronzy. Ha! Oh! Threaded father. Right, okay. So these are the right ones. Bronze iris. Just look at them. Oh. Ooh. Oh, I love them. Isn't that brilliant? There's something very shifty going on in a, a honeymoon in Crete, by the sound of it. But uh, I'm not sure whether you can read that one out or not. I just love the way I love the way these spin, uh, the movement you've got there. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? I've got uh, most of my most of my kind of holiday stories that kind of stick in my mind uh, involve Eurocamp. Did anyone used to do Eurocamp when they were younger? So they used to go camp, 
camping in camping in Europe and uh, we went to one in Germany uh, kind of near the Black Forest and there was a man who from dusk till dawn well from dawn till dusk would just literally play the accordion all the time oh. all the time oh, no. to the point where <laughs> pillows over the head it was just yeah um, but then we had another one in Germany where we thought that our holiday was over and we were about to drive home and it wasn't we had another day oh. we, had a, we had a spare day so we went to an amazing um, water park Oh, it nice. was brilliant. Um, yeah. Here we go. Um, oh, look at these. Oh. Oh, I love that. Love that colour. Persian turquoise colour. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, that was nice with your dress. Yeah, it's got that lovely kind of aqua tone to it, doesn't yeah. it? That would look lovely in the necklace you've made, actually, with some lovely it would, oranges. Actually, it's got colors, that kind of Native yeah. American vibe to it, doesn't yeah. it? Oh, I love it. The luster these give off is so impressive, isn't it? Alison, Maeve, Jay Marie, uh, Elaine, Morag, well done to you, my lovelies. Loads of people coming through. Well done. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Isn't that just awesome? Well done, Smuffy. Great to see you this morning, my darling. Well done. Alison's uh, getting three of these. Lovely. Uh, me messaging what are you going to be doing with the oh they've got two holes they do yes sorry i've only just realized <laughs> they got two holes they do, which is great because it helps to position them and make them stay the way that you want them to stay in your design so that that's the best thing about the two holes i love that i love it well done yeah. a burgundy yes like a bronzy oh, yeah. burgundy lovely color isn't that lovely my mum and dad uh, got, I think they must have been, I think they might have been slightly tipsy when they arranged to do this. They kind of got this uh, uh, timeshare and we ended up going to Sardinia. Mm. And we went to Sardinia, beautiful island, and Sardinia was closed, basically. Oh. Nothing was open. <laughs> oh, no. And uh, the first thing we saw when we left the airport was a man in a balaclava, like a woolly balaclava, <laughs> driving a tractor. That's all we <laughs> saw. <laughs> it's just... And the chef at the local restaurant was making heart-shaped pizzas for my dad. And it was just, it was a very <laughs> odd, odd holiday. Now, look at this. You can really get these to sit the way you want them to, as you said, uh, Monica. That, yeah. oh, that's so cool. Oh, and it's purple as well. Mm. It is purple. purple. It is purple, Monica. Um, it's like a double helix, like a strand yeah. of DNA almost, isn't it? Oh, wow. Look at that. So cool. Oh. 4 99 We've got the earrings coming up in just a couple of seconds as well. Really excited about that. Keep coming through for that one. Well done. Loads of people coming through today. There are two more. Blue. Mm. Oh, look, they make lovely circles as well. They do. You can make nice flowers from them. Yeah, beautiful flowers using these. It looks like when you peel an apple, isn't it? <laughs> I am making shapes, Ollie. You're right, absolutely right. <gasps> like a hotis Isn't that lovely? Or one of those things you hang in your garden, which... Oh, yeah. Isn't that lovely? Oh, I love... Oh, they're so cool. I don't think I'd be able to bring myself any... Uh, 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 to do anything with these. This is just gorgeous. Here we go. Can I read that one off the thingy? Angela in Hampshire, good morning. Not a disaster, but a few years ago, we were driving along a German autobahn uh, when we saw a field full of people picnicking naked. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> so how many, how many car crashes were there next to that? I thing? know, right? <laughs> People rubber naked. Ooh. Uh, those are the kind of those those are the stories we want to hear. Those are the kind of stories we want to hear. <laughs> That's <hilarious. laughs> oh, here we go. It's, yeah, there's no speed limit on the autobahn, but everyone was driving at ten miles an hour. <laughs> yeah. Here we go, everyone. Look, oh, they, oh I love these. Oh. Magical. Magic. Four ninety nine for you today. Smoffy's straight through for these. How are these described? Luster, pink crystal. Oh, they're beautiful, aren't they? Got lovely greys and silvers in those and some gorgeous golds and pinks. Beautiful. Well done. Karen in the West Midlands, a friend of mine, took her daughter to Singapore. Unfortunately, the child threw up in her changing bag. That's bad. So everything that in there that would have been clean. No. No, not good. Not good. That is awful. Oh. Right, I think it's time for the early bird. Um, that story is hilarious. They were picnicking naked. Let's do <laughs> the gorgeous daisy earrings. Let's go.
Right, the most gorgeous, gorgeous early bird special today. Can I have my PowerPoint, please? There's only a couple of slides that I wanted to show you. But what did, this for me is a daisy. What, what do daisies say to you? What do they, what do they say to you? For me, it kind of takes me back to my childhood making daisy chains. Um, and actually, it was, it, it was lovely watching my kids make daisy chains as well. And thinking, gosh, I used to do that. And it really does kind of take you back to that kind of, that kind of innocent age, that kind of, um, you know, when, when summer holidays seem to last for an, an absolute eternity. And it was just, it was just, those were fun times, yeah. And it's that symbol, uh, uh, daisies are actually a hybrid flower. They're made up of a few different flowers. Um, uh, but it's a symbol of kind of childhood and innocence and, and uh, you know, wild, wild flowers, nature. But it can be used, obviously, in kind of quite kind of high fashion ways as well. The first thing that comes to my mind is, is, is the Daisy perfume by, um, by um, Marc Jacobs. It's a really lovely perfume. And it's just got daisies all over it. And they do different kind of ranges, different kind of um, uh, kind of um, they do. Um, they do. Uh, uh, kind of special edition ones with different kind of colours and different scents, but they've always got this lovely kind of motif on them. There's also, if you go, if you look at uh, websites like Pandora as well, um, they're really into kind of lovely commercial designs, things that sell. There's nothing too avant-garde about anything that they design. You know, it's designed to sell. It's designed to kind of go into stores and to be appealing to as many people as possible. And this kind of lovely floral ring, really, really pretty, 80 pounds. It's absolutely gorgeous in that lovely rose gold finish. Um, and I like the trilogy as well. Um, really, really sweet. And it got me thinking as well. This could be the beginning of a collection for you. This could be the theme of a collection. So not just earrings, because you look at these, they're quite big, aren't they? But you could quite easily, if you wanted to, make this into a ring. You could literally just take the little loop off the bottom, turn the, turn, uh, the post on the back of the earring over and make it into a lovely anchor point and then, and then make it into a gorgeous ring. You could, if you wanted to, turn the post over and uh, make that into a gorgeous uh, pendant. Uh, you could even, if you wanted to, if, you've, if, if you're kind of really good with your wire work, you could even solder a little loop onto it and make them into connectors as well. I just think it's, you can look at these as earrings, but I think there's so much potential with these. Don't you think, Monica? Absolutely. And as you say, a, a daisy is, if you say to somebody, picture a flower in your head, that's what, what comes to mind, isn't it? Precisely. Yeah. precisely and it's that kind of he loves me he loves me not it's that yeah. kind of it's just it's just it's yeah. just so lovely so romantic isn't it but I think Monica's absolutely right you know you ask a child to draw you a picture of a flower it's gonna look yeah. like this now before anybody uh, before, just to save you some time they're solid sterling silver and by the way they're pearls you get a pearl a button pearl in the center of each one of these. They are adorable. They are so, so sweet. I'm gonna get them off the uh, little um, off, off the little stand because you need to see the size of these. Um, Sarah from Cornwall, you want eight of these, my lovely. Okay, well, just check out. But I'm being serious. I think this could be a really good basis for a collection. Not too big for a ring, definitely not too big for a pendant. Great for earrings, great for connectors. You've got a really lovely design. Look how shiny they are as well. Got that lovely, slightly kind of, um, that lovely kind of petal shape as well, which is absolutely gorgeous. All of that wonderful luster, that gorgeous sterling silver luster. And then they've got that beautiful little kind of um, pinky buff coloured um, uh, uh, button pearl in the centre. Now, the price point we're going to do today is utterly, utterly, utterly brilliant. They're sterling silver, they've got pearls, they've got the most gorgeous design. These earrings are $8.99 today. I know, incredible. Just get them, go, 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 go. Just the earrings on their own without anything dropped from them, any more pearls or any more gemstones or birthstones dropped from them. Just the earrings alone as stud earrings, 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds. Eight pounds 99, it's incredible. There's loads of people coming through today, loads of people multi-buying. And that really makes me happy because it means that maybe this is gonna be the start of a collection for you. Maybe it is gonna be your little tag. Maybe it is gonna be your little insignia. Maybe it is gonna be the beginning of a brand new collection for you. Maybe you could call the collection, I don't know, fresh as a daisy. Maybe you could call it, I don't know, childhood memories or something like that. Or, you know, just, just really just look at these and appreciate these for what these are. They're not just beautiful floral designs. They're really commercial and people 
Will, Will, Will. Oh, that's a great idea. Hang chain for them and call them daisy chains. I love that idea. Isn't that great? Less than 100 chances remaining. Well done. These are brand new this morning. They're just gorgeous. Loads in baskets. Check out as soon as you can. So many multi bidders as well, which is great to see. Aren't they lovely, Monica? Also, and if you, if you, especially if you're selling, flowers are always popular. And yeah. pearls, everybody loves pearls. So I'd say it's very sort of commercial. It's very... Um, uh, well, everybody will love it really and you can you can make it into you can just use it as they're intended with with a drop on it it'll take you five minutes it'll cost you less than 10 pounds yeah yeah uh, and everybody's going to love it you can put different things on there you can hang pearls on there but you can put any gemstone on there and then you could also just cut off the post at the back and you've got a pendant precisely on a chain so you can make a set even Absolutely. Pendants, rings, uh, earrings, obviously, connectors, centerpieces to bracelets. Eight ninety nine is your deal today. Well done. Oh, Manchester's got three. Yorkshire's got three. Uh, Neathport Talbot's got two. Warwickshire's got two. Gosh, there's so many multi bidders. This is absolutely brilliant. Well done. £8.99. pence. We've got less than 50 chances available. We start off with 150 of these. There's absolutely loads in baskets. Please check out as soon as you can. Manchester's just multi-bought three loads of these. Well done to you. We will move on. We'll recap them um, as we go throughout the show today. We're not going to do viewers' choices now because, honestly, there is so much um, with big, big quantities uh, that, you know, you can get them as we go throughout the show today, which is great. Well done. Let's have a little look. I've got some. Oh, yes, I think I do, actually. Yeah, sterling silver clasps. Now, I feel like these are the kind of things which we've been crying out for. Um, <laughs> especially in sterling silver. So, 925 sterling silver lobster claw clasp. Absolutely brilliant. Who doesn't want one of those? You know, really, really useful. Absolutely fantastic. But it does have something really special as well. You've also got this. Ooh. This little kind of uh, cup on the end, on either end of the clasp. And it's in a rectangular shape. These are absolutely perfect for your cords, perfect for your braids, perfect for your leather cords, perfect for your kind of uh, woven pieces as well. And all you literally do is you literally just glue them, either bind them with wire and, and, and kind of glue it into the um, end cap, or you just literally glue them directly in. And they're sterling silver. Yes, using the hypo cement. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, Monica. Use your hypo cement. We've got the hypo cement bundle coming up yeah. towards the end of the hour. They're going to all sell out, which is going to be brilliant. We're going to take the price point down all the way. Here we go, all the way down. When you're finding, uh, wh when you make your kind of either kumihimo or macrame pieces, um, quite often the most difficult part is ending those pieces, you know, finishing them off. We're offering you these gorgeous, gorgeous clasps with these beautiful end caps. Ruby's bought four of these. D, Maker, Maker. I know it, it, it does feel like years since we've been waiting for these. $9.99 for both of these today. Well done, Karen in Dorset, Sheila in Devon. Well done to you as well. Manchester's through. Morag, Sheila. Well done to you. Maker in Greater London's got two uh, loads of these. Well done to you. Absolutely fantastic. $9.99. Well done. Okay, squeezing as much in as we possibly can. Yes, I've got a gold bar. Is it? Gold-plated sterling silver. What are we thinking? My gosh. Oh, look, I've got some lovely cord here. You could weave your cord through. Oh, very nice. That's amazing. We've never done this um, um, outside of a kit before. This is really exciting. So, uh, gold-plated sterling silver. Yeah, just pop it on a chain. You could if you wanted to, because it's quite a lot of gold you get. I mean, it's a lot of precious metal you're getting there. If you wanted to engrave onto that, yeah. put a date of birth or, uh, you know, Roman numerals or a name or whatever it might be, uh, you absolutely could do, couldn't you? That would be so lovely. I love that gentle curve you're going to be getting there. Doesn't that look great? So beautiful. It's got that wonderful kind of square uh, profile to it as well. So you could put all sorts of different cords through that. Isn't that lovely, Monica? It is. I mean, you could even just put it in the middle of a stretchy bracelet and it'll look very designer, I think. Yeah. Well, um, it was Julie Dudley, wasn't it, who sent in those kind of mixed mixed media stretchy bracelets. Oh, yeah. That's a, 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 a yeah. nice thing for you to do, actually. Great idea. That's going to sit beautifully, isn't it? Well done. So, yeah. So next we've got, these are really lovely. These are sliding class bracelets, which, which you get kind of ready to ready to ready to kind of make yourself so you've got this gorgeous cord the thing i love about this cord is it's got that lovely 
satin smooth quality to it, to this lovely braid. You can kind of untwist it, uh, but really twist it up. It's got that really lovely tight kind of uh, rope quality to it. You've then got your end caps here, which you will kind of, if you need to cut this down ever so slightly and glue that in, then you absolutely can do. Then you've got your sliding uh, clasp as well, which is absolutely brilliant. There's your slider. Um, in rose gold plated sterling silver. Looks like it's not going to go through, but if you do get a, a, a fine piece of wire and literally just hook it through the braid and then you pull it through, it will go through. The whole point is it's meant to be a tight fit anyway. Um, 6 99 two of those left. Well done, about to sell out. Loads of people through. We've got the gold version now with this gorgeous khaki green rope, which I love. This has got to be one of my favourite colours. I have to say, I love this khaki green. Or as Liam would call it, kahiki. <laughs> kahiki. <laughs> yeah, like tzatziki, but kahiki. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, love, I love a bit of uh, kahiki on me uh, fajita. Here we go. Doesn't that look nice against Perfect. the green, the gold? Oh, yeah. Looks super expensive, doesn't it? It oh, looks the... really... Um, you could... You could, Ooh. you could thread the gold bar into the middle of that before oh, you make it up. Yes, Monica! She's Ooh, full of ideas. Really of course you're going to need... Well, this is what Monica said. Of course you're going to need the hyper cement. You're going to need the hyper cement. Yeah, you're going to need the hyper cement to use with all of these bad boys. Love you. Love you, love you. There it is. That one's about to sell out as well. And then this one's going to be seriously popular. Silver. That was gold-plated silver, by the way. Great prices for precious metal, aren't they? Yeah. She said, spitting everywhere. Sorry. Say again, love. Oh, have we? Oh, here we go. Six ninety nine sterling silver with that gorgeous gunmetal um, cord. Isn't that lovely? Also, if you get if you get kind of the um, if you get one of each of these, you could always mix up your metals, couldn't you? Mm. Why not? Why not mix up your metals? Go for it. You're the owner of this. You are the master of your jewellery making journey. <laughs> well done, Morag, Cheryl, Jenny, Maker. But everyone who's coming through to get these and the bar, um, et cetera, et cetera. You are going to need the hypo cement glue and the daisy earrings, especially if you're going to be putting pearls with those as well. You're going to need your hypo cement. Well done, everyone. Go, go, go. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, Rajasthan garnet. Yeah, the most amazing garnet coming up next. You're going to love this. This is such a great stone. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Here we go. Oh, my word. Oh, wow. Woo! It's a huge stone. Oh. I know, right? Look at the size of that. Wow. Don't you love that kind of crackliness that you get from garnet? Yes, it's, and it's got a little bit of flash of purple in it, I think. You've got purples, hot yes. pinks, you've got reds, you've got maroons. The clarity is amazing. Seven ninety nine. And by the way, um, yeah, to over two and a quarter carats that you're going to be getting here uh, for under ten pounds, which is absolutely, uh, which is absolutely brilliant. And by the way, it's nine by seven mil in size, so it's got that calibrated size as well. So do go to our website, look at any semi mounts that we've got, maybe in this size. That would work as a ring, as a pendant. Um, that, that's going to work in so many different designs. That's a really substantial stone. Isn't that gorgeous? $7.99. Well done. Okie dokie, picking a pokey. I do. Why ya? Why ya, you wanna? Silver plated, non tarnished, Ooh. round Ooh. copper wire. Two mil Ooh, gauge. Oh, that's. Ooh. Yeah. These are your big, uh, your big Arnie gauges. Two millimeter gauge, it is super strong. Super strong. Linda and Denise, isn't there a new series out, a, a new documentary about that, uh, Arnie, on Netflix? Any good? Has anyone seen it? It's not a documentary. Oh, it was a comedy series. Oh. Oh? It's a documentary and a series. Oh, there's a documentary and a series. Okay. Jane Maker. Maker in Lancashire, uh, Lanarkshire, Manchester, Surrey, Sheffield. Well done to you, Cumbria. Well done to you. Eight ninety nine. Anti tarnish, two mil. That's gorgeous, and it's silver plated as well, which is absolutely brilliant. Copper underneath as well, which is absolutely fantastic. Well done, Elvira Ruby Maker in Manchester. Well done to you. Sold out. Brass. 
Yeah, I've got non-tarnish round brass wire. Mm -hmm. uh, five meters, two mil gauge. Ooh, this is now bra working with brass compared to working with copper. Brass is even stronger, even more resilient to uh, kind of bending and being maneuvered around. Um, it really is the most amazing um, base metal that you've got here. And there are certain things that you will want to use a really super duper strong wire for. Needs a bit more of a bit more strength to kind of get it to do what you want it to do. But it's honestly, in the long run, it's absolutely brilliant stuff. Six ninety nine for you today. Well done. Yeah, great just for a bangle on its own. One of those lovely kind of christening sliding bangles. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or a talk necklace. Like a talk brilliant necklace. as a talk yeah. necklace. Yes, absolutely. Oh, no, it's not. It's what, sorry? Six forty nine. Yeah. No, it's not. It's eight forty six. That was a joke. Forget about it. Just forget about it. Nor point six non tarnished round brass wire. Come on, everyone. Five meters, point six. It's go, go, go. How about we do three ninety nine? How about we don't do three ninety nine? How about we do one ninety nine? Yes, let's go lower. Open your baskets up, everybody. Well done, Manchester, Kent, South Yorkshire. Well done to you. Yes, absolutely wonderful. And the point six wire is perfect for your rosary linking. That's that's I think the best. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, doing um yeah, do your rosary linking, um, because you need a you need a wire that's fine but strong, don't you? Exactly, your exactly. Yeah. yeah. Good call. One ninety nine. Well done, Jay Marie, Maker, and Sophia. Well done to you as well, Chris and Jeannie. Well done to you as well, my lovelies. Uh, gorgeous, well done, absolutely phenomenal. Oh, got some lovely press, some more lovely press beads, which is great to see. Well done to you. One pound ninety nine. Awesome. Message in holiday disasters. So on this same holiday where Sardinia was closed, mm -hmm. uh, we were staying. We were staying in an apartment, and the apartment above us was uh, there was a family in there with two with with, with twin girls. And these twins were probably nine or ten, always immaculately dressed, identical twins. Yeah. And my mum and dad went for a walk on the beach. And they were kind of went, went, went and looked at the water. And then they turned around. These twins were standing there, kind of literally like something out The Shining. They were standing, just standing there, looking absolutely immaculate, no sand on them or anything. So mum and dad thought it was a bit weird. So then they walked back to the apartment, walked back to the apartment, looked up, and they were on the balcony, just looking down at them. Oh. Ah! I know. <laughs> yeah. So none of us slept that night. Oh. Pay the sight. That is the end of the story. Well, that was actually the day that my dad woke up in the middle of the night. He'd fallen asleep on his arm and he thought there was a bat in the room and he was smacking himself around the face with his hand. <laughs> There's a bat. Yeah. <laughs> right. Pay the sight. Oh, my gosh. The Tempest Stone. Oh, oh beautiful. Oh my gosh. Look at that recording. Wow. Oh, wow. Everyone needs some Peter site in their lives. I love it. Peter site is all to do with a mix of different minerals, a mix of different gemstones, which is exactly what you get here. That swirling quality that you get going through here. Said to kind of uh, bring together lots of interesting energies as well, apparently. I've never seen Peter site in this shape before. Oh, no. Really lovely kind of top drilled tumbles, I suppose you could call them, or ovals. Maeve and Karen and Maker in Greater Manchester, well done to you. 24 99 for you today. Sophia, well done to you, my lovely. Loads of people coming through. It's not your price point today. Check out as soon as you can. Well done, everyone. Absolutely brill. Go, 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 go. Well done. 22 carats in total. North Yorkshire, well done to you. Fife, well done to you. County Durham, there's absolutely loads of you coming through. We're going to take the price point all the way down. We're taking it down. Under 15 pounds, everyone. Greater Manchester. Makers coming through. Well done. 14 pounds, 99 pence. You get your 30 day money back guarantee uh, from, from uh, Jewelry Maker, which is absolutely wonderful. But I have to say, there is nowhere else, nowhere else that I can think of that brings you this level of quality, this kind of quality for these kinds of prices. Absolutely amazing. We're going to do a second early bird today. Mm -hmm. 
The not so early bird, but it's still an early bird, uh, but it's up slightly later, so it's kind of like the lie, the lion, but no, don't. Uh, well, early ish what? bird. The what? Early ish bird. Early ish bird. The <laughs> early ish bird. I might have had a glass of wine last night. Early ish ish bird. Did you? Oh my God. Leon's been drinking. So, okay, early bird special. <laughs> Just last night, not this morning. Hyper cement bundle. Here we go. So here's the thing. Right. Now, Liam. We love Liam. We love him. We love Liam. He's brilliant. He is the self-proclaimed bad boy of JM. He's a self... All oh, right. He's a self-proclaimed Duke of Discount, Viscount of Value, Plummet Prince, whatever you want to call him. Stop it. I'm not calling you that. Stop it. <laughs> Sexy boy. Uh, I'm definitely not calling him that. <laughs> no! Right. But <clears throat> I'll be honest with you. Wayne messaged Liam last night and said, I've seen some of the deals you put into today's show. Liam's reply was, what are you going to do? Take him out? Hmm? 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 <laughs> so we... We should not be doing this. We can do Hyper Cement on its own. Brilliant. We bought it back to wear during the birthday celebrations, actually, last month. And it absolutely flew out. Uh, we had some in, I think it was February. And we had, say, 2,000 of them. And loads of them went. And that was great. <laughs> and then we had, during the birthday celebrations, we had another kind of 700. And they all went. And it was absolutely brilliant. That, so that's great. That's basically the story of the Hyper Cement glue. What is it about hypo cement glue that everybody seems to love so much, Monica. Well, it's absolutely my favourite glue. First of all, it's the Brilliant. applicator. The applicator um, is so useful because obviously you can get into little fine spaces, but if you need a bigger sort of blob of glue, you can still do that with the applicator. Um, so it just, it just makes it so easy to use. And it's also quite a thin glue yeah. because you have the E6000, which is quite a thick glue. So it's difficult to use on finer uh, yes. pieces as well. Plus, it's super strong, but it does dry a little bit flexible, so it's not like super glue, it's not brittle. Brittle, uh, yeah. So it's perfect for jewellery making. And just as long as you make sure, because when you open the, the lid, there's a little pin inside the cap, and that goes into the little applicator when you close the lid. So just make sure, as soon as you've applied your glue, before you even stick your pieces together, to close your glue back, because the bit that you've put on your piece of jewellery isn't going to dry in a few seconds that it takes you to close up the lid. So just make sure you close the lid, put, make sure the pin goes into the applicator and that'll stop your glue from, from drying up. And then put your glue aside and then it'll also stop your glue from leaking out, obviously, while you're working on your piece of jewellery. The then go ahead and do your, your jewellery and then just leave it to dry for 24 hours and it's, it's super strong. There are very few other glues that have this level of precision. Yeah. You know, quite often you have to kind of almost make your own using a pin or a whatever. Pin or yeah. um, the great thing about this, as Monica says, it's got this precise little tiny nozzle on the end, but great tip as well, putting, it, putting that back together, you know, as, as soon as you've used and applied your glue. One of the main things that, you know, we hear from lots of different uh, guest designers and, and lots of you as well about this is the range of applications you can use this for. It literally is for almost almost anything you can think of. Yeah. Hobbies. So hobbies, hobbies and crafts, model building. So you think, you know, if people are making little kind of uh, soldiers or anything in kind of, I don't know, Warhammer or whatever it might be. And you need to glue tiny little things together, you know, and you've got your uh, magnifying glass and things like that. Then this is absolutely perfect. Jewelry and beading, fly fishing lures. So if you make your own um, uh, fishing um, uh, flies, watch crystals, plastic glass, metal ceramics. There's lots of glues that you can only use on certain things. Yeah. Um, optical and industrial applications, fine screw locking and general repair. As, as Monica quite rightly says, when it dries, it dries kind of clear and slightly flexible. When you're, ah, yeah, so later on, we've got this bundle coming up with pegs uh, and pearls. And we've got a gorgeous half drawer pearls. This is the glue to use with, with these. Don't use, um, uh, uh, don't use um, super glue. A, it doesn't dry clear, it dries slightly yellow and it dries really brittle as well. So that's, you don't want that at all. 
Um, now, price point wise, Look at this. Uh, one place, £9.30. Yeah, £9.36 for one. Okay, yeah. Another place, £9.36. Oh, that's on offer. That was eleven sixty-four. Best place to be found it. Good old hobby craft. Uh, £8. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Good stuff. Yeah. So we got two. Yeah. So we got two. So let's beat that price point, shall we? 14.99. So we've already beaten. We've already beaten the price per tube. We're at seven pounds. Uh, no, we're not. Yeah, yeah, seven pounds fifty a tube. Brilliant. Seven pounds fifty a tube. Brilliant. Well done. It's not your price. It's not your price. And in fifty seconds, we're going to be taking the price point down. But I need to see you there. There's so many people who've already come through, but we do have a big, big, big quantity. There's loads in baskets. Loads of people multi buying, which is great to see. You are going to be getting two tubes, just to let you know. If we're going to be doing the price point that we say that we want to do, or even kind of, uh, you know, well, yeah. Can I say that? Can I say that? Liam wants to go below nine pounds for this. Oh, Ooh. for both of these. I know, right? How ridiculous is that? Just one on its own. One on its own. Best price point that we found was eight pounds for one. We're going to offer you two for under nine pounds today. Okay. We're going to go as low as we possibly can. Karen and Nita, had... stop the clock. Oh, hang on. The clock's finished. <laughs> Restart the clock. If we can get another 100 in baskets. If we can get another 100 people in baskets, and I want to see a load of you checking out as well. We're going to be taking two to the price of one in Hobbycraft. How much is it in Hobbycraft for one? Eight pounds. What price are we going to be doing it for today? Eight pounds for two. If there's enough of you with this in baskets, there's about 70 odd of you with this in baskets. 78 in baskets now. We need to see about 100 of you with these in baskets. Okay. 14.99 is not your deal today. We are going to be going. And you've seen the name of this bundle, Liam's Mischievous Deal. <laughs> 80 in baskets. It's not enough. We need to see more of you. Go, 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 go. We need to see 100 of you with these in baskets. 85 and 87 in baskets. Oh my God, this is so exciting. Should we do it? Should we do it? 90, okay, 90 in baskets. Okay, let's go. Go, 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 go. Here we go. Enjoy. Here's your deal for two tubes of your hypo cement glue. Eight pounds. Wow. There's now 107 in baskets. Go, go, go. Well done, everyone. It's yours for eight pounds. That is amazing. Uh, we started uh, with 300. We don't have anywhere near that left now. Um, absolutely amazing. Well done, everyone. Over 170 in baskets, eight pounds for both of these, which is absolutely amazing. Yeah, so look, if I show you this part here, here we go. So hobbies, hobbies and crafts, watch crystals, uh, model building, plastic, glass, metal and ceramic. Nice that it works on all those um, uh, different um, surfaces. Uh, jewelry and beading, optical and industrial applications, fly fishing lures, uh, fine screw locking and general repair. Dries clear, stays clear, will not bond fingers. Yeah, which is nice. The, 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 there's nothing worse than the panic that sets in when you yeah. stick your fingers together with super glue. Yeah. The panic is like, ha, ah, ah! ha! It's just <laughs> awful, isn't it? That panic, that panic is real, isn't yeah. it? And then you do that with your fingers and it literally you've got skin. Oh, it's just awful. Yeah. Uh, well done, everyone. And you will need more of these. I've got probably about four of these on the go at home because one is in the kitchen for a fridge magnets that break. One is That's husband's. exactly it. My husband's got one, one for my son for broken toys. And then, of course, obviously, I've got one in my jewellery. Yeah. And then uh, probably one in my craft room somewhere as well. So I've got so many of these on the go at the same time because you just use it. And well. that's exactly it. It's not just for your jewellery making. It's a general household exactly. glue. It's brilliant. Exactly. So, to end, uh, so to mend 
Christmas ornaments or uh, yeah. decorations around the house or fridge magnets, uh, fridge magnets, and I mean, yes, if, when they fall off the fridge. And if you think about the size of a tube of super glue, I mean, even if you went to like a pound shop or something and yeah. you've got a little tube of super glue, how small is it? It's about tube? that big. It's about that big, isn't no. it? You know, when you um, really and with the there. super glue, I always find that you open it, you use one drop, and then you never use it again because it dries up. Yes, yes, precisely. So, so it's like a single application in, the, in a tube of super Exactly. Glue. Yeah, I think um, you're absolutely right, um, Monica. Absolutely right. Well done. Eight pounds for both of these today. Well done. It's gone absolutely nuts today. Well done. We've still got, uh, gosh, there's still about 18 of you with these in, uh, sorry, there's about... 18 of you uh, waiting for your phone calls to be answered. We, we, we know you're in a bit of a queue at the minute. Just be patient. We'll answer your call as soon as we can. Well done. Northumberland wants to know if they can be using stretchy braces. Oh, on the knot, I assume. Yes. I you can, so. can't you? Yeah. 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 A bit like you would use a, a clear nail varnish on your uh, stretchy yeah. braces on the knot. Absolutely, 100%. Mess uh, to, um, to mend glasses, to mend... Uh, Oh, I don't know. Oh, what else have we got? What have I got at home? Oh, uh, yeah. To, well, obviously, with the kits that we've got coming up. Yeah. Lego? Why would you use it on Lego? You stick Lego together, don't you? Oh, I suppose. Oh. Been waiting for the hypo cement. Yeah. Oh, you, oh, I see. If you want to make the Lego permanent, mm. I see. Spread a bit of glue all over it. Yeah, you're never going to come apart. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, but to mend, but to mend lots of different things. A general household glue. It's absolutely brilliant. Well done. Lots of people coming through. Um, and to use it with something as delicate as pearls as well. It's yes. just, it, it just, absolutely. it gives you, it gives you a good idea, A, how strong it is, but B, how, how kind of delicate it is as well. Yeah, to glue on kind of, um, uh, to glue on kind of maybe a, I don't know whether it would work on a, I'm sure it would work on a, on a false nail if it's fallen off, but then I'm not sure you get the nail off. <laughs> That's the only thing. I'm not that's sure the only brave thing. enough to try that, but maybe. Yeah, you know. precisely. That's exactly it, though, isn't it? Uh, but absolutely brilliant. But for all of your crafting as well, if you watch Hobby um, uh, Maker as well, and you love all the bits and pieces which they bring you as well, for that fine detail. And that's it. It's, it's, it's this, this precision nozzle you've got here. Yeah. Is absolutely brilliant. Well done, everyone. Absolutely gorgeous. Go, 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 go. Well done. Oh, 0800 6 555 Can't have too much hypo cement, says uh, Irene. I know, darling, isn't it yeah. wonderful? Yeah, there's still 85 in baskets. We'll let you know kind of stock updates. There's about 39 left. Plus, by the way, well, I've opened this. I may as well open it all the way. Look, if you open it up. I'm going to get so told off by King if it. Uh, but it gives you, I know, I'm sorry. Well, now it's been opened, you're just going to have to give it to me afterwards. <laughs> there you go, see? <laughs> I know. So you've got the, oh, so hang on, I haven't done very well there. Oh, no, what have I done? Oh, gosh, it's all falling apart. There we go. There you go, there's your instructions in case you need to know how to use it. <laughs> see, I didn't even know. <laughs> it looks like my dog's eating it. <laughs> there you go, there's your, um, and you can read it in lots of different languages if you want to. Well done. Should we do the peg bundle? I think we should do the peg bundle. Let's just do it, shall we? So I'm not gonna, oh, blindly. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use, I'm not gonna use, I'm not gonna do this, so don't, don't anybody start worrying. But you would literally just get your glue. Now, would you put the glue on the pearl or on the peg? I'll put it on the peg because then it will go inside the pearl. Ah. So you literally just, oh gosh, there's some coming out. So you just literally just apply a little, little bit. Just a little drop on the end of the peg. Yeah. And then when you push it into the pearl, it kind of spreads all the way up. There we go. So you yeah. put that literally just like that. Yeah. And then Do you, you have to leave it for a couple of seconds? So it well, goes you would close your, close your glue first. So you oh, close the glue, of course. Paper somewhere that you can put your piece of jewelry Follow down. Follow Monica's advice. Close your glue first. Because A, it keeps coming out usually. But B, you don't want to give it any time to dry in there. Concentration. I can't find the <laughs> hole. I can't find the hole. It's there. I can see the hole. I can see the hole. <laughs> it's gone on my finger. Yeah, at least it won't bomb. Oh, for pity's sake, Monica. Put the glue on. Put the lid on. She's such a mum, isn't she? There you go. <laughs> And then you literally, and I'm not going to do this because I don't want, I don't want to ruin, I don't want to ruin anything. But then you literally just get your pearl and pop it on, uh, pop it, pop the peg into the pearl. Stuff. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> I've done it. I've done it. I've done it. Mm, you probably need to cut that down just ever so slightly. There's a little tiny gap in between the pearl and the peg. Can you see that there? 
So that's that's it. That's how easy it is, really. There you go. So this mega bundle. So you get the sterling silver multicolor bales with pegs. I'm going to move the pearls. Oh, so you've got pearl. That's going to be for June. You've got amethyst, aquamarina, oh, citrine, emerald. Oh, wow. These are all lovely birthstones. Rajasthan garnet. Changbai Perido, lovely. Ruby. Ruby. Blue sapphire. Oh, oh my gosh, you got loads. A topaz as well. Pink tourmaline. That's great. Well done. All 12 of your birthstones. This is a great, great, great birthstone deal. And it absolutely flew when we bought this to it. It's all sterling silver as well, which is just so lovely, isn't it? Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Should be. Janet, Fiona, well done to you. Denise, gosh, there's loads of people coming through. This is great to see. Well done. Should have been 149.99. All sterling silver. And I have to say as well, Monica, the, the quality of these gems is amazing. Look at the quality of this ruby. I can see it's beautiful, isn't it? Isn't that just gorgeous? And, it, and the peg has got a bit of texture on it as well which also helps to hold it in your um in your gemstone yeah good point yeah absolutely and i have to say as well you know the quality of the gemstone is absolutely wonderful even if we took it to 120 pounds that would make these 10 pounds a peg which let's face it that is going to add on you know adding on that birthstone adding on that bespoke quality that personal touch that is going to massively increase the kind of price point that people will pay for something isn't it absolutely gorgeous okay it's nowhere near your price point how many of these do we have sorry 43 left let's just pick up a random one. Oh my gosh that's lovely what is that yeah we've got the pearls coming up straight afterwards just to let you know what's this one here that looks like citrine i mean that's beautiful it's bright orange i don't is that the citrine? Oh my gosh, that is absolutely amazing. There's your ruby. That is absolutely incredible. There's your topaz. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look, there's your beautiful pearl. Oh yeah, look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous quality. Nice big bale as well, so you can really fit, you know, a multitude of different kind of cords and chains through there. Well done. Okay, so we've got five seconds and the price point's going to go down. £120 is nowhere near your price point today. A brilliant, brilliant deal. We launched this during the birthday celebrations. It's going to go absolutely nuts. Here we go. No, you're kidding me. Seriously. £49.99. What? On split pay. Ooh. Yeah, go on. Oh. <laughs> ah, there it oh, is. Oh, it's on split <laughs> pay. You little tinker. Oh, Liam Dickens. I love that. Should not be on split pay. Yes, well done. On two-way split pay of $24.99, Maker in Yorkshire, Conway, Norfolk, Gwyneth, uh, one or two, Sheffield, Norfolk, uh, East Sussex, Bedfordshire, Derbyshire, Cambridgeshire, Surrey, North Yorkshire, Five, Kent, Hampshire. Oh, my word. 30 opportunities remaining. These are absolutely flying. That is... Monica, am I missing something? 12 <laughs> sterling silver peg bales with birthstones wow. in. Wow. Well, and they work... Ah, fly. £4.17 per bale. Wow. Yeah, one of them, look. The, Including the look, gemstone. One of them's got a tanzanite in. Where's the tansy one? Blue sapphire. A natural Changbai peridot. Natural garnet. Natural aquamarine. Oh, my wow. gosh. Natural cullinan topaz. Natural pink tourmaline. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, now earrings, I'm thinking now. Yeah. At that price point, I'm thinking, look at this. Look at that incredible garnet. Oh my gosh, that is absolutely gorgeous. I can't believe that price. Wow. 49.99 on a two-way split pay of 24.99. That is utterly, utterly brilliant. Well done. And also because the, the peg is quite long, so you could put quite a large gemstone on there. You could put like a 12 or a 14 millimeter. You absolutely uh, could, yeah. Bead on there as well. I'm it. thinking as well, if you're oh, good yeah. with your good with your good with your glue, 
Yes. Oh, nice. There you go. Oh, very I know, nice. it's already got the cord through there, but look. Ooh. See? With your hey goo. Oh. Wouldn't that be lovely? And it and it's a floating, it's a floating. I done a jewelry. I done a jewelry. <laughs> Put one the other side, make it into a connector. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, we are jewellery making today. Do you know what? When I start even, I'm not even into the nine o'clock. Oh gosh, it's because I've shoved that through. We're not, we're not even into the, um, we're not even into the uh, nine o'clock hour. It kind of uh, with the demos yet, and I'm demoing. There you go. Well done. One more deal. Oh, I'll go one more deal. Let's do one more deal. It's the pearls. I know it's not lovely. Here we go. Six pearls. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to get a peg. Which peg? I'm going to go for the green. Peg it. <laughs> oh, look at you, you little beauty. Ooh, go away. We've got a fly in here. She'll fly down by the me. Oh, beautiful. Look at that gorgeous peachy, peachy colour. Isn't that lovely? Be honest, Monica, you use your hypo cement, you glue that in there. How long is it going to take you to do that? How many hours are we talking? How many minutes are we talking? Maybe two. <laughs> Maybe two minutes. <laughs> Exactimundo. Yeah. By the time you've literally put the kettle on, by the time the kettle has boiled, you will have done it. Yeah. yeah. I, I could probably get, have a I go would, at eating a packet of biscuits in two minutes, though. I would definitely get two sets of the, of the bales because that looks really lovely as an earring. As an earring, absolutely. Yeah. I, I think that's a great idea, Monica. Look at the range of colours you're getting here as well. $39.99. I'm just going to pop or, this back down so you can see what... Or if you only have uh, the one set and you've got two children with two different birthdays, you can have two different earrings. Nice one. I like that. Oh, I like that kind of asymmetry. Yeah. Are we ready for the price? Oh, is it not $39.90? It was last time. Okay, go on. Oh, yes. I love that. Lee and Dickens. Here we go, everyone. $19.99. There you go, everyone. Amazing. And I love the way that they match. Uh, well, as close to match as you're going to get with pearls. You know, the white pearls are a little bit smaller. The peachy pearls are a little bit more uh, kind of rounded at the bottom. And these gorgeous uh, kind of lavender ones are a little bit more um, elongated, aren't they? Really lovely. And I like the way we, you know, we've attempted to match them, which is really lovely. Sue, Elaine, Maker. In Cambridge, Fiona, well done. Still got some of the E6000 left if you want to get two tubes of your E6000 for, what do you call it? Eight pounds. That was ridiculous. There you go. And of course you could use them with, here we go, hang on. Use them with the bales we've just done. Use them with the beautiful, there you are. If you missed out on these earlier on, where were you? Where were you? <laughs> there aren't many left. Eight. Where are you? 24 in baskets for these beauties. Can you believe the price on these? Eight pounds 99. Eight ninety-nine. Ah, that's amazing. Well done. Still got some of those available. If you want to add them onto your order, please do. We'll leave those graphics live as we go through uh, the breaks. Don't go anywhere. We've got some gorgeous K2 Jasper kits coming up after the break. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide, this will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. 
If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got Split Pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with Split Pay. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Hello, um, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Um, just to make you aware, deal of the day is changing today. Don't worry, Dave isn't with us today. He's gonna be, <laughs> Dave's gonna be with us tomorrow uh, with the Hegu strands. So today we've got the most amazing deal of the day. It, it, is, it is pretty amazing. Have you seen it? I haven't, no. Monica, you're going to love it. Mm -hmm. They're beautiful sterling silver chains with pearls in it. Honestly, they are absolutely gorgeous. Um, you get multiples of these. They are abs... Oh, there it is. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Isn't that lovely? Wow. It's not just that one. Oh. All of them. Four 18-inch necklaces. Those are beautiful pearls, aren't they? Aren't they beautiful? I love the way they've been made. And just by, by way of an apology because of the last-minute change... We're going to put one on pre-order and two we're going to take down to a silly pro What are you doing? He just doesn't care. He just loves it. He just <laughs> loves it. Now, before, before we do these kits, am I right in saying we're just going to do this photography box very quickly? Now, I've arranged a very <laughs> lovely display for you. And it is a lovely display. Um, oh gosh, have I turned it off? I think I've turned it off. Is that on? Oh no, that's off, that's on. Here we go. I thought I'd just add a little display. Here we go. Michael, just prepare yourself. It's a, it's a good one, it's a decent display this is. <laughs> oh, it's not even on there straight. 
Oh gosh, there we go. <laughs> and don't forget, you were going to be getting two. Hang on. Oh, lovely. <laughs> now that looks good. <laughs> Doesn't that look good? Don't say I don't give you nothing. <laughs> don't say I don't give you nothing because that, that is Instagram worthy. Isn't it? <laughs> I just wanted to illustrate <laughs> that you're getting two. Don't, don't all fight over it once because I'll tell you what, someone's going to get that one. Someone's going to get that one home. I'm lying. Monica's going to get it, blatantly. Yeah. I, I, I completely and utterly kind of tore it apart because I thought, you, Monica... Can you, can you tear the other one as well? <laughs> <laughs> Monica just literally gets all of them. <laughs> so, um, so, well done if I just come through to get the home. <laughs> the point of this is the photography box. So you can see the photography box here that we've got here. Every, every, every single time it's been on, I'm just going to move you, my love. It has absolutely flown out the door. Comes with lots of different coloured thingies, backgrounds. You've got like a lovely yellow. You've got a green. Good for your green screen stuff. My, my kids do um, use that programme. What's it called? Is it called Scratch? Oh, yeah. Where they do the top time stop, top whatever it's called thing with Lego. Think like, yeah, whatever it's called. Stop, stop motion. There you go. Mm -hmm. Oh no, oh no, the lazy Susan's given up. But there we go. You get red background. I might as well just take that out because I'm not, I'm not doing it any favours. Uh, you get the uh, white and you get black. Black as the devil's heart. And then you get blue as well. The great thing about this photography box is it is portable. It folds down to literally nothing. <laughs> It'll also keep your food warm. No, it won't. Um, but you literally just unhook this and it all collapses down. You need to turn it off. I haven't turned it off. But it literally collapses down to like that. It's absolutely brilliant. Gives you that lovely background. You've got different light settings in here as well, which is absolutely brilliant. So you've got different kind of strengths of light. You can see here these lovely kind of ring lights at the top. But there are two... Um, there are two uh, LED strips inside. You can see there's an... There's an outer, both... Inner, outer, both, and then off, obviously. Um, but wonderful if you want to create that kind of consistency on your social media pages. When you go to um, when you go onto Instagram, you'll notice that lots of designers they have a really consistent uh, kind of colour theme or background or similar props going through all of their photographs. And it's really going to help when you do kind of advertise your things and you show them on maybe Instagram or you're yeah. selling your things on Etsy as well or you're photographing things for the Wall of Fame. It's going to make you feel more professional. Yes. Um, and it's not overly big. This is the kind of thing you can literally pack down, put in a drawer, and then when you need to photograph something, you can get it out and put it up in the kitchen. It's not like you need a complete studio, yes. is it? Yes. Um, and the great thing is as well, you can literally just use your, um, use your phone. You know, you, you don't need anything, yeah. a, 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 any kind of big kind of camera. Also, this this part here, this little kind of th this little kind of flap here, when you open up, it means that you can photograph things through there as well. So you can photograph literally down um, on top of them as well. It kind of limits the amount of shadows uh, that you're going to be casting on your items as well. It's absolutely brilliant and great for doing little recordings and all sorts. Um, so on a com on another website, they're not competitive, but on another website, uh, you've got one. Oh, we've had that one before. We've had that one before, which was a real... Mm, it wasn't the easiest one to put together. It kind of came with poppers. Do you remember it that did, one? Yes, and it was kind of... Um, I don't want to say flimsy, but it was, wasn't as sturdy as this no, one. No, absolutely. Um, and it's £96.71. This one here has got that lovely kind of canvas finish on it. Yeah. It's got the canvas finish. It's got handles. You've got the, um, uh, the different kind of uh, coloured inserts to put in it. You've got the lights in there, the LED lights, which won't get too hot. You know how big yeah. lamps can get very, very hot sometimes. 96.71, absolutely brilliant. It's nowhere near your price. It couldn't be further away from your price, actually. How about this price? This is crazy. How about half that price point? Pretty much. Here we go. All the way down, forty nine ninety nine. Yeah. That's not even your price point today. Yeah. All the way down for the last twenty six months, it's gone. It's gone. It's so useful, um, and using it, <coughs> excuse me, with your props. And you can either get your props from Jewelry Maker, or you could just get a piece of wood and just paint it white, and that's a lovely prop. You can get lovely things from the garden, like we've had today. Twenty nine ninety nine. That's wow. your deal today. Well done. So good. 
so 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 good hundreds and hundreds and hundreds have already sold yeah. um it's absolutely brilliant if you go onto photographer sam's instagram page which i won't go on now um uh, but i think it's jermaine something i can't remember what it is um i mean i can i can show it to you on my phone i, I know i shouldn't have my telephone in here but if i show you uh this one here we go if i just show you this kind of this kind of background here if I show you that there, that's using a green background there. Oh, yeah. You can see the green background there. You've got lovely yeah. lighting there. You've got lovely after effects as well. But, you know, that is a, using a similar kind of photo box uh, to what we've got here. Absolutely fantastic. And, you know, Sam is really, really good at what he does. Um, this one here is really nice with lots of lovely moisture. Oh, no, that's a video, but um, with lovely kind of moisturizer and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. um, oh, oh, sorry. There we go. This one here's got that lovely kind of beigey mm -hmm. background, which which isn't quite as isn't quite as beige in kind of real life in the actual photo, is it? It's got that really lovely kind of um, uh, elegance to it, and 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 things like this. You know, a lot of the a lot of the guys who work here on Jewelry Maker are are, are photographers as well. Michael. So the great thing about this is the, is the strip lights at the top. Yeah. I've got one like this. It's bigger. It's not as it's not as sturdy. And yep. lights coming from the outside, meaning you've got to carry two, di three different things. Ah. So it's self-contained. Because the lights are on the inside. Perfect. Thank you, Michael. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Gorgeous. So because you've got the lights already installed in there, it doesn't mean you're lugging yeah. around everything. How does it compare to the lighting uh, things that we have here at Jewelry Maker, Michael? Oh, I'm not going to ask a chance no. for that. Okay. <laughs> seven, no comment. Let's move on. Uh, so seven chances remaining. Well done, everyone. Absolutely Sorry, awesome. Sorry, am I in your way here? I'm not at all, love it. all over the table. I know, literally so much stuff. <laughs> well done. That is pretty much gone. Well done. And it was it because of this? <laughs> it was, wasn't it? It was because of my amazing display. I think that's what made it all go. My amazing display. <laughs> just pop that cardboard box in the bin <coughs> right okay so gorgeous kits now um this is such a such a cool gemstone um uh, yeah it's gone a little bit more old school with kind of what you're going to be getting in these kits which i have to say i really like can i buy some powerpoint please lovely here we go well yeah there's just a couple of little what's it so i just wanted to show everyone k2 jasper what <laughs> what an awesome gemstone this is it really has got oh hello it's got a bit of everything um so this incredible gemstone k2 jasper um it it it, it literally comes from uh the mountains are in and around kind of k2 and that kind of uh vicinity you've got an incredible gemstone here which is basically granite, which has got these um, orbs of um, azurite in. So the azurite orbs range from a few millimeters uh, on, uh, uh, you, you can see on a broken surface, um, it ranges from literally a few millimeters to two or three centimeters. And on a broken surface or on a surface of a slab, the orbs look like they're drops of bright blue ink. And I have to say, when I first saw this, it did look like it had almost been dye yeah. that had been kind of, um, kind of um, splashed onto the uh, granite, onto the gemstone. But it's actually not. These are full on orbs of azurite. Azurite is one of the things that one of the main things that gives uh, lapis, excuse me, lapis lazuli. It's incredible color. It's incredible blue color. It's not strong enough on its own. It needs something hard to go with it. And granite is pretty much one of the hardest minerals in the world, apart from diamonds. It's incredibly, incredibly hard. It's also known as K2 granite. It's known as raindrop azurite. I like that. Oh. Um, and it's a really, really, really hard wearing gemstone. Now, the K2 that we've got for you today, for me, is really different to the K2 jasper we've had before. It's always been quite a stony stone, quite a kind of almost a chalky, a chalky stone. And actually it was Ollie who messaged me last night and said um, that he'd recorded the Katie Jasper for today and said, Carol, you need to get in and, and, and see the recordings for the K2 because it is so shiny. It is, but there's also a lot more of the blue in it. Um, the yeah. ones we had previously were still lovely, but there was just little specks of the blue. Absolutely. Whereas these ones have got so much of the blue in them. 
It's got it's got a real presence of that azure, right? Has it? And you can see yeah. them there, those beautiful kind of perfect round shapes of of the um, yeah. It's almost like a, a multicolor K2, isn't it? I mean, if that exists, I mean, it's just incredible. So you've got you've got your beautiful um, K2 Jasper. You've then got your blue nylon cord, which is right here. Now, there's a huge amount of your nylon cord that you're going to be getting here. It's all one, meter, uh, one millimeter in, um, in thickness. You're getting 10 meters of that, yeah. which is just fantastic. And then you've also got, it is this one, isn't it? Yeah. A sterling silver star connector with a turquoise in the center. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely gorgeous. I love what you've made, Monica. I think the pieces are absolutely uh, gorgeous. This is just so lovely. This cord is so thick and luxurious, it is, isn't that's it? Why I've used quite a lot of it, and that bracelet, if I can bring it over. Yeah, gorgeous. Let's have a look. So this works as a sort of a, a triple wrap bracelet. Oh, it's but so also, thick and lovely. If I take it off, I've made it long enough that it actually goes over your head. Oh, that's so nice. And if you so pull nice. it tighter, it works as a, as a choker. As a choker. Yeah. Gosh, that's so lovely. Look at it with that gorgeous cord. Doesn't that look amazing? Look at the way the turquoise um, connector is hanging down as well. That looks, it, it really finishes I mean, it off. Look how much blue there is on that one that's, that's dropping that's down. That's huge. It's enormous. Yeah. That's a huge amount of blue you're going to be and getting. And they all have they all have large sections of blue. Some of them have turned uh, the other way around because most of them have got oh, on look one at that side. One there. If you twist them around, I mean, some of them are amazing. They're almost kind of planetary, aren't they? They're just they are, gorgeous. They are. I, I love Katie Jasper. I mean, it's, it's such a unique gemstone, isn't it? You don't yeah. You don't get this kind of um, flex of colour. Yeah. Most of the time, but isn't it also amazing in some gems? Well, in a lot of gemstones, how they sort of reflect the colours of where they're found. Well, that's exactly it. So this is from um, uh, uh, Skardu in uh, northern Pakistan, which is a really beautiful... I, I did have an image of it. I don't know whether I've still got it or not. Um, it, uh, no, I don't think I've got it anymore. Uh, it's a beautiful um, um, uh, kind of location in Pakistan. And you're thinking of K2, you're thinking about the kind of the Himalayan mountain range, which is on this slide here. But it's actually very green, very lush. There's lots of gorgeous lakes there as well. It's a really fresh kind of vibrant, almost kind of alpine yeah. uh, kind of um, um, uh, location. It's absolutely beautiful what you're going to be getting here. We're at $29.99. Amazing, amazing, amazing price point for you today. Kathy, Isabel, Pamela, Patricia, well done to you, my lovelies. Absolutely gorgeous. And I have to say, it is the absolute best K2 Jasper we have ever had on Jewelry Maker. Now, it's not your deal today. We're going to go all the way down, give you an even better deal today. Here we go, everyone. Nicole in Buckinghamshire, great to see you today. $24.99, giving you another five pounds back in your pocket for literally the best quality K2 we have ever had. And you've got that incredible um, uh, cord as well. And the, st the sterling silver connector on its own, how much would you pay for that on its own? I mean, that's gotta be a 20 pound connector yeah. with the turquoise in, that's absolutely amazing. That's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Well done, everyone. Ollie's saying you may be able to make that into a ring. If you kind of, yeah, if you bent it round yeah. a mandrel, that, that's a good idea, actually. Just about the right oh, size as well. Isn't that lovely? $24.99, gorgeous. Two more kits, and we've got a demo coming up as well, which is going to be great. The next kit, these ones are, yeah, these ones are, th these are big, big, big K2 Jaspers. This kit, you're going to be getting another connector with sterling silver and your, um, and your, uh, and your turquoise in the middle. This is so sweet, a lovely floral connector you've got here. That's so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? That's really lovely. We've done this design in a bigger design, did we? I don't remember that. But is this the one we were saying is a bit almost like a mandala almost, isn't it? It's got that kind of almost floral kind of mandala shape to it. It's beautiful. Look at the size of this K2 Jasper. <gasps> Oh my gosh, it's absolutely amazing. Look at these, they are huge. They're, they are. Oh, yeah. wow. That is so impressive, isn't it? That is so impressive. And you've got your cord as well. Now this is nylon cord, is it? 
Oh no, cord made from 100% recycled plastic bottles. Oh, I didn't know. Wow. That. Oh, that's interesting. That's so cool. And there's loads of companies around at the minute which um, uh, repeat. Oh, I see, because it's recycled. It's made by Beadlon. So yeah, made from 100% recycled bottles. There's lots and lots of companies around at the minute who are making things from 100% recycled goods or made from ocean plastic, whatever it might be. How cool is that? Um, a brilliant, um, a brilliant, brilliant product, I have to say, in, in jet black. That is going to be absolutely brilliant. I, I love the thought of being able to kind of help the environment whilst you're, course, whilst you're kind yeah. of making jewellery. And if you're making pieces to sell absolutely. for kind of environmental charities as well, yeah. how wonderful is that? Well done. What a great little um, kind of extra kind of... I can't stop looking at these. Yeah, they're, they're, they're so blue, aren't they? Twenty-four ninety-nine, amazing, amazing strand, absolutely gorgeous. Sandy, Lorraine, Tracy, well done to you as well. Gorgeous, 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 beautiful quality. Well done, everybody. Oh eight hundred six triple four six double five. Well done, absolutely amazing. Well done. Final kit. These ones are huge. Now, <laughs> these have got seed beads in Monica. Yes. And oh, the, color, the colours are so so, so jet, perfect. Jet black is pretty much one of the most. Yeah useful beads colors that you're going to be able to and um, uh, sorry that you're, you're going to use in your beading you've then got this gorgeous kind of blue turquoise iris color Which i kind of cheated a little bit i use the seed beads in in all of my makes so yeah I took the seed beads from this kit and put it with the can't other can't blame well, you monica <laughs> can't blame you lovely i mean that blue just goes so well with the jasper doesn't color. it just um look at it oh yes absolutely good aren't they stunning you can see those splodges, you can see yes. those gorgeous kind of um, ink spot like qualities, which are actual orbs, actual round orbs of azurite. Isn't that just fascinating? Then you're going to be getting findings. Are these silver plated base metal or sterling silver? I think they're base metal. They're silver base metal, I think. But they're beautiful. I mean, the toggles are really interesting. Yeah, well, that's kind of why I said the toggles seem to be really, really shiny, yeah. especially for silver plated base metal. They're really shiny. It does say silver plated base metal, so I think we'll just go with that. But yeah, 21 findings in there. So you've got two toggles, jump rings, crimp beads, some lovely chain, earring findings as well. Let's get that price point all the way down. This is such a big strand, big tumble kit. This is a really nice old school kit, isn't it? It's perfect. Absolutely perfect. amazing. 19 pounds, oh. 99 pence. Oh my gosh. Wow. Absolutely brilliant. Look at all of that. So it's half a meter of chain you've got there. Half a meter of chain, two pairs of earring findings, jump rings, crimp beads, and you've got your toggles as well, which is great to see. Oh, and your head pins as well. Yeah. With your big tumbles. Gorgeous. Well done. Now, to go with these kits, we've got some meter strands coming up as well in lots of different varieties of Jasper. We're going to put them all on pre order as well. Um, because you get so much cord, I mean, the cord will keep, just keep going. Well, that's, you know. that's exactly it. That's exactly it. It's going to go on and on. Especially if you use it with your hypo cement deal. Yes. <laughs> Demo, what are you going to show us, lovely? So I'm going to show you um, a little bit of two different sections, really. Mm. Two different things. Well, maybe if I show you the other bracelet, that's more like what I'm going to show you. This one. Okay. Oh, the double the yeah, channel so set. First of all, I wanted to show you how to um, how to set the um, the connector the in connector, the, set, in the yeah. center of one of these channel set bracelets, and of course, how to do the the channel setting just really quickly and also if you have a look at uh, this blue one you can see I've done sort of like a crisscross pattern in between with the seed beads because actually the larger strand of K2 Jasper the spaces that you get in between the Jaspers on the strand is actually hematite it's oh. not it's not a, a base metal or anything Brilliant. The, okay. the ones in the center there so I wanted to use those so I've got those in the middle there okay but I've used up most of my components on the jewellery, so I'm just going to use for my demo whatever I, I had left. So I, what I did was I took one of the K2 Jasper and I turned it into a connector, just a wrapped loop on either side, so that I can sort of replicate um, what I had with the, with the connectors. And I've already done one side, uh, because obviously I only need to show you how to do the one side, the other side will be the same. So what I did was I took a piece of my, of my cord and I just threaded it through the loop on the end of my connector, whether it's this connector. Um, the smaller, so this connector, the, the larger connector, has got really big loops on the end, so you could just thread your cord straight through there, um, which is what I've done here with the blue cord. 
the other connector has got slightly smaller um, loops on the end, so you won't get your cord through there, but then all you need is just a jump ring. And in any case, on the other one, on this one, you can see that the, the, the connecting loops are sort of flat sitting this way. Yeah. Um, and you want your cord to go through that way. So all you need to do is just add a little jump ring in there so you can add your cord nice. horizontally to that. Okay, so put your cord through your connector and then put it on a macrame board with a bit of space in between. So put it around two. Now don't pull it too tight on your macrame board because if you pull it too tight, it's going to stretch and then when you release it, it's going to all sort of squish together. Okay. So you've got that set up like that. Then I'm using some fire line here, but actually you can also use um, K2, uh, K, not K2, I'm thinking of the Jasper now. Mm -hmm. um, oh, what's it called? K, what, what the threads? KO, KO, KO threads, threads. yeah. yeah. <laughs> or any mm -hmm. of, your, of your Nymo threads, or basically you can use any thread that you like for this uh, particular technique. So what I'm gonna do is I took a piece of, the, uh, of my fire line. I've used probably less than a meter here. You don't need very much for it. And then I'm just going to attach the end of my fire line to one side, to the left side in this case, of my cord quite close to the top. So I'm just going to tie a surgeon's knot here just to attach it a little bit down from, from where it's uh, connecting to the connector, but quite close to it nevertheless. So I'm just going to go around twice to make a surgeon's knot just to make it extra secure. Did that go around again? or There we go. Okay, so you've got it attached to the top there. And then, awesome. let me just push this out the way so I can get access to my... Here we go, sweetie. Sorry, I need space here. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then all you're going to do, so first I'm going to add one of my gemstones. So I'm going to grab a gemstone from there. So you're going to thread your needle through your gemstone. You don't absolutely necessarily have to use a, gem, uh, a needle, um, especially if you're just using the gemstones, obviously, but because I'm using seed beads, um, it's easier to do it with a needle. So you're going to thread on your gemstone, then you're going to take your needle under the right-hand side cord. Okay, so my needle's going underneath the right mm -hmm. cord. Then you want to position your gemstone in between the two cords. Now, don't worry if it doesn't stay there at this point, you just need it to be sort of more or less there. Then you're going to go around over this cord on the right-hand side, and you're going to go back through the hole again. Okay. Just pull your thread through like that. And then what you want to do is you want to take your needle under the left cord as well. Okay? So you're always going under. You basically want to do sort of like a wave effect. So the way that you're going on the second side, you want to go under your cord, and on this side, you want to go over. Okay? So, and I'll explain why in a second. So when you pull that tight, so the first one's a little bit fiddly, but you can use your needle to position this little loop of thread that you've now got on the right-hand side, you can position it in the right spot and then make sure you pull it tight so you don't have any sort of excess thread showing. Okay, so now that's held in there quite tight because on the right-hand side, you've got a loop going around your cord. On this side, we started with a knot and then we went under the cord, okay? So now we're gonna pick up our seed beads. Just give me a second because I forgot to pour them out. So I'm just going to use the seed beads here because I used up all my hematite beads in the bracelet. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up two of my size 11 seed beads, the black ones, one, two, and a blue one and two black ones. Okay, so there's my seed beads. I'm going to do the same thing again, so bring them down. So I want these to sit in the same place where the gemstone is sitting, right? So now my thread is going over the top of the left cord. Now it's going to go under the right cord, okay? Pull it through, but obviously your, your seed beads are going to kind of want to be all over the place. They don't want to stay there for now because you haven't got all the cord or the thread in position. Mm. So just sort of hold them where you want them to be because now you want to go over the top of the right cord. So remember we underneath it now. You want to come over the top to create this loop that holds your beads in place. So you go over the top and then you go through all of your beads again. They might move out of place while you do this. But don't worry about that. As long as your thread is, in, uh, is going over the cord that it's supposed to go over, right? So I've got it there. And then if you can, you can go straight underneath the left cord. You can do it in two steps if you want, mm. but you won't forget if you go straight underneath, okay? And then pull your thread through. And then again, Oh, cute. There you, you go. You can use your um, needle again just to position the thread. 
So you want it to be quite up close to your bead before that. Hold it tight so you pull your thread tight and that holds your beads in place. Because now remember you've got your cord going from this, your thread, your beading thread going from this side, it's going under your cord, mm. then it's going through your beads, under your cord on that, sorry, over the cord here, through the beads, under the cord, mm. then over the cord, and then it's going underneath again. Yeah, okay. So on both ends of your beads, you've got your cord, your thread going around your cord to hold it in, in place, okay? Now for the second part of the little cross, you're just gonna pick up two of your black size 11 seed beads, okay? And again, you're coming over the cord now, and now you wanna go through this middle blue bead, or on the other bracelet, this was my hematite bead in the center. Okay, so pull that in, that more or less puts your beads in the right place. Then you wanna pick up the other two black seed beads, and then don't forget you need to now go under your cord. Okay. So push your beads up there so that they're in position. Now you want to come over your cord and you want to go through those last two black beads that you just picked up. You also want to go back through the center blue bead and through the other two black beads. Mm -hmm. Now again, you want to go under your cord here, but it might be a little bit fiddly because you're sort of attached through that blue bead. So don't worry about it. Just pull your thread through first. Position this right hand side so that it's kind of in the right place and then take your needle under your cord. And then that will put all your beads where you want them to be. So now you've got this little sort of crisscross happening yeah. here with your seed beads. Okay. And then you just do the same thing again. So now you pick up a gemstone. It's almost a figure of eight, isn't it? That's exactly what it mm. is, yes. Because you want on both sides of your gemstone or your beads, you want it to be a loop of thread around yeah. your cord to hold them in position, or basically to hold the cord in position yes. on either side of the Yes. Beads. So now my thread is coming over. Sorry, it needs to go under mm. on the right hand side. You will get into a rhythm once you, once you get going with it. Uh, and then you want to go over the top to go back and then under on the other side. Okay, and again, and if you're your, if you think your thread is not quite in the right place, you can sort of jiggle it around to make it sit where you think it's going to look pretty. Uh, you won't see it very much, obviously, um, depending on the color thread that you're using. Um, yeah. For the, the other blue bracelet, I used some blue KO thread, mm -hmm. so that was even more invisible. But even with the black fire line, it's not that, uh, not that visible. And then you just do your little crosses again. So two blacks, a blue, another black. I'll just do this one more and then you get the idea because then it's just repetitive. Okay, and then you're gonna go under. Okay, and then you kind of go over your cord now through all of the beads. And then you wanna go under on that side. Okay, pull it tight and that's gonna hold your beads again. Just make sure you pull it tight enough so you've got some excess thread on the left so you might want to put your fingers underneath and pull it tight that will pull out your thread that's excess on the left hand side and then again you just pick up your two black and then go through and then go under and that's basically it um Gorgeous. for the for the clasp i did a sliding clasp on these which um I'm back again next Wednesday, so a week from today. Oh, cool. And I will show you how to make a sliding clasp. Thank you, lovely. To finish it. So that's just basically it, and then you just carry on. And then what I did to finish the end bit here, if I can just show you that quickly. Mm, so I did I three this. of the crisscrosses there. Yeah. And then what I did was I did two rows where I just used four black seed beads and two rows of three seed oh, beads. Oh, so you're reducing two, two, it. Lovely. Two, one. And then on the very end, I just did that S shape just with the, with the thread a few times and then stitched my thread in and, and made a couple of knots to hold it in place. Um, what a yeah. lovely finish. And then the back is the, is the sliding knot, which I will show you how to do next week. Ah, oh, thank you, Monica. Okay. Yeah. Keep coming through uh, for those kits. Absolutely gorgeous. Well done. Um, yeah, the most popular one was the one we took to 20 quid. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> of course. It's because of the seed beats, obviously. See? <laughs> See? There we go. Now, we've got some meter-long strands to bring you between now and the end of the hour. There's loads. I'm going to pick this bad boy here. No, I'm going to pick this bad boy. The big strand of Zebra Jasper. Can I do that? I love this gem. 
So many gorgeous neutral tones that in it. With your black cord in there. It's exactly yeah. it. Sorry, I'm just, I'm just. So Liam, so Liam. <laughs> so. No, no, no. These ones are the larger ones. So Liam said uh, yesterday when I spoke to him on the phone, he said, he said, gosh, I really hope that Monica's uh, used these KT Jasper kits with the cord and she's made X, Y and Z, which of course she has, uh, because you could literally just make this design. Yeah. But just and just replicate it Absolutely. with the gorgeous Jasper you've got here. Absolutely. You can have loads of cord left over, so yeah. you may as well. Um, the wonderful thing about Zebra Jasper is it's got these gorgeous um, neutral tones in it. Um, it's got gorgeous stone colours in it. You've got uh, delicate pinks, you've got browns, you've got oranges, you've got yellows, kind of delicate uh, greys as well. It's just a really lovely neutral kind of palette you've got here. It's like a palette, you know when you uh, uh, buy a kind of a palette of neutral eyeshadows or, or kind of highlighters or something, it's like a bronzer kind of palette, isn't it? It's got that really lovely nude kind of skin toned kind of palette to it it's just a really really lovely uh, quality um now price point for these you're going to be getting dozens and dozens and dozens on the strand you could graduate them into different kind of camps if you want to kind of the ones which are more kind of pinky or the ones which are more kind of uh, orangey or the ones which are more that lovely kind of brown color um yeah so you've got about two point yeah two and a half strands ish of gemstones here for 29.99 which is absolutely brilliant it's nowhere near your price point today so our regular strands are around about our regular strands are around about 38 centimeters this is obviously 100 centimeters which is absolutely brilliant taking that price point all the way down approximately 142 beads you can make your mala with this no problem whatsoever all the way down Twelve oh, ninety nine. Wow. How about a mala and a stretchy? Gosh. <laughs> yeah. Or a mala with a big beaded bead on it or something. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. Twelve ninety nine for you today. We've had kits like this as uh, we've had um, kits with gemstones in like this with big long strands in. And one of the first things that um, a lot of our guest designers do is they start to make the pieces that you can only ever make if you've got multiple strands or a big long strand. So twisted necklaces, bracelets, yes. bubble style pieces, pieces where you need a lot of gemstones. Absolutely. Um, and your bubble style pieces, your cluster designs with this would be absolutely perfect. We do have another strand in a slightly smaller size, just to let you know, 12.99. Let's do the slightly smaller size in the actually, four mil. Actually, using those two strands, you could replicate the 12 o'clock kits as well. Oh, oh, nice. Because the six millimeter is the, is the long strand and then the, you could make a tassel. The tassels the four are the four mils. What a great idea. Yeah. Nice idea. I like that. Oh, I love that necklace. Let's take this all the way down, shall we? Love, 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 love this. Um, all the way down to a tenner. Go on. Oh. Absolutely beautiful. It's got some really lovely kind of melted kind of ice cream colours as well. Don't you? Like Neapolitan ice cream. Oh, yeah. Uh, when it all kind of swells to... I haven't had Neapolitan for decades. You've got your chocolate, vanilla and your strawberry in there. Uh, all kind of mixed together. It's gorgeous, isn't it? $9.99 for you today. What a treat. Well done, everyone. So many wonderful patinations going through these. Um, and great as well if you, you know, during, during the summer, you like to wear your lighter colours, your lighter linen kind of tones. You don't necessarily yeah. go for bright, bright colours. It's, it's got great kind of linen kind of qualities in there, haven't they? And kind of slightly animal print, but not really. Yeah, exactly. You exactly. Know? It's the colours, but it's not, not the same pattern. It's so not it's... like wearing a pair of leopard print linens. <laughs> yeah. Like Monica's got on today. Well, not quite not today, anyway. But I did have some when I was here. <laughs> I bet you did. Do you know, I always wanted to... Be, oh, gosh. I, oh. I had fusion pink leopard print leggings. <laughs> what, sorry? Fusion pink leopard oh, print leggings. Oh, Monica. <laughs> Fashion icon. I love it. Dalmatian Jasper. I love this stone. Now, when I was away on holiday the other week, they had a, uh, they had a festival. Um, the Spanish love their fiestas, don't they? And it was a fiesta for the, the Moors and Christians. I'm not entirely sure of the entire story behind it, but it was a big festival. Most of the stands there were selling uh, kind of little bits and pieces. There was a wood turning st um, um, a stand that was just really uh, interesting to look at, leather working stand. But more often than not, there were crystal stand, um, uh, stands. And what was so lovely was seeing gemstones and I knew what they were and I could tell my kids about them. I love Dalmatian Jasper. I love it. I love the, the base colour of it because it's not white, it's not cream, it's got that kind of slightly green kind of colour to it. 
and it's got the most beautiful black Dalmatian kind of spots on it. It's a really crisp example. Sometimes Dalmatian Jasper can look a bit gray, a bit kind of muted. This is so crisp. You've got 10 seconds to put this in your baskets and then it's literally going to sell out. And it goes really well with the K2 Jasper as well. Doesn't it just? You it's could make a Marla with the Dalmatian Jasper and use the, the larger K2 strand as your marker. As your markers. What a great idea that is. Love that. We're at 16 99 We want to take this down significantly, but we, we're only going to do it when we see enough people there. We want to see enough of you there. We're not doing anything to this price point. If, you, if we don't see you there, we will not be taking the price point down. Liam wants to do a cheeky price point. He's not called the bad boy of JM for nothing. He's not called the plummet prince for nothing. No, I'm not calling you that. He's not called the, 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 the Vicana of Valley for nothing. He wants to give you the best deals possible. The Baron of Bargains. <laughs> Oh, wow. Pauline, Lynn, Joyce, Lisa, Jackie, Jackie, I'm Jackie, Kim, Anne, and Christine, Deborah, there's loads of you there. Well done. <laughs> oh, gosh, there's a new one. The Goliath of Glue. I like that. That Michael's just come up with that one. Of course, the Hyper Cement Glue. The Goliath of Goodies. There we go. And glue. Hyper Cement Glue. <laughs> the Highness of Hyper Cement Glue. <laughs> Here we go, everyone. Don't you love a bit of alliteration? Here we go, all the way down, everyone. <laughs> oh, seven ninety nine. That's brilliant, isn't it? Well done. Wow. Seven pounds ninety nine pence. So well done to Lorraine and Rupal and Wendy and Fiona, Deborah. Well done to you, everyone. Absolutely gorgeous, Wendy and Herefordshire. Fiona, well done to you. Absolutely fantastic. Go, go, go. Claire, Penny, well done to you as well. Loads of people coming through. <laughs> that, that would work Amazing. Basically, as if it was three pounds for a standard 38 centimetre strand. There's Monica drawing attention to the kind of deal we're doing today. I know it's crazy, <laughs> isn't it? Amazing. Let's do African Jasper. Yes, please. Lovely strand this is. Ooh. So, this is one of our regular size strands, and I love the colour. <gasps> Oh, beautiful. African Jasper rounds. These are, oh, hang on, two mil drill holes. Oh, hello. The cord's going to go straight through these bad boys. Oh, interesting. Two mil yeah. drill holes. Oh, I like that. This is, it's such a thing, isn't it? Having a big two mil drill hole, because there's so much more you can do with these stones, isn't there? Absolutely, yes. Putting these onto your uh, uh, thicker gauge wires, putting them directly onto your leather cord. Or onto chain, onto your thinner chain. Nice, yeah, yeah. directly onto chain. That's a lovely idea. And to do with the gemstone as well, so lovely. Um, 8.99, there you go. 8.99 for you today. Well done, everyone. Gorgeous. And um, African Jasper's got this lovely kind of, it looks a little bit like turquoise, doesn't it? It's got those lovely kind of turquoise qualities, but it's a little bit more antique. It's a little bit more distressed almost, isn't it? Really, really lovely. 8 99 well done. Tracy Maker, Susan Una, well done to you as well, my lovelies. Absolutely fantastic. Shall we do the picture? Or no? Two mil? Oh, drill hole. Yes, of course. Oh, Ocean Jasper. Yes. Ooh, those two look really no, nice. Yeah, this Ocean Jasper's got two mil drill holes as well. Yes. Now, this is such a lovely, lovely oh. stone. Look, there's your two mil drill hole. That's a, Look at the size of the cord going through there. Yeah. It's a lovely strand. Look at those gorgeous colours. It's like a, almost a chakra, almost a chakra strand, isn't it? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. I'm sure you could add some in. Um, but it is, it's, it's got that kind of feeling to it, hasn't it? You've literally got four seasons in one strand, haven't you? Yes, it's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I love these delicate blues, yeah. don't you? These delicate white blues. It's but they've just also got gorgeous. almost like mukite colours in there as well. Mm, absolutely. Some gorgeous tones. Well done. Rename Liam. Uh, I think the lovely boy should be... The Try This Prisaurus. Thank you, J uh, JM, says uh, Margot. Yes, Margot. 
Margot was the one who, uh, who, who, Margot, Margot was the lovely viewer who once said we're all suffering with a case of bonkeritis, <laughs> which I thought was, uh, yeah, what happens at the office parties stays at the, no, sorry, I'm joking. 9 99 <laughs> well done, Hilda and Penny and Sandy. Well, Sandy. Well done to everyone coming through. I bet you never get that, do you? Oh, I bet you're just over it. Uh, well done, everyone. Uh, loads of people coming through for all these deals. That's great to see. Well done. Now, deal of the day is coming up. It is all of these bad boys. Oh, wow. my gosh. gosh. So last minute deal of the day uh, change. So for that reason, we are going to go lower on them. Yeah. Four sterling silver necklaces with your pearls as well. Uh, by the way, we've got a whole hour of pearls coming up. We've got shell pearl kits coming up as well. It's going to be absolutely brilliant. Um, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you in a couple of seconds. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. <laughs> Do 
you know something? This has worked out really well, actually. We've got the most amazing deal of the day today. We've got an hour of uh, pearls. We've got shell pearl kits. Honestly, at the deals we're going to do, by way of an apology, um, the deals we're going to do are absolutely crazy. OK, absolutely nuts. Now, um, it's things like this that really kind of make me so proud to be here at Jewelry Maker. Uh, we've been going now for over 12, 13 years and we're at the stage now where um, our buying power is is pretty amazing. We are pretty much the, um, you know, the Western world's largest gemstone buyers. And because of that, and, and, and what comes with that, I should say, is a huge amount of respect within the industry. It means that also when we, when we put collections together like this, we have much more control over, over um, you know, the cost of what it's, gonna, what it's gonna cost us to produce. We've got our own in-house silversmiths. We've got our own chain making machines. We've, um, we've got people who, um, who literally makes these um, uh, necklaces together and puts the components together. Um, our buying team upstairs, which by the way, is, it, uh, there's only four or five of them upstairs. You know, that really is it. And the buying team works so hard to get the best, best deals. There's one person who buys pearls, one person. And there's always been just that one person because I think when you build a relationship with a pearl farm uh, or with a pearl distributor, because there's so much rubbish out there, and believe you and I, I've been out to China, I've seen some of the pearls out there. I've seen some absolutely glorious pearls and I've also seen some absolute rubbish which look like chalk, you know, it looks like a piece of, a piece of paper with no luster on. And that's because, uh, you know, there's no nacre on the pearl. The nacre is really poor quality. The mollusks aren't healthy enough to produce the pearls. And, um, and to go from that to what we've got, which is literally world renowned, is, is, is quite amazing. Um, our aim here at Jewelry Maker is to be as transparent as possible and to give you as much information as possible and also to educate you, to inspire you. Um, I think that when sometimes you see the deals that we do, you quite often think, ah, you know, that, that deal's too good to be true. And that's one of the first questions that I get asked by my friends when, when they ask about, you know, where I work and they ask about my job. Because it's, you know, the source of kind of interest from people. Oh, really? Is it? But it's not real stuff that you're selling, is it? It's all fake stuff. No, no, no. It's all genuine, gem genuine. If it's, not, if it's not real, you know, we'll say it's crystals or whatever it is. It's cubixiconia. If it's pearls... We say it's pearls, you know, because otherwise, A, we'd be totally disingenuous. We'd get into a lot of trouble. We wouldn't be here anymore. We'd just be out and out liars. So we want to be as transparent as we possibly can with you. Now, imagine a shop, a, an independent jewellers in, in your local town. That shop has got a lot of overheads. It's got, uh, it's got business rates. It's got the rental on the property. It's got all the ele um, electricity, this, that, and the other. You've got um, you know, members of staff. You've got those overheads as well. And also, you are maybe buying in, I don't know, 10 of these necklaces. 10 of these necklaces. Maybe at the very most, 20. That's it, yeah? You're ordering in 20. When we commission something here at Jewelry Maker... Because, of course, we're not relying on footfall and people coming into our shop and people walking past our window. We've got hundreds or thousands of people watching at any time. What's so wonderful, what's so wonderful is, is that we can commission three, four, five hundred. The more you commission, the more you make, the lower the cost is going to be. And that's what's so wonderful. But this isn't mass manufacturing. This isn't like a production line. This isn't mass production. Because what you're going to be getting here today is something which, yes, the chains are properly made by um, Italian-made chain making machines. So professional, the best chains in the world are made with them, by the way. Um, you'd think, oh, no, it's got to be handmade. It's got to be hand finished. No, you, you, you can't. You can't get um, uh, the consistency that you want if the entire chain is made. Um, if, the, um, if the chain is all done by hand. But here's the thing. Like a lot of wonderful things, like uh, if you think of uh, beautiful, uh, you know, prestige cars or whatever, you know, they're made, they're made obviously on a production line by robots, but they're all finished by hand. And these chains are all finished by hand. And I'll come to why that is in a moment. But because we are who we are, 
and because we've got such a great um, uh, setup over in uh, the Far East and over in India as well, we are able to make more of these. We're able to um, uh, use um, uh, 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 premium, premium materials like really top quality uh, pearls, obviously great 925 sterling silver, wonderful clasps, wonderful little accessories and little finishing touches like these beautiful like these beautiful little tags. I love them. Such a lovely finishing touch on each one of these necklaces. So sweet. Aww, the little 925 stamp on there as well, just to signify that that's all 925 sterling silver. You know, really lovely little finishing touches. Things that other people won't bother doing. Things that other people don't, you know, don't bother with. And that really upsets me. You know, if you go that extra mile, it's only a little touch, a little flourish, people will come back. People will come back to jewellery maker. People will come back day after day after day. And that's what's so wonderful as well. But we're nothing without you. We're nothing without your input. We're nothing without your constant um, inspiration. And you watching jewellery maker and you requesting things and you suggesting things. And that enables us to move forward and for us to expand as well. But we always want to keep that sense of community. We always want to keep that sense of um, where we've come from. Because it's only by doing that that we can truly appreciate you and we can move forward and we'll carry on bringing you the most amazing opportunities. Now, this deal of the day proposition is basically four, four necklaces. Now, they're all 18 inches in length. They are all 925 sterling silver. They are all genuine freshwater culture pearls. And the deal you're going to get today is legendary. It, it's legendary. Now, what I'm going to do, ah, oh, brilliant. Thank you, Ollie. So we've got a recording of just one of them on its own. Really lovely necklace. You can imagine that, can't you? It's a gorgeous, gorgeous necklace. You've got a really lovely finish on that. The sterling silver chain you've got there is a lovely oval link chain. You can see every centimetre or so. You've got a lovely little kind of station bead, which has been added onto the chain. That really lovely kind of station quality. It just breaks up that chain a little bit. Can you see that there? Like little full stops, little, little punctuation marks. So lovely, isn't it? Now, the nice thing about that, obviously, it adds a bit of design. It adds, it breaks up the luster a little bit. You've got your extender chain on there, which means you can wear it a little bit longer. Okay, graphics are live. This is going to fly, by the way. There's only 150 of these, okay? It's not a big quantity at all. That is literally is it. I'm just going to give this necklace a measure because uh, I know it says 18 inches, but I just want to know whether that's including the extender or not. I think it might. I think the extender takes you up to 20 inches, but, 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 but we'll have a little look. So it's 12 to there. Okay. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah, it goes up to about 20, 21 inches which is absolutely brilliant, okay? So you can wear this at multiple lengths, which is really, really nice. Um, so you can um, layer them up, you can stack them up. The great thing about these necklaces as well is because you've got this kind of open, because you've got this jump ring on either end, if you wanted to put all of the necklaces as one on one clasp, you absolutely can do. And you can have it as a, as a layered uh, piece. Loads and loads of people are layering pieces at the minute. Uh, Monica Veneda is doing an amazing job at the minute of, of, of kind of suggesting collections to layer up, giving you the opportunity to layer necklaces up uh, and, and create your own look, create your own, you know, your own style, which is so nice. Now, I know we've got certain guest designers, Mark Smith, I know, uh, and, and, and various uh, viewers as well who are probably looking at this and thinking, do you know what? I could make a load of earrings using these. I could make a load of pairs of earrings using these. And I would just literally cut it up. I have to say, Monica, once, once, you've, once you become a jewellery maker and once you understand how something has been put together, and also if, you, if, if you're not the person who's put it together, you're a lot uh, more pro Cutting things up, aren't Absolutely, you? Absolutely, yes. But also, I mean, you've got four chains there, so you can still have that laid look with three of the chains and use one that you can cut off for a bracelet and, and your matching earrings. So you've got here options, necklaces, bracelets, earring chains. You know, you Absolutely. really do have options. Now, I know, I know 
we are a million miles away from Christmas. Less than, less than half a year. That's all I'm going to say, less than half a year. Um, I know I'm going to have people screaming at the television and screaming at the back, oh, shut up, woman. Uh, I, I, I get that, I know. But what do we launch? What do we launch in July? Christmas in July. OK, Christmas in July. We have to do that um, uh, because, of course, you know, people want to get ready for Christmas. You want to spread out payments. You want to spread out all of your kind of gifts, especially if you're one of those people who buys lots and lots of gifts. Now, I'm not even going to talk to you about the price point yet. Oh, I just wanted to show you how, how this has been hand finished because I did say I would explain that. So either side of each one of these pearls, you've got a rosary linked um, section. Can you see that? So you've got that lovely rosary link section. Can you actually see that? Is, is that a bit tricky to see? There you go. So you can see there that the wire has been put through the pearl. It's come out the other side and it's literally wrapped around. You cannot do that by machine. That's all been done by hand. Yeah, you can see by the bolt ring clasp. Yeah, that's a good way to look at it. Look at the bolt ring clasp. You can see that piece of wire that goes through the bolt ring clasp, sorry, through that uh, jump ring and then coils round. That has to be done by hand. This cannot be done by machine. So all of these necklaces are sterling silver with genuine freshwater cultured pearls with those beautiful little beads, ac bead accents at every centimetre interval. And you've got a hand finished quality with the pearls, with the rosary links. Now look at this one necklace here, freshwater pearl floating necklace. That's a really lovely necklace. It doesn't say if it's sterling silver. Uh, it might be, it might be sterling silver, I don't know. It's 30 quid, it's 30 pounds. I, if this was in a jeweler's window, one of these for 30 pounds, let's take these off so then we know what we're talking about. Is it sterling silver or is it silver plated? Sterling silver, I mean, it'd be amazing if it is sterling silver, that would be brilliant. Oh, let's have a look. Mm, so it's got nine pearls. How many have I got? Oh, gosh. Ours might not have them. Ours might not have nine. How many do ours have? Two, two, four, six, eight, ten. There's ten. Ooh. So you're getting ten pearls on each one of these. It doesn't say it's sterling silver. Believe you or not, if that was sterling silver, it, if that was sterling silver, it would be shouting it from the rooftops. It just says it's a, it, it's a thin wire. It doesn't say what the metal is. If it was sterling silver, it would be shouting it from the rooftops. So I would, ex I would suspect maybe it's not sterling silver. But £30 is a brilliant price. It's a brilliant deal. So £30 per necklace for sterling silver with an extender chain and, a ten, and 10 pearls. £120. So my mum and dad, whilst we were away, uh, whilst we were away for the week, uh, they looked after uh, the, they looked after our dog. Lovely. I know how much I would have spent on kennels if I'd have put them in the kennels. It would have been hundreds of pounds. You know, it's kind of you know you know decent kennels is going to be kind of twenty pounds upwards a day, literally for a week. So all of a sudden I'm thinking, right, okay. So one of these, amazing. That's thirty pounds. Amazing. My mum will literally love that. She'd absolutely adore that. Um, and that's a really lovely thank you gift. It's a lovely gift. 30 pounds each, brilliant. Maybe a gift for a bridesmaid. Yeah, bridesmaid gifts, bridesmaid's jewelry, absolutely perfect. How about 79.99? So now we're looking at 20 pounds per necklace. 20 pounds per necklace. Now we're getting into the realms of, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. It's your friend's, it's your friend's birthday. It's your best friend's birthday. What are you going to get for your best friend for their birthday? You know, you want to spend kind of, yeah, yeah, about, yeah, about, about, about 20 quid on them for their birthday. You could get, okay, now we're getting into the realms of, right, okay, this is actually a really, really decent deal now. Now, over the next 35 seconds, I need to see as many of you as possible. Not just put these in your baskets, but I need to see you check out. I need to see you check out. Check out, check out, check out, check out, check out. We are going to be going significantly lower, just to let you know, significantly lower. There's absolutely loads of you there. This is great to see. West Yorkshire, Devon, Northamptonshire, Murford, Tidville, Berkshire, Yorkshire, Fife. Gosh, there's loads of you coming through. Well done. Now, they're not necessarily, not necessarily um, necklaces. Lovely as a bracelet. Lovely as a bracelet. Gorgeous as well, if I can show you as earrings as well. So lovely as a bracelet. That looks really nice, doesn't it? Well, well done. Have a look at these as earrings now. So if I literally just kind of hang them, hang them down like, uh, I don't know, like that. 
literally as little earrings, just have them literally hanging down, really lovely, nice and long, or, or a little bit shorter if you wanted to, entirely up to you. Your price point today, by the way, is not 79.99. This is crazy, crazy. 49.99 for all four necklaces. Oh my gosh, that is absolutely incredible. Well done, everyone. Go, 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 go. 0800, 644, 655, Hazel, Sharon, Maker, Shirley, Arthur, Maker, Linda, Maker, Carol, Sue, Pamela. Well done to you, Karen and Lynn and Amy and Shirley. And oh my word, it's gone completely and utterly nuts. Well done. Go, 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 go. Loads in baskets. I mean, baskets are absolutely rammed, just to let you know. Lynn and Linda, well done to you as well. That works out to you, by the way, if you're interested, per necklace, £12.50 per sterling silver hand-finished station pearl necklace. That is amazing. When you go around to your friend's house for dinner, you might take a bottle of wine, you might take a bunch of flowers, whatever. The bunch of flowers is probably going to, you know, a nice bunch of flowers is going to be about a tenner and they're going to die after about five days. They never last a week, do they? Uh, or, you know, a nice bottle of wine that's going to be, what, you know, eight, ten pounds, something like that. These are, these, but this is going to be with them for life. This is going to be with them forever. This is the gift you get for somebody, you know, split this up into four gifts. This is the gift you give somebody for looking after the cat for the weekend or for giving you a lift to the hospital or for picking up your prescription or whatever it might be. You know, this is, this is, these are those little just because gifts. These are to put in your present drawer. So when your friend comes round and, you know, unexpectedly and it's their birthday or, or it's their birthday next week and you know you're not going to see them. Ah, oh, I've got just a thing for you. Let me just let me just go and grab your Prezi. Put it in an organza bag. Give it to them. They will absolutely love it. $49.99. An amazing deal. Dawn's got two. Susan, Pauline, Jan. Well done to you, my lovelies. And also, you will have things, won't you, uh, Monica, on your craft store, which have taken you a whole weekend to make oh, or absolutely. 50 hours to make or whatever. Yes. But for but you need other things on your craft store as well to kind of um, to kind of um, to kind of um, balance it out. I think to kind of balance it out things yeah. that you haven't uh, spent hours on yeah. making. You know, this is something because, you know but, which balances out everything else on your stand. Exactly. Because if you think about it, you could make these yourself, but you'd have to get a couple of meters of sterling silver chain with exactly. the station beads. Yeah, you'd have to get a couple of meters of sterling silver wire because rosary linking uses a lot of wire. Yep. You'd have to get at waste. least one strand of pearls, but those are not all the same colour, so you'd need more than one strand of pearls. Yep. You need to get four clasps, four sterling silver clasps, yep. four extended chains, yep. and then you've got the little hearts. The again. little hearts, yeah. So maybe at jewellery maker prices, maybe you might be able to get the components for that sort of price, but then you <laughs> haven't spent hours. Then it's the time. It. Yeah. You're so right. Oh, by the way, that's not your deal. Ooh. Ha ha! <laughs> Jewelry maker, these deals are so good. We've even got the flies joining us today. <laughs> you got a little fly. We've got one fly, solitary fly in the studio. He must be very confused. Uh, but yeah, it's not your deal today. 50 seconds, we're going to do something ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. We should not be doing this. This was. And also, can I just say, um, this was not meant to be your deal of the day today. This is meant to be the deal of the day tomorrow. We've had to swap them around last minute, so apologies for that. And because of that reason, we're a little bit unprepared for this particular deal of the day. We feel a little bit kind of like, oh, gosh, we shouldn't really be doing this. But um, but, <laughs> but we are going to do something a little bit, well, even more special. We're all, it's already special at £12, whatever it is, per, uh, per necklace. That's absolutely amazing. We're going to go even lower for you today. Whether it's necklaces, bracelets, earrings, whatever it's going to be, enjoy. We're taking that price point down. This is ridiculous. Well done. Just one necklace on its own for £50. Amazing. You've got four necklaces today. Oh, gosh, it's on split pay. Oh, no, Liam. I didn't even see it was on split pay. <laughs> £10 each. Wow. Oh, my. Wow. We are going to lit... <laughs> Oh dear. Right, um, you need to get this now. Uh, that necklace, that necklace, take a bow, Liam. 
He's taken a bow. This necklace, 10 pounds. A finished sterling silver, rosary linked sterling silver, genuine freshwater culture pearl necklace for a tenner. Wow. This, a tenner. Yeah, you've got your gorgeous lavender colours, you've got your white, you've got another lavender and another white as well. And uh, today, by the way, you can get these home for a fiver each, which is absolutely obscene. I cannot believe what we've just done. That is amazing. £10 for a sterling... Do you know what? £10 for a sterling... £10 for a sterling silver bracelet is brilliant. £10 for a sterling silver pearl hand-finished... Um, Genuine freshwater culture pearl sterling silver necklace is literally. That's less than the price of like a good kind of Thai takeaway main meal. I mean, yeah? What do I normally. What's like a pad Thai, that's like 15, 16 quid. I mean, they are big, I suppose, but yeah. <laughs> Sorry, go that's on, lovely. That's the price of a plain sterling silver chain on Jewelry Maker. That's about £10, isn't it? So we do. Now, is it a metre for £10? No, it must no, be, you must get more. The finished, uh, finished, the finished chain is that we sell. The finished chain? Oh, I see, the finished chain. Yeah, yeah. uh, oh, gosh, you can get them for under a tenner. Yeah. I think maybe the, maybe the lowest I've seen was maybe eight. But, you, but then you're, getting, you're adding ten pearls. Exactly. And an extender chain and the little stations. And, and all the work that's gone into making that. For literally an extra, what, three pounds or whatever, yeah. which is just ludicrous. It's absolutely amazing. Look, we are very, very busy, obviously. We've got loads of people joining us, loads and loads and loads of people there. We're going to do one minute to close. One minute to close. That literally is it. Oh, gosh, this is just embarrassing. One minute to close. That's it. We've got a whole hour of pearls. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, jewelry maker. Well done, everyone. Loads and loads and loads of you joining us. This is absolutely superb, isn't it? Well done. Go, 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 go. Absolutely amazing. Go, go, go. Still got loads of people coming through. Can I just say congratulations to everyone? Uh, uh, my screen is full of names. Um, congratulations. Well done. Shropshire, Tyne and Weir, Devon, Merseyside, Nottinghamshire, West Yorkshire, Lincolnshire, Berkshire, Greater Manchester, West Yorkshire, Fife, Hampshire, Northamptonshire. Yeah, do you know what? And you really did win us. Uh, yeah, yeah, you did win uh, with, with that one. We, we, we did not want to take these down. Yeah, 49.99 is ridiculous. 39.99 is just unbelievable. Lynn and Conway, well done to you. Just multi buying so is Marion. Oh, Liam. Liam's looking forward to a smack bottom sandwich after the show. That'll be me. I'll be dishing them out. I'll be dishing out the smack bottom sandwiches. But I think Wayno might be de uh, de uh, uh, kind of dealing those out after the show. Not for any other reason, just like he loves dishing out smack bottoms. <laughs> I love him. Right, okay. <laughs> so. Oh my gosh. We've got a beautiful selection of pearls here. These are the most gorgeous, gorgeous, naturally coloured pearls that we've got going on here. We've got some lavenders. We've got some absolutely stunning papayas. We've got some beautiful buttons as well. Yeah. Starting off with this incredible strand here. This is... Oh... So is this a slightly bigger strand, uh, Liam? Yeah, yeah. These are the most incredible. Oh. Woo! Naturally coloured. Genuine freshwater culture pearls. This is Awesome. Pearls are valued in a few different ways. Uh, they're valued differently to gemstones. Genuine freshwater culture pearls or even, well, whatever pearls they are, whether they're, oh, Cortez pearls or whether they're sea, um, South Sea pearls or Tahitian pearls or freshwater pearls, they're all valued in pretty much the same way. 
size, shape, orient, nacre, you know, though, luster, those kind of things. Size wise, there are a few kind of magic numbers. Anything seven mil or over is, um, is, is viewed as being very rare. Anything which is 10 mil or over is considered even rarer, even more, um, even, even rarer. These are 10 to 11 mil in size. Shape. Now, shape, yes, it is down to personal preference. What kind of shape you like? Do you like your Baroque pearls? Do you like your Keshi pearls? Blah, 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 blah. But really, the rule of thumb is, if it's meant to be a round pearl, then the rounder the better. You want them super, super, super round. These are near rounds. You can see them there. They are near rounds. We all know, you know, we can all draw a circle. I did that the other week, actually. And, and you know, it, it, these are as close to round as you're ever going to get, okay? Let's talk about the Orient. Now, the Orient is to do with a couple of different things. It's to do with the, uh, with the nacre on the pearl, how thick it is. The thicker the nacre, the more Orient you're going to get. It should look like the pearl is lit from within, like it glows from within. And it does to a certain extent. They aren't transparent or even translucent, but there is a couple of, there's about half a millimetre of the pearl is, is fairly translucent and you do get the light kind of in and then back out again which is just gorgeous that glow is just so lovely um the colors you are getting with these the secondary notes the veil of color peaches papayas pinks spring greens blues purples mauves gunmetal colors i mean there, there, there's so many different tones in here we're at a thousand pounds. I have to say a phenomenal deal because if this was knotted with a, with a precious metal clasp on it, you're looking here at easily a four, maybe even five figure necklace, depending on where you're selling it. But it's not your price. How about, oh my gosh, this is way too low. Ooh. 200 pounds. Wow. Well. I'm pretty sure I've bought this strand to wear for like three times that price before. Uh, at least twice the price. I'm pretty sure I bought it to wear for at least 400 pounds before. That is unbelievable. 199, look at those split payments of 66, 33. Kathy in West Yorkshire, well done to you. Karen in Fife, well done to you. Virginia in Hampshire, well done to you. Bidder in Greater Manchester, well done to you. We've got another bidder in County Durham, well done to you. We've got another bidder in Greater London. Oh my gosh. Look, we started off with six. They are absolutely, we've got loads in baskets. A couple of people have uh, checked out, which is great to see. Check out as soon as you can. There is no way that looks like a 200 pound strand of gems. And do you know what as well, uh, Monica, you pick a really good one as in just, and, and I don't mean by any other way other than what, whichever one your favorite is. That is a pendant, that is a pendant. Absolutely. Absolutely. That, you know, on its own, that could sell for near on 200 pounds, couldn't it? Yeah. Just incredible. Caroline in Warwickshire, well done. Kathy, well done. Absolutely phenomenal. Four chances remaining. Oh my word, the quality you've got here. At least one of, the, you know, one of these pearls could be, you know, 129, 149 pounds. You've got a whole strand for 200 pounds. It's amazing. You've got 50 seconds and then we're taking the details away. I know it's absolutely brilliant, isn't it? Gorgeous. Three left and five in baskets. Well done. Oh my gosh. Check out. Go, 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 go. And if you look at the back of the recording as well, can you see those spring greens, those fresh greens, those kind of spring-like colours? Such a, a different kind of tone, a different veil to get with these, but absolutely amazing. Well done, everyone. Evelyn, well done to you. You've got this in your basket. Check out, my darling. Well done. Absolutely amazing. 0800 644 655. I'm not saying that. Is this just web only or is this? Pell 10, get 10% off. Mm. <laughs> One left. When you take 20% off that. Oh gosh, I don't even want to know. Oh. So you could basically get that home today for 180 pounds. That's about to go. Mm-hmm. 
These ones are ever so slightly smaller. These have got more of an apricot colour going through the strands. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. <gasps> All 13 available. 10 to 12 mil in size. Oh, hello. 10% off. Pearl 10. And it's an extra long strand as well. It's 40 centimetres. Say again, lovely. It's 40 centimetres, the strand is longer than usual. Oh, Monica. Mm. Monica's very good at drawing our attention to the gaping <laughs> holes within the show. <laughs> oh, and we're doing this. Oh, and this. Oh, look at the length of the strand. Shut up, Monica. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's awesome. I love it. OK, here we go. Graphics are live. So, 40 centimetre strand. Thanks for that, Monica. Um, <laughs> 10 to 12 mil in size. What's interesting is you put the 10 mil next to the 12 mil and you can see the difference, but really, in all honesty, I mean, that, yeah. They're both very, very large qualities you're getting there. Ready, steady, cook. 199, individual split payments of 49.75, not your price. Ah! How can that not be the price? And you get 10% off. Stella, well done to you, my lovely. Maker, well done to you as well. How can that not be the price? Look at this at the neckline as well. These are not small pearls. These are large. Oh my gosh, look at that. I know, we're going lower and it's absolutely crazy. <gasps> I love this. Radiant pearls, aren't they? Just radiant. Maker in London, I can see you, my lovely. Well done, lowest price point you're ever gonna get this today. Woo! I know. How brilliant is that? Here we go, everyone. Those split payments are amazing. Four split payments. That's so good. So, so, so good. Oh, my gosh. By the way, you know, get this, get, you know, when you get this home, go and get it valued. Take it to your local jeweller and say, look, um, uh, don't, don't, don't ask, don't, uh, don't tell them how much you paid for it, for goodness sake, because by law, then they can't value it for more than you paid for it. But just say, I bought this. Give me an idea of what you'd value it for or what would you sell it for in a made-up piece of jewellery or whatever. Interest, interest there. Well done. London, you've got two in your basket and so's another maker. Well done. 149.99. I've got Karen in Hampshire as well. Check out my lovelies. Individual split payments. Look at that. Under £40 for your split payments. That is unbelievable. Maker in County Durham, well done to you as well. And um, by the way, with your 10% off as well, that takes it down to 100 and... What was it, sorry? 134.99. Oh my gosh, well done. Lowest price point you will ever get that by an absolute country mile. That is ridiculous. A ridiculous deal. Uh, County Durham's just checked out. Well done, Hampshire, London. Well done, check out. This is amazing. With your 10% off, I know, right? Crazy, crazy, crazy. Karen, check out my lovely. That is unbelievable. All the tricks in the book coming out here. So you've literally got your amazing pearls. You've got your 15 pounds back in your pocket. That's the lowest price point you're likely to ever get this for. Don't miss out because once these are gone, they're gone. Last strand of pearls is completely sold out, by the way. These are gonna go as well. Another maker in London. Oh my gosh, well done. Go, go, go. I've got you there. Check out my loves, absolutely phenomenal. This is your really only other strand of kind of uh, uh, multicolored pearls. We've got some gorgeous purple ones coming up in a moment, but that really is it. Uh, just fantastic. Well, you've got to check out Letha. Liam, just tried the 10% code on the deal of the day chains and it worked. Ooh. Don't show those kinds of messages. Show them, why not? Teresa in Devon, well done to you. Brilliant, well done, yeah. Losing money with jewellery maker because we're losing money. 10% off all of your uh, uh, pearl items. I know, crazy, hey? Teresa, check out my lovely, well done. Literally only got a couple of chances left. Oh my word, go, 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 well done. Or, or another maker. One, two, three. What, four, five, six, seven, eight in baskets there. Purple, purple. Two more. Sharon and Judith in your baskets. Ten in baskets. Gee whiz. Purple. Yeah. Purple metallic. That amazing. 
These are ridiculous. Oh, wow. Will you look? And Janet in Greater London. Someone check out for those gorgeous pearls. Go, go, go. <whistles> Purple nucleated pearls. Monica, do I even need to ask whether you love these or not? Obviously, these are my favourite. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Monica, these are gorgeous, are they? Do you know what? They, um, they've got a look of that kind of dusky... Was it in the 1980s? I'm pretty sure it was. I was kind of a child of the 80s, 90s. And the body shop used to do a perfume called Dewberry. Does anyone remember it? Mm. They used to do white musk. And Dubri, I know you weren't alive then, uh, Liam. All right, Liam. And they used to do one called Dubri. I'm pretty sure it was called that. And it was in this kind of purplish bottle. It reminds me very much of this. It's like a lovely uh, kind of, uh, uh, was it like a florally berry kind of scent? Oh, I don't know. It's very popular with teenagers. Anyway, along with Zoop and Tribe and things like that. But I really like the... High karate, things like that. So, and Brute. Um, the colours you're getting here, they're all that lovely purple tone. Some of the rarest colours in the world. Yeah, and I really love the drop shape as well because that gives you a sort of opportunity to use it differently other than just straining it up. Because yep. you, can, you can make it as, a, as little drops on a chain or something like that. I would agree with that, yeah. Th I mean, they're, they're not all going to give you that drop shape. Um, most of them are. They also give you these really lovely kind of little kind of onion shapes as well, which are really lovely. So just like a little kind of kiss on top, which is just so beautiful. But some of them really are, as um, Monica pointed out, really quite kind of elongated. Like this one here's a real beauty. That, that one there, I keep that aside for a pendant maybe. Yes. I definitely keep that aside for a pendant. Um, yeah, just on its own, 150 quid, absolutely. Whereas some of these here, I mean, that, that would make the most beautiful. It, look at that. Oh my gosh, Sean and Karen, well done to you. I've got loads of you there, well done. Um, beautiful, beautiful quality that you're going to be getting. And also with the purples, don't you think, you've got like an overtone of like uh, turquoise and and um, kind of spring green as well. Yes. Yeah, yeah, if you look at the back of this recording, you've got the kind of bronzes and pinks and oranges almost. It's just so cool. That's an interesting. Peacock pearl, I bet that's dyed. 110 quid. That does not look real, does it? That looks dyed and all sorts. She looks. The lady looks very happy wearing it, though, doesn't she? I love it. Mm, oh, mm, 110 quid. Take that off. I don't. 110 pounds for one on a chain. How many are we getting here? Dare I count them? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 33. 33 on the strand. So 33 times 110, yeah? That's basically what we're, look at this one here. Look at this one here. If we did mystic pearls, that would be a mystic pearl. Oh my gosh. Say that again, uh, Liam. 3,000. 3,600 and something pounds. That's ridiculous. <gasps> We're not stopping at 699, by the way. No way there. That's like a mystic pearl. I love it. <gasps> you are so beautiful, you beautiful pearly whirly. Look at this one here. Look how round that one is on the end. And that's on the end. So good. And do you know what? These pearls are big enough. I mean, if you, only if you're confident with this. Don't do it if you're not confident because you'll just ruin it. But if you're confident with your pearl drilling and you like kind of setting your gemstones, your diamonds into your pearls, these are the perfect pearls to do it with because they're so big. Perfect. And the surface is so good. Judith, Kathy, well done to you. Here we go, my lovelies, all the way down. Enjoy. I don't think I'm ready for this prize. I don't think I'm ready. No. The price pool we're about to go to, 7.57 a pearl. Ooh. 2.49.99. Oh my gosh. Yeah, if you could sell each one of these pearls for 110 pounds, that is, that is literally a jug full of gravy right there, isn't it? That is all profit. Judith and sorry, Judith and Hull, we've got you there. Well done to you. What an amazing deal. I mean, when you think about when you're going to be wearing it, this is an heirloom piece. This is like, this is your... 
estate jewellery. This is going to be passed down through generations. This is going to be in your family for generations to come. Or whoever you give it to or sell it to, it's going to be in their family for generations to come. Such a special item. Four chances remaining. Maker in Surrey, Chrissy. Oh, gosh, we need you to check out as soon as you can. Well done, everyone. You just split payments of 62 49 Well done. Three chances remaining. Surrey, you want to? Get them now. Go, go, go. They're just so beautiful. Absolutely massive. Wow. Look at the size of these pearls. Oh, yes. Look at those bad boys, bad boys. What are you going to do? Oh, yes. Amazing. Well done. Two chances remaining. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, you're using them individually. You'd almost pay more for them than you would for the entire strand. It's a bonkers thing to say, but sometimes, sometimes when you see them all together, it kind of almost, it doesn't dilute them, but when you see one on its own, it becomes so special, doesn't it? Well done. Last one chance. Sorry, you're not going to get two, darling. There's only one chance remaining. Go, go, go. Check out, my loves. Well done. How do I do that? The buttons. I love these. Oh, wow. That's, uh, that's a promise. Guaranteeing this strand of pearls, button pearls, by the way. We never see button pearls for under £50. Can't wait to bring you those. They're all on pre-order. Go get them. Go get them, Tiger. Here we go. Right, I love a button pearl. They're so lovely. What should we do now, love? I do. I've got the heart with the pearls. <gasps> oh, this is heavy. <gasps> I get the heart with the pearl. It's a locket. Oh my gosh, look at this. So let me get my tweezers. Here we go. So if I hold it like that, there you go. There's your locket. Beautiful. Put a photograph of Michael in there. Oh, there he is. Look. Oh. <laughs> There's your pearls. Absolutely gorgeous. All 925 stunning silver. What a gorgeous christening gift or a beautiful oh. wedding gift, maybe. And I think this is nice for, for any age person, I think. It's, it's pretty, even for a little girl because of the pearls. And it's, it's, but it's also for, a, for an elderly person. Mm. I think it's, it's, it's quite a classic as well, isn't it? It's so beautiful, isn't it? It's got such lovely quality to it. Monica in the West Midlands, well done to you, my lovely. All the way down, and it's 925 sterling silver, which is so lovely. You've got your 95 stamp on the back there. It's so cute. And it's a really good size as well. It's not tiny. You know. Say again, lovely. It's a really good size. It's not yeah, it is a nice size, isn't it? Lovely. Look, and when, you, and when you close it, it kind of does that lovely, yeah, that lovely noise. Sometimes, that sometimes snap you buy a, a chain with a locket on, and it's a little tiny little thing, and you can't see the picture in it. Yes. This is a really good size. A very, very small picture taken many miles away. <laughs> uh, but this, you can literally get your whole face in there. Well done, gorgeous. Or a lock of hair. Oh, yeah. Well, that would be nice to, with some resin to put a picture in there with oh, some hair. Oh, well. yeah, nice. A pearl and a halo. I've got one of, I think it's Pippa, my eight-year-old, one of her first curls. Oh. What it kind of kept. Yeah, I've got my son's first. And I thought, oh, and everyone, <laughs> where is it? A swirl. I've got it. And everyone said, and everyone said to me, oh, you know, both the girls, the curls are gonna fall out. The curls will fall out. They won't have curly hair when they're older. Don't, you know, don't get used to them. Oh my gosh, they both have curls. <laughs> oh. oh, the bane of my life. <laughs> yes. They're awesome though. Here we go. Look at these beauties. Now, how am I going to secure this into the, how am I going to secure my beautiful little button pearl into the dish, Monica? Well, you're going to use your hypo cement. Oh, hang on a minute. What? Now, the hypo cement glue we bought you earlier on, it looks like there's only one uh, because Monica's stolen. <laughs> Monica's stolen the other one. You actually get two tubes of your hypo cement glue. Should I take the other one as well? And they were eight pounds. <laughs> I'll take the other one too. <laughs> Yeah, so they were eight pounds uh, for the two for the two slides uh, for the two slides for the two uh, tubes of glue. So get them, get the glue. If, if we get a chance to recap it, we will. This is meant to be this price here. Love that little dish, isn't that cute? Oh. Fourteen ninety nine. Not your deal today. 
Here we go. Sterling silver with your beautiful button pearl all the way down. Go, go, go. $9.99, everyone. Go on, get in there. I know, it's ridiculous. It's a tenner. Yes, amazing deal for you today. Well done, Valerie and Carol and Karen. Well done to you. Absolutely amazing. $9.99. Oh, gosh, 10% off. Oh, yeah. oh, gosh, no, 10% off. 10% off everything with Pearl. Hello. Hello. I didn't say that. <laughs> you get 99p off. I pick my favourite, yeah. Pick your favourite. Oh, the noise. <laughs> Which one? The purple pearl, the massive purple pearl. Big bad boy. Bad boy, what are you gonna do? Here we go, big bad boy pearl. Oh, Liam's fighting talk there. Oh, hang on. Oh. Put it in your basket now, says Liam. Well, look at this little tassel. Oh, I love that. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> The recording of this is like it's been uh, recorded like in someone's headlights or something or anyway so here we go Aww. here's your pearl through drilled there's your is being interrogated what do you know i don't know they just took me and i've been through drilled <laughs> look at this absolutely gorgeous use your head pin pop your head pin through oh my gosh that's a big pearl make a loopy loopy either side Oh gosh, this is so good. Tassel on the bum, there you go. Do your tassel on the bottom, there you go, everyone. That's absolutely gorgeous. A natural purple pearl. Now, what were we saying earlier on? One natural purple pearl, 150 quid maybe just for the pearl on its own. All of the silver as well. <laughs> 29 .90. Do you know what I did? I secretly... I, I, I said, you know, one pearl on its own, 150 quid. And I thought, oh, gosh, when the price comes in, I bet it's like 250 quid. <laughs> $29.99. Natural purple pearl with your sterling silver chain and your sterling silver eye pin and your sterling silver tassel. For the first time ever, we're going to go even lower. This is obscene. This is an opportunity. So literally pop it on there. Put your tassel through. There you go. That's absolutely ridiculous. And then put it on your chain. You've literally got a whole necklace there. Done. Ready to go. It's a go, go, go. Should we take five pounds off? Two pounds off? A tenner off? Ooh. Oh my gosh. Really? Here we go. Derbyshire, Kent, London, Norfolk, Merthyr Tidfil. All the way down. Here we go, everyone. It's a go, 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 16 pounds. 16 pounds with a necklace and everything. Wow. If they don't sell out now, Liam is literally going to walk out the building. That is unbel... Look at everyone coming through. How on earth is... I mean, I know that... I know, I know the recording's a little bit um, odd. The lighting is a little bit odd. But that is not a 16 pound necklace. No. You're getting everything to make that necklace in this kit and it's 10% off. Just a chain on its own. The chain on its own, 16 pounds. Chain on its own. Oh, wow. Oh, a diamond cut sterling silver chain. That's 16 pounds on its own. Take one pound 60 off, you're saving yourself 10% as well. There's your pearl. Oh my gosh, look at the size of that. Look at your sterling silver tassel. Pearl 10. Pearl 10. <laughs> pearl 10. Pearl 10. Pearl 10, Pearl 10. Get 10% off June's birthday and Pearl. Pretty bit. There you go, absolutely ridiculous. I know, it's obscene. It's absolutely incredible. Well done, everyone. I can't believe that. Can't believe it. Do you know what? I can't believe these aren't, I can't believe this hasn't sold out already. Should we just go to the harvester? Brunch, brunch and a pint, lovely. Let's go down to the harvester. Bottom, a bottom. I don't think the harvest. I don't think the. I don't think the harvester does bottomless brunch today. 
Literally, a breakfast with a side portion of botulism, something like that. <laughs> Loads of you with these in baskets. Nikki, Helen, Pamela, Denise, Lynn, Maker, Jane, Sharon, Linda, Maker, Gordon. Unlimited salad. Oh, yes, of course. Oh, bacon bits. Bacon bits with ranch dressing. That's all you need in the, from the salad bar. There you go. Nikki and Sue, loads of you there. I can't believe that price. £16 for that. Liam's going to quit. There we go. He's off. He's off. Bye, Liam. It's been great to see you. <laughs> Button pearls coming up, baby. One more auction, then it's going to be time for the buttons. Oh, we're going to do these at 11 a.m. Six minutes time. <laughs> okay, let's picky, picky, pick, 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 pick. No. Let's do... Oh, let's do these earrings here. Oh, oh no, it's got... Oh, no, you got... Oh, no, you got a pendant as well. A sweetie, sweet, sweet of jewellery. So here are your earrings. You come here. It's not your time yet. Hang on. Wait there. Wait there. Wait, wait, wait. It's good. Good job. Good... Whatever. Good, good, <laughs> good job. <laughs> I wanted to say good job, but I ended up saying good choice. And then it turned into talk, and then it was like good chalk. <laughs> I've got no idea. The journey, the journey, my brain goes, good chalk. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's been a while. It's been over a week. I've missed you. I mean, I missed you. I missed you. Have you missed me? No, no one said yes. No one said, oh, I really missed you, Carol. <laughs> Here we go. So, good chalk. Here you go. Got the gorgeous earrings. Oh, they, I mean, they're lovely. They need something. They need a little bit of a something, something, a something, something. They need a beautiful big pearl. How am I going to secure this into the... Oh, gosh. How am I going to secure this onto the peg, Monica? With your hypercement. With your hypercement glue, because Monica hypo has stolen it all. There it is. Quick, Michael. This might fall off in a sec. I mean, you could literally just do that, but ooh, yeah. Ah. So you got the earrings, two pearls, and then look, and then I have got the right. Yes. And then you've got, it is worth it, I promise. Then you've got your pendant with your pearl as well. Sterling, so look at this. There it is. Like a little oh. berry, oh, like a little fruit. It's so pretty. Oh, Isn't that cute? So this has got the sterling silver bale. You've got the sterling silver earring. They're absolutely oh. gorgeous, aren't they? Oh. Yeah. Now you're going to be getting white topaz in the sterling silver as well. So that's a great kind of addition to these pieces, isn't it? Really lovely addition. They're lovely, aren't they? Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Um, I've just literally shoved them on. Uh, you're going to need to glue them properly, but, you know, you kind of get the idea, don't you? Wedding jewellery, uh, bridesmaids jewellery. You've got all sorts. I mean, they're just gorgeous, aren't they? One big crash. I said one big crash. Here we go. Genuine freshwater cultured pearls, sterling silver, white topaz. <laughs> white topaz. Absolutely amazing. $24.99, £24.99 pence for the earrings and the pendant as well. That is just so lovely. And also, Monica, if you're feeling very frugal, two gifts, two gifts, yeah? Don't forget the minus 10%. Say again. Don't forget the minus 10%. Oh, Monica! <laughs> I know, 10% off as well. Oh, Monica, stop mentioning it. Yeah, 10% off as well. So you're going to get uh, £2.50 off. Oh, baby, baby. £2.50 off as well. Well done, everyone. Go, 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 go. One more. Una más, por favor. Go on. Yeah, so do I. Let's do it. Cage. The little lockety cagey things. Yeah, let's do them. Here we go. So three pearls. Now, these are not drilled at all. <gasps> what, is the, what is the use... What is the use of having pearls which aren't drilled? First of all, it's quite a novelty, isn't it, seeing a pearl which isn't drilled? But 
You can draw them yourself if you want to, but what is the point of these? Why, whoa, why have I got bells which aren't drilled? <laughs> 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 surprise, surprise, surprise. I can't undo them now. Oh, for the love of... No, yeah, please. There. Oh. Little cages. Nice. Oh, there you go, little lockets. So you're getting two, which have got these little loops on top. These two little loops on top, which are your earrings. And then you've got this one here, which is your pendant. Oh, isn't that pretty? And you put the little pearly whirly in the cagey, oh. close it. And there's your earring. How cute is that? <laughs> I don't know what I'm laughing. There, there's your gorgeous, those are your earrings. Gorgeous, aren't they? They're so sweet. And they're going to move, they're going to, um, you don't have to put your pearls in there. You can put whatever gemstone you like in there. You can put whatever gemstone you like in there. You can put your, um, um, uh, you can put your little um, resin pieces in there if you wanted to. Put birthstones in there. Really make that kind of bespoke, personalised jewellery. Now, these are silver plated. Oh, no, they're sterling silver. Oh. Good grief, for 19 that's amazing. That's amazing. 1999 and they're all sterling silver that's absolutely fantastic well done everyone go 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 someone's asked for pegs <laughs> oh dear me we're having lots of fun today what well where are these pegs oh we don't have them i just got to talk about them what's better than one peg 20 20 sterling silver peggy wags. <laughs> 20. I remember they were a birthday deal. I think they were an early bird special. Yes. So 20 sterling silver peggy wags. Not for 460 pounds. We're going to take that price point down even lower because we love ya. 29.99 makes them one pound 50 a peg. Wow. Sterling silver. Wow. Aren't they just brilliant? Well done. $29.99. Absolutely fantastic. Go, 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 go. Well done. Under £30. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. That's not your prize. Get involved. Put these in your baskets now. For all of your pearls, all of your half drill gems, but also, um, oh, also, ah, ooh, if you've got a through drill gem, Bear with, bear with. If you've got a through draw gem zone, glue a peg into one hole, peg into the other hole, you're making your own connector. Absolutely, yes. There you go. And then even if you if you have a one pearl or one gemstone and you just add one of these pegs and put it on a cord, you can yes. pay sterling silver jewellery because you've got a sterling silver peg in there. Precisely. See, it's so easy, isn't it? 14 99 75 pence per, per peg, which is absolutely yeah. Brilliant. Well done. Carol Lynn, Irene Lynn, Alan Maker, Maker, well done to you as well. £14.99 and pence for 20 sterling silver pegs. Absolutely brilliant. Well done to you. OK, we're going to do a star by now. It's time for your button pearls. This strand is going to absolutely fly and the price is really, really super special. Don't go anywhere. Do you know something? Button pearls are kind of one of the first styles of pearls that I was introduced to when I started working with gemstones all those years ago. And um, working with Marbe pearls or Mabe pearls, I think they were called as well, and button pearls is a really interesting thing to do if you want to keep your pearls still and you want to keep them in situ. And if you want to do things like... Um, Seed bead bezeling as well. Yes. Button pearls are brilliant, aren't they, Monica? Yes, but also if you do any wire work, like the tiara technique, you can make really pretty flowers with them because obviously the hole is not in the centre. It's kind of offset to one side. Because they've got a flat bottom on them, what they do is they sit really nice and flat um, against the skin. I really, really love them. You've got a very definite flat side and a very definite rounded side. Um, they are absolutely beautiful qualities you're going to be getting here. If I just show you these against the skin, they look lovely. They've been drilled not through the centre, but kind of towards the top 
of that kind of lovely coin shape. So they will zigzag, they will tessellate really beautifully around your wrist should you want them to do that. They just look absolutely gorgeous. Um, if you're making rings, if you're making anything where you need those pearls to be lying nice and flat, nice and kind of still, these are perfect because of course they're not gonna roll at all. Don't you love the shape, the gorgeous kind of shape and size of them? They're yeah. not too big, are they? They've got that lovely little kind of pip shape to them, haven't they? They are, and they're also perfect for bead embroidery, for soutache, anything yeah. like that, where you you want to attach them against something. Absolutely. If it's skin, then like a bracelet or something. But if it's a, a, onto a, a piece of jewellery or onto a bag or anything like that. Do you remember soutache work? Yes. Soutache was always nice, wasn't it? it is, and yeah. these would work beautifully with soutache. You yeah. get kind of that lovely kind of almost piping going around the yeah. edge of your um, of your gorgeous pearls here. Um, Colour wise, they're lovely, aren't they? Lovely lavenders, whites, pinks. I think really the fact of the matter is, we never see button pearls ever. Yeah. We're so focused on rounds or baroques or cashews or whatever it might be. We guaranteed it under fifty. We're going to be going a lot lower than that today. Um, I just really like that kind of ziggy zaggy tessellation, that vine. It's almost yeah. like a vine, isn't it? It is. And you, if you get look, flowers on a vine. If you look at the colours, they're in pairs, so you get two white, two. Gosh, lavender. they are, aren't they? That's a, that's a really interesting point. I hadn't even I haven't even thought of that. But yeah, you're right. You've got the two lavenders, whites, pinks, whites, lavenders, whites, pinks. Aren't they lovely? Forty nine ninety nine for you today, Pauline Maker, Maker in Kent. Well done to you, Manchester. Well done to you. Now, where did these launch, Liam? Oh, gosh, that's a good price. These launched at 29 99 That is amazing. Dorothy and Pauline in West Yorkshire now. Well done to you, Mary and Miranda. Gorgeous. Go on. It's all, we're going to go lower. Hilda, well done to you as well. Absolutely gorgeous. That's a really nice idea. You could, yeah. So um, Ollie's just suggested you could slightly drill, because it's nice and flat, slightly drill the back of these hypo-cement your pegging yeah, you don't and make them to. into lovely stud earrings you maybe. You don't even need to drill them because you can get sort of uh, flathead stud findings. Oh, and flat head pins. Drill. Well, yeah, flat head pins as well, yeah. And then you just um, use a bit of hyper cement and there's your stud. Mm. That is so cool. <laughs> Great idea, love it. How many on this one? Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 20, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 64, 66, 668 on the strand. Wow. 68 on the strand. So that's going to be, what, 34 pairs of earrings yeah, there. Because as, as, as Monica quite rightly says, they're, they're kind of divided up into pairs. They've got the diagonal. Mm. You can make a pair for £1.70. Oh, my gosh, that's so <laughs> good. That's just amazing for genuine pearls, naturally coloured genuine pearls. Absolutely amazing. Well done. Here we go, all the way down, 1999. That I, I Honestly, I think that is absolutely tremendous. For a style of pearl that we very, very seldom see, we see more strands of South Sea pearls and Akoya pearls than we do button pearls. We see more kind of individual uh, Baroque pearls and flame ball pearls and rice pearls than we do button pearls. This is such a seldom seen quality. Jamati, well done to you. Pamela, well done to you as well, my lovely. Loads in baskets. Check out as soon as you can. Less than 30 chances available now. Well done. That is, literally is how many we've got left. You are absolutely loving these. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Well done, everyone. Under 20 pounds for you today. Beautiful quality. Well done. Go, 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 go. I'm honestly, I'm so, so, so pleased for all of you today. This is just brilliant. Well done, everybody. Uh, loads more people coming through. Check out my lovelies. Jamati's bought two. County Durham's bought two. Pauline's bought two. Do you know what the great thing is as well? Because I haven't bought, I definitely haven't bought you a strand of button pearls this year. Yeah. You got to get two. You got to get two, haven't you? You got to get two. You got to get three because you never know when they're going to come to wear again. Susan's just bought two. Well done to you. Berkshire's got two, well done to you. Dorset's got two, Manchester's got two, well done to you. Loads and loads and loads of people coming through. Well done. Everybody, well done. Uh, five opportunities remaining. Well done. Jacks in Norfolk, Sheila, Linda, Jane, Maker in, in London, Samantha, well done to you as well. Uh, Linda in uh, Devon's just bought two. I would be buying twos and threes. I really genuinely would uh, because you, you've, got, you've got such lovely, lovely quality. And such a seldom seen style of pearl. Gem in London, well done to you, sweetheart. You've got to, you've got to get them with a name like Gem. Well done, sweetie. 
Now, we were going to go to a quick break, but actually, we're going to do one more quick opportunity. This is very in keeping with the 12 o'clock kits. Yeah, this is a deal of the day a few Saturdays ago, wasn't it? No, it was a few Saturdays ago. Yeah. So, this is so lovely. I love this. Um, you get, okay, I'm going to start at the top. Start at the very beginning. Here we go. So you've got your sterling silver top, which is this lovely floral top. Can you see that? Isn't that sweet? And then you get this beautiful orb oh, wow. pearl. Peg goes in there. How am I going to secure this? Oh, I don't know. With my hyper cement glue, maybe? hi yeah. <laughs> Gorgeous. Hey, with white zircon going all the way around here, white zircon in the bale. And then this beautiful crown. Let me see if I can find the hole underneath. Quite challenging. There it is, in literally with the hypo cement glue. There oh you go. That is a pearl tassel in sterling silver. Genuine freshwater culture pearls. White zircon, done. Wow. That's Isn't that stunning? Sorry, let me move those out of the way. That is done. So beautiful. That on a chain is Vivian Westwood inspired. Yeah, that could be, you know, easily a couple of hundred pounds, couldn't it? Yeah, 250. It, to make that yourself as well, I mean, we were talking about the chain earlier on, but to make that yourself, that's going to take some serious amount of dedication, isn't it? Oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah, sourcing that size of pearl, being able to put the sterling silver around it with the white zircon, to use the gorgeous seed pearls as well. Oh, it's just, it's just going, to take, it's going to take an age, or you could just buy it today. £250 is not your price. Let's match the deal of the day price. Oh, my gosh, this is amazing. Go, go, go. Yeah, amazing. Under 50. I know, that's crazy for that huge 12 mil pearl with the gorgeous kind of orb going around it. And it's on split pay, 49.99. Uh, it's on split payments of 16.66. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. Carolyn Maker and Cheshire and Lynn and Conway, well unto you. Um, absolutely brilliant, my lovelies. Well done, everybody. That is just incredible. Over the moon for all of you today. Honestly, you've you've loved these pearls. Coming up, we've got amazing, amazing, amazing Blue John. Uh, very, very excited. Oh, look at the recording. It's like a lovely octopus. <laughs> oh, lovely. So we've got, see, it looks beautiful made up, doesn't it? Just stunning. Listen, we've got an amazing hour coming up next. We've got Blue John. Uh, we're going to show you a couple of clips ab uh, about the Blue John mine, where it's, where it's found, where it's located. It is a fascinating gemstone. We've got lovely, lovely strands uh, coming up. A lot of them are last in stock. They've been very popular in the past. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you in a sec. Welcome. Uh, here we are in Trickcliffe Cavern. I uh, wanted to sort of bring you and show you where the inspiration for uh, you know, our jewellery collection and, and the line that's been designed by Rebecca has uh, sort of come from. I, I, I really can't believe it's skipped now to the next generation. Uh, Becky's designs that she's actually done are, are, are truly amazing. Uh, but, uh, you know, I, I think a job must have been fairly easy because the material we actually work with is, is it, it, it talks to us, it tells us what we need to do with it and it's very, very unique. What is it about Blue John that you think is appealing to international audiences? I think it's fantastic the fact that it's a British gemstone and obviously everything is British handmade, manufactured um, and obviously promoting uh, British heritage and everything. Um, I think Blue John itself is a very unique individual stone and I think looking at its um, rarity and beauty and the fact that it's a, a British flora is fantastic and appealing to those all over the world. I was told that this British weather that's constantly raining was actually really good for rock formation and is a key ingredient in the colours that we see in Blue John. Now behind me you can see all these stalactites which are essentially the water that's filtering through the rocks that are above us 
picking up iron and other minerals as they go. And then as they drip through the, the walls of the cavern over millions of years, these stalactites will be forming. But it's this very same process that happens with the blue jean fluorite. And what's happening there is the water, which has picked up those iron minerals, is then depositing them in the fluorite crystal over a, a process that takes literally millions of years. And they bring these beautiful chocolate uh, and, and cognac tones. They add them in to the wonderful color palette that is blue jean fluorite. Blue John is rarer than any gemstone you can really think of off the top of your head. Uh, this is rarer than diamonds, tanzanite, any other material you can really imagine. And the fact that it's actually here in Derbyshire, in, in, in the, the, the hills and Treat Cliff Cavern, it's a beautiful, beautiful material to work with. 40 years ago, it was like a gift for me to, to actually stumble across and you know uh, have the opportunity to work with it. And now for Rebecca to be taking it on in her designs, you know, it's, it's absolutely a, a, another dream come true. Um, great designs, uh, but also a beautiful stone to work with. In the mine, we're looking for the best veins of Blue Jan to work with for this collection. It has to have that perfect colour, those deep purples and blues unique to this rare stone. Blue John is unique and it's really only mined in this one location, right here in the UK. It's really special to me and my father that started this 40 years ago. As a designer, I take pride in the pieces we make and all of them are handcrafted in our workshop in Derbyshire. First I start with a sketch and afterwards that gets translated to the CAD software. Then the processes involve crafting that design in beautiful gold and silver, finding that perfect stone and cutting and polishing it to the perfect fit all by hand. We take pride in each and every piece and can't wait to bring this unique collection to Gemporia. Fascinating stone, and to know that it's mined just a few miles from here is yeah. just brilliant, isn't it? I love it. It's our own. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a it's a true British gemstone. It's it's just so exciting to have it um, at all. And it was always one of those gemstones that we um, that we never we never expected to be able to get because it is mined in such small amounts you know a lot of the gemstones that we get i'll say a lot of them some of the some of the gemstones that we saw are mined on a um on a really big commercial level and with your blue john it is it is so 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 rare can i have my powerpoint please levy <laughs> this amazing gemstone wait for it this am there we go. This amazing gemstone, sorry, this is all, all, all these slides are slightly out of focus, I don't know why, but anyway. Um, this incredible gemstone was discovered in around 1750 in Treecliff, just outside Castleton, which is in Derbyshire. Uh, it quickly became popular um, in, in uh, using it in, uh, in decorative ornaments. And you can see on the right hand side here, um, various different kind of uses for it. So you've got, um, those beautiful leaded windows, those leaded windows are featured at uh, Chatsworth House, which is uh, one of the UK's uh, most beautiful, uh, one of the best kept um, stately homes, and that's in Derbyshire. And um, they've got in their kind of uh, private uh, residence, they've got a, um, a whole window made of Blue John, and it's a gorgeous kind of leaded window, much like, a, you know, the stained glass windows that you see in churches. Um, and Blue John, also known as, I think it was also known as uh, Derbyshire Spa as well, was also uh, um, uh, carved into bowls and vases and various different ornaments. Blue John is still mined in small amounts outside um, the tourist season. So the tourist season is kind of, get yeah, around about now, basically. 
Um, you can visit the Blue John Mines. It's um, what I love about whenever we bring you Blue John on Jewelry Maker, it, um, we always get loads and loads of people messaging and saying, oh, I went to the Blue John Mine when I was you know, at school. Yeah. Or my, uh, uh, we have um, messages uh, from a lady who was saying her grandma owned a, a Blue John, I think it was an ashtray or something like that, and she just remembers it. Or, or they own a small piece of Blue John, they bought it from the gift shop, or they went there on a school trip, or they lived just down the road from it, or whatever it might be. Um, the deposit itself is about 250 million years old. I mean, that's incredible. Blue John is synonymous with a couple of key um, um, uh, jewellers, one of them being CW sellers who are based up in, in the Peak District. And um, this is a really cool article that I found. Uh, it, was, it was published last year. Um, you'll be shocked. Britain's most expensive advent calendar costs 22 grand, but what does it include? So um, it's based on Chatsworth House. There you go. So you've got Chatsworth House um, in the background there and the, um, the, the advent calendar in the foreground, and that's what it's based on. And the most expensive advent calendar in Britain has been revealed, costing a whopping 22 grand. And here's what's inside. The luxury calendar is produced by the jeweler's CW sellers. The gorgeous box is modelled on Chatsworth House stately home. Gorgeous. So you need to see what's behind box uh, door number 24. The most wow. exclusive item in the calendar sits behind door 24. A Fabergé pendant made with Derbyshire Blue John um, at the heart of it. Now... That really is very, very special indeed. CW sellers are a fantastic family-run jewellers. Um, you can see them being interviewed in, 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 in all of the uh, Blue John, uh, all of the Blue John um, uh, kind of mine um, um, uh, footage that we that we bring to air. And you can and you can hear them talking and hear them talking about their their love affair with this incredible gemstone. There they are. This is Rebecca and Chris Sellers from CW Sellers. There we go. And they're talking about the mine, talking about the gemstone, what it means to them. And they put this incredible advent calendar together. And door number 24, which of course is the most important door for your advent calendars, um, they've collaborated with Fabergé. It's not the first time that they've done this. They have collaborated with Fabergé before and they've collaborated with Fabergé and put together a Blue John Fabergé egg in door number 24. That tells you everything you need to know about the value of this gemstone. And also, I mean, none of us can afford, none of us can afford that advent calendar at 22,000 pounds. But what will, but what will have happened to the value and the providence of Blue John because of that advent calendar. Literally goes up, literally just skyrockets. It can't help but do that. It's not gonna, it's not gonna negatively affect the value of Blue John, is it? It's not gonna make the value of it go down. If anything, it's gonna make it go up, yeah? Now, there are loads of different places where you can source Blue John from. Is it real Blue John or is it just fluorite? But well, that, that remains to be seen, but I can absolutely guarantee this is 100% Blue John uh, all the way from Derbyshire. Got a gorgeous ring here for 399 pounds. In fact, I think that might be on CW Sellers. It's a really lovely specimen of Blue John you've got there. Really gorgeous, all that beautiful banding yes. going through it. That's what you wanna see. And on the right-hand side, you've got these go this gorgeous kind of um, a table as well, this kind of occasional table. These tables were used for to kind of put lovely elaborate plants on, or maybe it was to put uh, business cards on um, and the like, or maybe uh, back in the day used for kind of writing on, um, not so much a writing desk, but to put it like a guest book on. And it's all about the table, you know, not just, not just, not just the book that's on the table. And that's a lovely, lovely uh, table there for £75,000. That's on first dibs if you want to take a look at that. Um, the pieces that we've got for you today are excellent. They are all 100% natural. They're all 100% verified. Blue John from Derbyshire. Um, as with all of the Blue John that we've had before, we've only ever had one lot. Well, no, we've had two lots of Blue John in. We've had one lot of kind of new stuff. That really has been it. I don't know where we stand on getting thing, anything else, but literally it is as direct to source as we can possibly get. You know, they're based literally less than 100 miles up the road. Um, and uh, yeah, it, the world wants this stone. It's not just us. You know, everyone in the world wants this incredible stone as well. I've got a few strands to bring you. Which is the first strand we're gonna do? Let's do, yeah, these ones here. Let's start off with this rice bead uh, strand. This is one of our newest strands. I think this has been to air maybe once before and it flew. We've literally got limited numbers of all of these strands. There's nothing new. It's all like literally last in stock, Blue John, okay? 
This is your first strand, and I have to say, it's an absolute beauty. The quality of Blue John you're getting here, the colours of Blue John you're getting here, the incredible patinations you would expect to get with your Blue John, amazing. So these really gorgeous stripes, these beautiful kind of lines going all the way through your stone. These beautiful kind of um, mineral inclusions which give you these diagonal geometric shapes, yeah, within the stone. Look at that one, that one there is brilliant. Look at that, isn't that absolutely gorgeous? And don't you love that rice bead shape, uh, Monica? Isn't it gorgeous? I do, especially with the faceting, because it, it's just so sparkly as well. And I've always mm. liked fluorite in general because of um, it's a little bit mysterious, I think. M massively you know? so. But yeah. obviously, because I love purple, and I'm not so not so keen on green. Mm. I've always loved the purple varieties yeah. of fluorite. So obviously, this is. Um, this is gorgeous. It really is gorgeous, isn't it? It really melds those together so beautifully. Um, <clears throat> interestingly as well, um, the, blue, the blues, the greens and the purples, they're all of a similar saturation. Tell you what they yes. remind me of. They remind me of beach uh, sea glass. Yes. They remind me of sea glass. It's, that, it's a powerful colour, but it looks like it's aged. It looks like it's been aged by the sea. You know how sea glass has got that beautiful saturated color but it's quite muted because it's been tumbled it's quite frosted almost yes. and it's almost like this has kind of got that gorgeous purple color but it's just the saturation's just been turned down ever so slightly it's not as bright and vivid as say a an amethyst purple yes i really really like it um You've got here the most wonderful strand of Blue John all the way from the United Kingdom. There's a lot to be said for that as well. You know, there's not many things, uh, you know, we, we do import a lot here in the UK, obviously. And with regards to gemstones, um, we, we, don't, we don't kind of have a, any of our own native gemstones at all. Uh, Blue John literally is the only one, apart from Kengon Quartz, if you want to kind of really clutch at straws. But, um, but that hasn't been mined in the UK for, for, for hundreds and hundreds of years. So $89.99, brilliant deal already. And it is, and it is on um, it is on split pay as well, which is absolutely brilliant. Okay. We're taking the price point down. We're gonna give you a phenomenal deal. It really is brilliant. It's absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Love it, love it, love it. $49. 99 Absolutely fan. Fantastic. Go, 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 go. Oh. 0800 644 Well done, everyone. 85 carats of your gorgeous blue, John, in these stunning faceted, uh, faceted uh, rice bead shapes. They're just beautiful. 10 opportunities. Oh. That literally, that, these are the kind of quantities we're talking about here. They're such, such, such small quantities. They're absolutely beautiful, aren't they? Well done. Uh, we've got Cheshire coming through as well. That's great to see. Well done. Oh, look at this one. Look at the look at the patinations oh, look you're the getting there. Isn't that, that just one, yeah. so lovely? And you were saying earlier that it looks aged. It looks quite antique, doesn't it? Very much mm. so. Do you think that's the shape or do you think it's the colours? I think it's a bit of both, actually. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I'd mm. agree with that. Well done, everyone. At forty nine ninety nine. Well done. Loads and loads and loads of people coming through. That's great to see. Well done, everybody. Gorgeous. Oh, look at that. The luster is so impressive, isn't it? I mean, these would be beautiful in something like a like a sun catcher or something like that. Oh, it'll, yes. It'll show the patterns. In fact, when we were on holiday, both my daughters bought little miniature dream catchers. Oh. Loved, yeah, that would be beautiful on the bottom yes. of a dream catcher, wouldn't it? Now, these pendulums, oh, every single time these have been to air, these have absolutely flown. We're down oh, literally to the last couple of chances. That is it. These are so cool. I love, 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 love this. This is kind of the way to end a piece of jewellery, to finish off a piece of jewellery with this lovely pendulous quality on the bottom of a necklace, of a bracelet. I mean, look, look at the magic inside this. And you know what? The magic only gets more when you start to... When you start to see light coming through these as well, because the light really just starts to bring out all of those. Look at that. Look at that. It's like a world inside that one there, isn't it? So, so, so cool. Well done, everyone. Here we go. Loads and loads and loads of potential with these. Absolutely gorgeous. Kim, we've got Janet and Kent. You want three of these, my lovely. Check out as soon as you can. Well done. Go, go, go. Here we go, 
99 well done to you absolutely gorgeous Kathy well done to you as well nine chances left well done to you Kent Derbyshire oh look how lovely that's Kathy in Derbyshire who's come through to get it have you visited the Blue John Mines let us know message us um absolutely fantastic yeah and, and also you know I can almost guarantee that these are going to be more affordable than some of the Blue John that you get from the you know you know directly from the um you know from the gift shop say I wonder if that one's going to come alive with the with the light shining through. Yeah, look at that. Look at those stripes. Oh, it's so fantastic, isn't it? Oh, I love it. Well done, everyone. Go, go, go. If you want to get three of these, uh, Janet, check out my lovely Sharon. Well done to you in Gloucestershire. Sharon, well done to you. Nikki in Merseyside. Kathy in West Yorkshire. Loads of you there. This absolutely fantastic strand. Well done. About to sell out. Well done. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Two left. There you go. Let's move on, baby. Yeah, here we go. These are beautiful Ooh. chunks. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Gee whiz. Oh, Monica, you're gonna love this one. Oh, wow. Look at the stripes. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Look, oh, turn the torch off. Look at those stripes. Okay, I'm gonna pull that away a little bit. Oh, look at that. Isn't that super cool? Oh, that's a super shape as well, isn't it? Do you know that, that is so cool. Now that those shape, zigzags. That shape makes it look a little bit more contemporary, I think. Yeah, I think you're right. That's that is that is just look at those stripes. Oh my wow. gosh, I love it. Oh, look at that. <whistles> very, very cool. Look at that. Oh, it's oh. just so cool. 250 million years in age. Gee whiz, that's old. That is seriously old. And what's so cool is, you, you know, you imagine this predates, uh, you know, uh, my daughters at school are learning about, you know, the Bronze Age and the Iron Age. This predates any of that business. Oh, yeah. This predates any of the dinosaurs. This predates any of it. It really does. It was lying under the ground, you know, forming 250 million years ago. She meant what Homo sapiens have been on, have been on planet Earth, what, 80,000, 80, 90,000 years? That's about it, really, isn't it? This is 250 million years old. 49.99 is not your deal. Isn't history amazing? Oh, yeah. But it's kind of numbers that I can't, I can't compute. I can't comprehend 250 million of yeah. anything. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? Did you hear about that person on the, who won the lottery the other day? 110 million yes. pounds they won. 110 million pounds they won. My son was learning about space the other day and he was telling me that they, one of the questions that the teacher asked was how many times the Earth would fit into the sun. Oh, gosh, And it's go something on. like 1.2 billion or something. No! Something like that. See that again? I can't actually, qu yeah. I can't comprehend, I can't quantify that. My brain isn't big enough. Thirty-nine ninety-nine. I can quantify that. Thirty-nine ninety-nine. That is a brilliant deal. Well done, everyone. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Well done, everybody. Absolutely phenomenal. Well done. Now, for the first time ever, last time we bought Blue Don to wear, we did rounds, oh. faceted rounds, or smooth rounds. Mm, I agree. Let's do these faceted ones first. Oh, wow. Four to eight mil in size. Faceted Blue John rounds. And this was one that was, when we first bought Blue John to air, everyone was asking, have you got rounds? Have you got rounds? Please, can you do rounds? Please, can you bring rounds to air? And we finally got them in. I'm surprised we've got any of these left. Not many left at all. Uh, they're just gorgeous, though, aren't they? They're so um, gemmy. They're so shiny and so sparkly. 79.99. Utterly, utterly, utterly. Oh, yes. Look at that recording. That is absolutely brilliant, isn't it? Well done, everybody. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, here you've got a lovely spread, haven't you, of your blues and your purples and your greens as well. It's all there, baby. It's all there. Well done. 69 carats for 79.99. Absolutely amazing. That's not your deal today, everyone. Totally 100% 
natural blue john all the way from derbyshire all the way from the uk how cool is that all the way down 29.99 oh wow and of course the rounds are a classic shape so if you get any of the more interesting shapes like the the, the big slabs that we had mm. um the, the rounds complement them really beautifully yeah nice yeah so yeah put them with them by all means and how many people, how many, I mean, how many times have you actually seen Blue John? Unless I'm in, you know, unless you've been to Derbyshire and looked in a jeweller's window, <clears throat> have you seen it anywhere else? Also, this is 100% verified Blue John. 100% um, uh, verified Blue John. So you've got real, um, you know, that, that, that gives you real providence. That gives you real proof. Get the authenticity certificates as well for an extra 25p. And it will say on the authenticity certificate what it is, where it's from, the fact that it's natural, the fact it's from Derbyshire, or it'll say the United Kingdom on it, and that it's genuine blue, John. Uh, Natalie in Merseyside. Uh, oh, I wonder if that's Natalie, Natalie. I bet it is. Oh, maybe. Hello, lovely. <laughs> Kathy in Derbyshire, maker in Northamptonshire, maker in Merseyside, Jeanette. Well done to you, Christine. Go, 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 go. Well done. Smooth rounds. Oh, so beautiful. Look at this. Nice, nice, nice. Of course, with this one, I'd have to sort of graduate the colours. Of course. <laughs> well, they're all around about the same size, I think, on this strand, aren't they? It doesn't yeah. look like there's too much of a graduation going on. Yeah. yeah. So these are six mil rounds. Because they're not graduated, I think this gives you the amazing opportunity to, as you say, ombre yeah, those colours, exactly. um, Monica. I think that's a great idea. And you know when you've got... Um, you know when you've got a gemstone which has got a faceted surface? You see the luster, you see the facets. Can you see into the gemstone? Yes, you can. But if it's a gemstone, excuse me, which has got real interest in it, you might miss some of those inclusions because you're looking at a faceted, you know, luster. With these, because they're smooth, because there's no facets on the outside, it lets you into that gemstone, right into the core of the gemstone, right into the, the soul of the gemstone it's just beautiful isn't it normal well done to you janet and kent well done to you they're, they're all so different as well aren't they monica which is just so lovely they are and also about the faceting i think it depends on what style of jewelry that you're making because if you're using the faceted ones you get more of a sort of a geometric look even though they're round but they're yeah. still faceted whereas with the smooth ones like for example if you're making a bubble style necklace i always think it looks better with a with the smooth rounds, yeah, because it's got almost like a softer look. I'd absolutely mm. agree with that. Yeah, definitely, it is a softer look. It's a more actually, this would work in a, in a beautiful kind of bubble kind of piece or a cluster design, yeah. wouldn't it? Sheila, well done to you. We're at thirty nine ninety nine. Jeanette, well done to you as well. Angus and Kent. Oh. Okay, Liam just said we shouldn't be doing what we shouldn't be doing what we're about to do. Oh, gosh, no, don't do that. Liam, don't do that. No, because I know, I know you're going to swan off to Hobby Maker again. We've got we've to do Jewelry Maker again. Mind you, by the way, just to let you know, Liam's with us tomorrow. Well, if he hasn't been sacked by them. <laughs> Which, to be fair, he might be sacked before. Yeah. Okay. Come on, Liam. That's a very good, that's a very good point. Liam could make his own leaving card because, of course, hobby maker. <laughs> I would love that. It would be huge, wouldn't it? Oh, I love it. I just love it. Do you know what? We had a, we had a guy, he used to, we had a lovely guy. I, I, hang on, let's just do this price point quickly and then I'll tell you a quick story. Jeanette, well done to you, my lovely. More people coming through. Twenty nine ninety nine. Twenty nine ninety nine. That is absolutely ridiculous. So we had a guy, a, a, a producer here, a, a lovely guy called Danny, and uh, he was working here, and then he left. So we all got him a, a leaving thing, and then he came back, and then he left again. And uh, production manager Ollie uh, wrote in his second leaving card, "Please see first leaving card for message," which I just thought <laughs> was literally the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Very good. Please see previous leaving card for goodbye message. Oh, funny. 18 chances remaining. Well done, everyone. Loads of people coming through. Gorgeous. London's got two. Angus has got two. Well done to you. Okay. Ooh. Oh, Monica, the kit's at 12 o'clock. 
Kids at 12 o'clock, the kids at 12 o'clock. Hey, ha, piddly pum, kids at 12 o'clock. Oh, those ta how long did it take you to make that tassel, Monica? Oh, about two seconds. What? <laughs> you mean it comes with the tassels? It does, yes. It comes with the tassels. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. Ombre shell pearl, ombre although, tassel. Although it might have been five seconds because I struggled to open the baggie. <laughs> <laughs> Wrestling with the bag. <laughs> Wrestling with the plastic bag. Oh, oh, I, I, oh, I love those big stations you've made there. Yeah. You are very good, Monica. Oh, thank you. Well, that's what I'm going to show you in the master. You really are lovely. Is that like, is, well, it's not a beaded bead, is it? It's what is it? It's kind of a beady bead. It's a variation. It's a larger beady bead. It's like a beaded beady bead. It's a super beaded bead. <laughs> I like this. She's up in the ante. Super beady bead. It's a beady beady bead. Okay, so that's coming up at twelve. <laughs> you can make them quickly. A speedy beady beady. Right. Okay. Oh, two more strands. We got two more strands of your blue jump. Right. Which ones? <laughs> oh yeah. The Marquis ones hanging down. Oh. Oh. Oh, look at that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee. Gee whiz. Gee oh, whiz. Look at that one. These launched at 49.90. These look a little bit like... Half. Okay, if... Really if... Sharite had clarity. Yes. Oh, yeah? Yes. yes. If Sharite had clarity. Sharite is a gemstone. I haven't made it up. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What's that? What's that quartz which has got all those different things in with the number? Something 36. What is it? Message in, please. No, not diamond quartz. It's like an amethyst. No, not Herkimer. It's got, it's got, like, it's got like different elements in it. It's, got, it's called something 18 or something. It's got gold and copper and... Zinc in it and all sorts. Messaging, what is it? Auralite. It's called Auralite, isn't it? But I think it's got another name. I think I might have made that up. Oh, gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it is Auralite. Auralite. Uh, 29.99. Kim, Linda, Lynn. Auralite 23. There you go. Uh, got I, there in the end. Hey. Okay. Got there in the end. In the end. I knew it was something to do with the number. <clears throat> Eileen, Kathy, that was hard work, was it? Sorry, Liam. <laughs> Sorry, Liam. Janet, Stephanie, well into you. But it's like, uh, yeah, if Charite had clarity. Right, which one? Faceted ovals. Mm. Yes! Faceted ovals. Oh, look at this beauty. Oh, nice. Nice. By the way, stop texting in Auralite 23 or whatever it's called. Don't worry, we don't, yeah, we know. We know now. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that gorgeous? Wow. 250 million years old from literally, what, about 60, 70 miles up north from here. It's... Mm. Just gorgeous, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. Now we're back to sort of more like an antique shape, but because of the faceting, you can also make it quite contemporary. Absolutely, so, yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's got that really lovely kind of slightly sea glassy kind of colour to it, hasn't it? It's absolutely beautiful. Thirty nine ninety nine. Julian Staffordshire. Well done, you, my lovelies. Well done, everyone. Absolutely gorgeous. What are we going to do, Liam? We're going to get ready for the. Kits at 12. Mm. Kit build up time. What a better way to start with meter long strands of pearls mm. with gemstones yeah. in them. Now we shouldn't have these. All of these have been stolen. <laughs> Is Wayno in today? He is in. A lot has happened, you're right. No, don't put them on pre- Okay, he's gonna put them all on pre-order. Okay, just do it. Yeah, why not? 
He's doing it so that he's doing it so that you can get them. So if somebody does come downstairs, if someone does come downstairs and say, "You take them off air right now," he can go, "Well, I'm feeling it. Can't, can't do it. <laughs> already doing it. Already selling." He's basically throwing the rule book out the window. <laughs> there is no rule book. <laughs> there is no bathroom. Okay. Are we doing this? Yes, please. Yes, please. Ooh. Oh, Liam, what are you doing? Kits, oh. kits, kits. Oh, oh, yes. With amethyst, go on. Meter strands, go on. Two meter strands, go on. Yeah. Amazonite, oh, amethyst, oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Mixed dyed pale pink and purple pearls. A purple, 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 purple. <laughs> Potato pearls. Right, okay, with a two mil drill hole. Okay, I've got a meter strand. Is that the one we were starting with? Meter. Yeah. Now. Smooth. Yeah. Here we go. Smooth amethyst rounds with your Jenny with freshwater cut to pearls on a meter long strand. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're going to get told off. Monica. Yes. It's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> totally your fault. Yes. Let's blame Monica. Let's blame Monica. Let's blame Monica. <laughs> oh, no, I don't want to blame Monica. Poor Monica. No. Oh. Uh, well done. Um, so these have, um, these are brand new. These are brand new. Now, when you go to schedule something uh, as a producer, they sometimes have something called a top note on them. And the top note is in bright yellow and it basically says, do not play this reserved for kits on the whatever, whatever, 2023. WD AM 12, 2023. WD AM. Wednesday morning. <laughs> Wednesday AM. Kit, I don't know. The 12th of, oh gosh, oh gosh. So basically it's got a big fat top note on it, which means we can't schedule it. This is why you haven't seen it before. So Liam's just taken that top note and ripped it up and put it in the bin. There is one downfall, we've only got how many? 50, 50. Oh, oh gosh, just get it, go, put it in your basket. Go, 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 go. You've got to put it in your basket. We've got to see you there. This has got to disappear. We've got, to cover, we've got to cover our tracks, guys. Yeah, we've got to cover our tracks, guys. Come on, cover the tracks. One meter of pearls and amethyst. $39.99 is where we're starting. Oh, for a meter. A meter. Wow. A meter of pearls and amethyst. A meter. Hmm. A meter. One meter. Susan, Carol, oh gosh. One minute, we're gonna go lower. Check out, go, 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 go. Well done, everyone. Oh, the phone's ringing. Oh, I don't like it when the phone rings in the gallery. I don't like it when the phone, oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Liam's not happy at all. <laughs> Liam just hung up. Who was it? <laughs> oh gosh. You are so gonna get done after the show. You know when you're a kid, you know when you're a kid and you see another kid do something, you're like, um, I'm telling of you. Um, I'm telling of you. Remember that? Liam? Um, I'm telling of you. <laughs> You telling me? Telling me what? I did nothing. Da, 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 da. Monica, mm. maybe if I give it to Monica, maybe if I give it to Monica, I can relinquish. You might any... not get it back. <laughs> Twenty quid. She's already stolen the glue today. Nineteen ninety nine. What glue? <laughs> what glue? What glue? Yes, exactly. Nineteen ninety nine. That is obscene. Well done. There's so many people coming through. It's a go go go. Well done, everyone. Don't forget your thirty day money back guarantee. Susan has got two. Why don't you Rupal and Carol and Maker another Carol Tracy Maker Chris Maker Karen. Well done. Hey Gary. Gary's there. Well done to you, Gloria. Well done to you, Ruth. 
Paula and Wendy. Loads of people there. Well done. And you've got your... Yeah, it's, 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 you don't need me to say two strands for the price of one, but it's basically... Well, it's three strands, right? Two and a half strands for the price of one, isn't it, really? Because you've got... Yeah, amazing. All of the amethyst, all of the pearls. It's so good looking. Susan in Leicestershire. Say again, love. How many amethysts? Oh, let's have a look. I know there's a little section which has got two. Two, four, six, eight, ten. <gasps> 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, mm. 36 amethysts and 180 pearls. There you go. Wow. Round about that. Mala, 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 mala. And they go so beautifully with the kits as well coming up at 12. <gasps> coming up in 10 minutes. Oh my gosh. Where's this morning gone, by the way? Does anybody know where this morning's gone? No. It's just disappeared. Wendy, Ruth and Gloria and Susan, well done to you. Loads of you there. Check out my loves. Over 50 in baskets and we've got 20 odd left. Mm -hmm. What's your first thought? What comes into your mind? Well, design, other than naughty Liam. <laughs> Price point, uh, uh, kind of uh, design wise. Well, you were saying about a mala, it's practically made for you, isn't it? With your, Pretty with much. Your there, but. Yeah, maybe like a multi-strand necklace as well. Mm. Mm. Nice idea. Because you've got so many gems there, because you've yes. got so many beads, you can afford to be indulgent to make those lovely. Oh, hang on. We really genuinely need you to check out. You've got to check out. We will get in trouble for this. Uh, these have all been top noted. We shouldn't have them and they're all brand new. Well, that's interesting. When you hold it like that, it kind of looks like a holiday necklace, but you don't, it's not, it's unusual for pearls to look like a holiday neck. What, like relaxed and yeah. boho? Yeah, it, yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. Nice though. Very Love nice. it. Well done. Ha! Ah, check out. Please check out. Please. Otherwise, the more of you check out, the less in trouble we will get. <laughs> and it means that Leeham can come back. Liam's back tomorrow, by the way. What? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm definitely not saying that. <laughs> the sultry sultan of savings. No, I'm definitely not calling him that. I don't like saying that word. Sexy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. It's the kind of word that my eight-year-old has to write down. She can't say it. Right, she has to write it down. God, love her. Oh, she's got it all to come. Right, here we go. Look at this. Oh. Now, mm. this, I think, is your holiday necklace. Yes. Very, very nice. Look at the Amazonite quality you are getting here. It's fresh, fresh, exciting. It's so beautiful, isn't it? Those gorgeous aqua tones, those beautiful kind of, uh, kind of uh, spearmint, peppermint kind of colours in here. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Oh, look at the, the neckline. Oh, we say. <whistles> oh, with a little charm. You know those lovely feather charms we bought you earlier on yes. in yellow gold plated oh. base metal. That would be nice. And it's just a little bit bigger than seed world pearls, but we so rarely have the smaller pearls. They're really yeah. nice, uh, as you were saying, with the, with the kits to make the, the things like the tassels for the kits. Defo, defo. Yeah, that, that, that's really nice. Yeah, to make tassels with. Lovely, so just a little relaxed, stretchy bracelet for a yeah. little flower girl to wear or oh, something. Yes. Twelve ninety nine. What a great price. Goes so well with the pearls, doesn't it? It brings that kind of water, kind of aqua kind of quality to it, doesn't it? It's so, so sweet. Well done. Leicestershire, Yorkshire, London, Norfolk, Yorkshire, Inverclyde, Gloucestershire. Well done to you. There's loads of people coming through to get these today. Well done. £12.99. Well done. Dorothy! Dorothy! Well done to you. She's not from Kansas. She's from Bedford. There's no place like home. But that's a good point as well. You were saying about the little girl. If you were going to make a pearl necklace for a little girl or a bracelet, it would look kind of out of place if it was large pearls. You Absolutely, know. yeah. It needs to suit so, them, doesn't it? Yeah. And as you say, just a little bit larger than a seed pearl. Yeah. Gorgeous. And the hour with the two meter trample. Which one? Oh, hang on. It's this one, isn't it? We may get the other meter. Well, what do you want to do first? You want to do the two meter? Wow. 
No, I'm not gonna skip with it. No, not with my knees. I'm not gonna skip. <laughs> oh, thanks for that, guys. That's nice. Bullying the workplace, isn't it? You know, can't even can't I can't even respond to what they just said to me. No, I can't. That's it. So two meters in length. That's a lot of pearls. That's a lot of pearls. You hold that end. Come on. Hold on. Got to go off screen here. Yes? <laughs> I know, literally <laughs> off screen. No, no one's going to skip with this, Liam. <laughs> Have you been injured in a workplace and it wasn't your fault? Phone claims direct. Hello. I wasn't carrying a bucket of hot tar. I was skipping with a strand <laughs> of pearls. Hello. I was skipping with a... <laughs> go on, Liam. You can skip with it if you want, mate. My dear, Liam's short enough. Liam's short enough to do that. <laughs> well, we had Dave Troth do a um, do a, uh, a cartwheel in the studio the other day. Oh, right. If all of these sell out, that that was amazing. <laughs> He's clearly on antibiotics that day. Um, if this sells out, Liam will skip with it. Oh, Ollie, you're so good with the math. A minimum of two hundred and how many? Fifty. Wow. A minimum of 250. Mon Monica's very good with maths as well. Very good at working things out as well. Six to eight mils, which is, ab sorry, seven to eight mils, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, price point wise, Liam, do you even know how low you're planning on going with this, love? Easily 100 pounds, yeah. Yeah, so potentially you've got about five strands yeah. here, haven't you? Yeah. yeah. Let's do 19.99 a strand. Oh gosh, that's amazing. It's 100 pounds. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Okay, so Pauline Maker, Pauline, loads of Paulines, Yorkshire and Manchester, Margaret and Inverclyde, well done to you. Put it in your basket. Put it in your basket, we're going to go significantly low. We're not going to do £79. What? How low are you going? <laughs> Shh. Oh. Shut the front door. Yes, you're going to want to get this. <laughs> Hang on, Liam's just said, for two meters of pearls, we're not going to 79.99. We're not going to 49.99. We're actually gonna go lower. Now, how can I explain this very quickly? When you run out of a strand of pearls, if you try and come back to Jewelry Maker and order the same strand of pearls, quite often it's sold out. If you order another strand of pearls of a similar size, you're always gonna be able to tell the difference between those two strands. It's like buying a separate roll of, what's it called? Not, not, not toilet paper, wallpaper, <laughs> wallpaper, wallpaper. They always look slightly different, yeah? These, you've got two metres, so get three or four of these strands and you, you, you're good to go, you're good for life. And they're all going to match. Six ninety nine a strand, because you've, you've ostensibly got five strands, Thirty four ninety nine. Oh my gosh, that's one of the best deals I've ever seen in my life. That's crazy. Deborah Maker, Devon, London. Oh, Liam, are you ready to skip? He's ready to skip? These have got to sell out, though. I mean, oh, he's ready. He's just... Anybody who makes bridal jewellery, I mean, you know, you get five of these. It's a gift. A it's while. an absolute gift, isn't it? Yeah. It's an absolute gift. Oh, gosh, Liam is almost ready. He's just doing his lunges. He's just getting ready to uh, to come and do the skipping. Oh, gosh. Linda, well unto you. Make a, make a uh, Cheryl and Karen and Susan. Make a Mary. Dorothy, well unto you. Sheila, Lucy. Rapal, 17 left. Oh, Liam. Ooh. Liam, you're going to have to skip. <laughs> come on, Liam, whilst this sells out, come and do your skipping. Yeah, come on, whilst it sells out, come on. Oh, gosh, this is going to be hilarious. Right. <laughs> Liam is notoriously <laughs> accident prone as well. Um, so this could, do you remember when he whacked his head in the, in the studio? And he went... Yeah. And whacked his head on. Just want to make sure... Oh, gosh, don't, don't, don't fall over. <laughs> Would you like to skip? Yeah, no, thank you. I have not skipped for so long. Okay. Are you slightly out of breath, Liam? That was really good. That was multiple oh, skips. Yeah, I thought it was just going to be one. All this kind of business. <laughs> Next time. <laughs> I was worried he was going to skid on the 
on the beads and kind of fall I think over. I'm going to land on the strand and break it and we fall <laughs> yeah, everywhere. <it> <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> ah! Right, loads of people missed out. Should we do the meter strand? Right, have a skip with this, uh, yeah, Liam. Yeah, come and skip with the meter strand. <laughs> oh, that would be so funny. <laughs> You'd really hurt yourself. Ah! Here we go. Meter long strand. Very impressed with that. Yeah. Very impressed with that, Liam. I bet you're impressed. You just went for that. That was brilliant. <laughs> you just absolutely went for that. Pauline and Gloria, well to you, my lovely. So it's a metre in uh, length. <laughs> I think we should use that, yes, in, in future training sessions. That's commitment. Commitment to the show. Producers that will go that extra mile. <laughs> Lorraine, make a Maxine, Margaret, well done to you. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant, well done. <laughs> Eating your own hat, I love it. Okay, third, yeah, a meter, sorry, say again, two meters, two meters, 34.99, yeah? Can we go anywhere near that at all? I mean, that, that is asking the impossible. Oh. That's asking the impossible. Because so many people miss out, we're gonna keep it at the same price, no? Because <laughs> of Liam's amazing skipping skills. We're going to take the price point lower. Here we go. Oh. Okay, you get, yeah. Um, oh, there you go. Well done. But aren't these bigger? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, well done. 17.49. There you go. Absolutely amazing. For a metre. Sheila Lucy Elvira, well done to you, Maker. Maker and Murphy Tidville, well done to you. Gorgeous, well done. Gloria. Well done to you, Margaret's got two of these. Well done to you, Jackie. Well done to you, Catherine. Lorraine, well done to you, Julian, Jackie, Susan. It's a go, go, go. Well done, 17 pounds and 49 pence. Well done, what a great, great deal. That is absolutely fantastic. Go, go, go. Loving you all, loving all these amazing deals. Oh, gosh, I can't get over the skipping. That was just absolutely brilliant. <laughs> that really was tremendous. Well done. Monica on the Isle of Wight. Well done to you, Merthyr Tidville as well. Lorraine in Essex. Check out Maxine in Berkshire. Gloria, well done to you as well. Check out, my loves. Gorgeous. Whilst you're checking out, when we come back... Oh, Monica. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous kits. These are so... Beautiful, these kits. Ombre kits in pink, in silver and in blue with your white seed beads. They're an absolute dream. We've given them to the one and the only Monica. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you in a sec. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. 
Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single P&P. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got Split Pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with Split Pay. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. You know, so we've been looking forward all show to these kits. They are so lovely. They're very you, Monica. They are, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Um, and what you've made is just, it's just so lovely. Can I just say, I love that lariat necklace that you've made. Well, this one, um, it can be worn in different ways. Um, okay. Over here, I can show you. So this yeah. is one way, the way Let's I've see. done it, just like that. And it's just a, a continuous <clears throat> strand. Uh, it took. Well, as long as it takes to strand or the whole strand of beads. It's Lovely. just got the, the seed beads in between as a space of beads. Um, and that's it, really. And it's a continuous strand. Yeah. And um, I've just put a jump ring on the tassel mm -hmm. and attached it in the middle there. So you can wear it this way. You can also wear it um, oh, right nice. twice around. Oh, gosh. Like that. Oh, how lovely. You can also, because the tassel is not very heavy, you can actually kind of twist it around and wear it almost like a double strand necklace. Oh, like lovely. Nice. So you can wear it different ways. Yeah, I and like it's that. It's really simple. I mean, it's just a straight restranding, And then you can do whatever pattern you want with the, with the ombre pearls in there. How lovely. I think if you were to make a, a, a Marla, a long line lariat or, or Marla length necklace like that with genuine, first of all, to go up to pearls, it would be quite expensive. It would also be quite heavy. And I yeah. think what's so nice about this is it's going to be so much more affordable because it's shell pearl and so much lighter. Right. Yeah, exactly. And great to take yeah. with you on holidays. If you're going to be going away on holiday, you might not want to take a pearl marla or a long line pearl of lariat course, yeah. away with you because, you know, you, you don't want to wear it kind of near sun cream. You don't want to, you know, with your perfume, all that kind of stuff. Whereas what's so nice... Whereas what's so nice about this is you can because it's shell pearl, so you can spray your perfume on afterwards. You know, you can wear your sun cream exactly. and, and wear it over the top. Exactly. It's just so lovely. Yeah. What's your favourite colour? Oh, um, probably the blue one out of these, I think. What, so this one? Yeah. Lovely. Should we start with that one? Okay, these kits are great. Um, oh, gosh, quantity-wise, there's like 100 of each, which sounds like a lot, but they're going to be very, 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 very popular, these kits. Um, <clears throat> in fact, on pre-order... I believe they've already started to go, which is great. Um, so, what are you going to be getting? So, in all the kits, you get a tube of um, Ato white seed beads. Um, again, much like the black ones we bought you earlier on, these are so, so, so useful. They've got the most incredible uh, kind of opaque white quality. And it's a proper white. It's not like a white with a hint of anything. It's a proper, proper, pure, brilliant white. 
You then get a metre strand of ombre shell pearl, and the ombre is just, it, it's so, it's oh, just it's spectacular. Beautiful. It's ombre from white through to, is that, are those two colours there? No, that's one colour. No, that is one colour, isn't it? Uh, kind of a, a lovely white through to this lovely kind of um, baby yeah. blue almost. Then through to what looks like more, now it's more of a greeny blue. This is more yeah. of a bluey blue, isn't it? More of a lavendery blue, I think. Yeah, it has got a touch of purple in it, hasn't it? Yeah. Um, so you've got four sections of each colour by the look of it, which is great. And then, look. But it's exactly And that's a metre long strand. Then you've got a tassel. This has all been done for you. This is so cool. You don't need to do this at all. It's so lovely. Quite often making these tassels can be a little bit challenging, getting the threading material yeah. through the through the little top like that. But this has all been done for you. Now you've got your three colors here again. You've got your lovely kind of um, baby blue, your kind of more lavender, uh, so your more lavender blue, your kind of greeny blue. And then of course you've got the gorgeous white as well. Um, and it just, it just finishes, it, it's just yeah. gonna allow you to use your tassels in such a quick reactive way. I think there's going to be a lot of people, Monica, multi-buying this kit because I think these yeah. would make the most amazing earrings. Oh, yeah. Look at this. It's a little and earring. Also because they're not too heavy. So they're no. great for earrings. Yeah. Isn't that lovely? Just as a little earring. That just so lovely. Or a little bag charm, maybe. And what's great with the, uh, if you put them all together like in, a, in a necklace is that the colours of the larger pearls are exactly the same colour as the yeah. colours of the, the tassel pearls. It's not similar-y or same-y. It's exactly the same colour. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, we've been given a uh, guide price of this. Oh, gosh. Don't look. It's too... It, it, I, I think this is too low already. This is our guide price, 49 99 Now, here at Jewellery Maker, we work very differently to um, how other places work. Uh, a lot of places will work with... Oh, uh, yeah, put it in your basket. You've got one minute. Put it in your basket. We're going to go a lot lower, OK? So, and also um, we have... You know, there are different business models throughout the world. And the main business model for a lot of businesses is, ah, right, okay, so we buy it for this much. How much can we sell it for? How much money can we make on it? Whereas here at Jewelry Maker, because we want you to come back to Jewelry Maker day after day after day, we don't want you to come back to us once or twice. We want you to come back to us 365 days this year. That's what we want you to come back to us, yeah? So we look at an item and we say, what is the very lowest price point we can get away with What's the very lowest price point that we can do? Because by offering you these incredible savings, by offering these incredible savings to you, you'll come back to Jewelry Maker. You'll come back to Jewelry Maker every day. And that's just absolutely phenomenal. So, $49.99 today is brilliant. Your price, nowhere near $49.99. Good luck, everyone. There's loads of you there. Are you ready? All the way down, Linda Maker, Yvonne Morag, Carola, Deborah, Maureen, Isabel Maker, Karen, Eileen Maker, Gordon. Oh gosh, there's loads of you. 29.99. Oh my gosh, that's so low. That's way too low. And I have to say, the shell pearls look amazing with these white seed beads in between them. They really brighten it I up, mean, don't they? I had most of the seed so beads nice. left over as well. So you've got more than half a tube of seed beads yeah. left over afterwards. And also the great thing about the size eight seed beads is that Yes, it's seed beads, and you can use them for the seed beading techniques, like yes. I'm going to do in my demo, but they're big enough that they kind of work as beads in their own right. Yeah, absolutely. They're the same size as your three millimeter round beads. Mm -hmm. um, so you don't have to be a seed beader to use the eight, eight O seed beads. And also, if you are a seed beader just starting out, then obviously the eight O's, you can do everything with the eight O's that you can do with the 11 O's. So, but they're obviously much easier to use, much quicker to use. Um, so, yeah. If you did a if you did a full necklace made with genuine pearls, you'd probably try a knot in between each of them. Because yeah. it's shell pearls, you might not want a knot. You might not yeah. want to spend that much time doing the knotting. So the the white seed beads offer that kind of punctuation. Effect. It's exactly. the same effect exactly. that you're getting. I mean, here. if I was to knot this necklace, which is almost a meter long, that would take a while. It would take ages. <laughs> yeah, it would take absolutely ages. And for what? You know, you've got to you, yeah. you've got to incorporate. You know, the price, um, you've got to incorporate the length of time it's taken you to make that piece into the price point. Yeah. Whereas this is so affordable, $29.99, and it's not your price. Okay, so here we go. This is the time when you absolutely have to check out. You have to, you have to, have to, have to. Um, we are not here to sell 
half the stock or even three quarters of the stock. We want every single one of these to go. So all of these kits are going to go to the same price. There you go. I've said it now, so we've got to do it. They're all going to go to the same price point. They're all on pre-order, so you may as well get them. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to be... Oh, my gosh. So we're going to be doing all these kits for the same price point today. Okay. They are going to fly. Edna. Now, Kebs, well done to you. Penny's got two. Actus has got two. Uh, well done to you. Oh, gosh, there's loads of people there. We're only, we're only doing this because of, across all three kits, we've got 300. Yeah, exactly, 100 of each. Mm. So we've got to give you the very, very, very best deal. You absolutely have to multi-buy. Go, go, go. Maker, you've got five in your basket, my lovely. Check out as soon as you can. A metre of ombre shell pearl, your ready-made tassel, and your white, opaque, Ato seed beads. Your deal today, crazy. $19.99. Wow. Oh, my gosh. I, yeah, I'd get this just for the tassel. Just for the tassel. Wow. Absolutely fantastic. Well done, everyone. Yeah, the seed beads on their own, $7.99 yeah. on their own. So you're telling me that for, what, 30, yeah, 12, 13 pounds for the strand of the shell pearl and the tassel. That's absolutely amazing. Well done, Robin in Gloucestershire. Well done to you. Eileen in Bristol's bought two. Well done to you. Marion, Heather, Lisa, Heather, Rosie, Lillian, Joan. Well done to you. Absolutely loads of you coming through. That's absolutely incredible. I might have to buy some of these if there's any left at the end. <laughs> absolutely. That, that's exactly it. Well done. Wow. Gorgeous. Well done, Wendy, Maker, Lisa, Rosie, Gordon, Linda. Well done to you as well. Absolutely fantastic. Lillian and Marion. Well done to you, Susan, Isabel. And as, as you said before, you don't have to use uh, the kiss the same way I have, obviously. You could use the tassel as a bag charm or something like that, if, like you said, or even a, a bookmark or anything like that. And then you can, the pearls, you can separate out into three colours if you don't want to ombre them as well. Yeah. Um, basically, you've got three strands of shell pearls there in three different colours. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, if you break <coughs> it down like that, it's a, it's a really good deal. Absolutely. Essentially, you've got a tassel, you've got the seed beads, <coughs> And you've got three strands of the shell pearl, so you've got five items there. So that's that's four pounds. That yeah, four yeah. pounds an item basically. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Monica. That's just incredible. Well done. Fifteen left. Absolutely flying. Okay, let's do the next kit, which is the. Should we do the pink one or the silver one? Pink one. Oh, silver one. By the way, is flying on pre-order. If you want to get it, yeah, already thirty percent of the stock's gone. I love this pink. It's like a lovely kind of. Peony pink, it's like a marshmallow pink. Is, but you yes. also get, as well as the pink, you get this really beautiful, um, like satiny pinky yes. colour. This is bridal bridesmaids. It's the most gorgeous colour. Look, if you put the pink next to it, you can see the difference, can't you? Yeah. Pink, white, and then this lovely kind of, it's not a champagne colour because it's more pink than that, but it's like, like a, a peachy, blush. Like a peachy colour. Like a lovely blush. Yeah. Rosé, like a rosé colour. Oh, <laughs> lovely. Um, and then, here's your tassely. They're so cute, aren't they, these tassels? Claire from Wiltshire just asked a lovely question. Does the grey go with the blue? I think, yeah, they all they go do, together. Yeah. yeah. There's your grey, or your silver, whatever you want to call it. And here's your blue. The price we're doing them at, you may as well just get them all. Get them all. Yeah, I think they get go them all. together well because they're all sort of the same sort of um, saturation and the same. They do. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. It's like a strand of really nice um, beryl, isn't it? Where all the colours yeah. are um, pastel, but they're all quite saturated, yes. if that makes sense. Yeah. Gorgeous. Here we go. Lovely tassel with this one as well. Oh, look, look, look at that little tassel top. Isn't that sweet? That's very beautiful. Little hat. So sparkly. You're getting that. And believe you and I, um, you know, speaking to various um, uh, uh, guest designers out there, well, I, I can think of Susie using these kind of tassel tops. It can sometimes take kind of more time literally threading the threading material through the bars yeah. of the tassel topper. Uh, as it does to, you know, it can take just as much time to do that as it can to make the entire necklace. But, you, you know, we've but taken all that out for you, all that hard Even work. if you're not a fan of tassels, you know, you can always deconstruct that. You can use the smaller piece yeah, or something good call. else. And you can use the, the top as a, as a bead cap or anything like nice. that. Nice. Absolutely, yes, as a bead cap, that would work so well. A cord ending for a rope necklace, some sort of... Yeah, lovely idea. Something like that, you know, so... 
There's lots of things you can do with that. 19.99 for you today. Well done. And then, of course, you've got one of the most useful tubes of seed beads you will ever have mm. in your jewellery making uh, journey. White 80 seed beads. They are so, so, so useful. Well done, everyone. Absolutely fantastic. Well done. Go, go, go. What a tremendous deal for you today. Goodness me. Uh, Actus, well done. You've bought three of these. Well done to you. Nancy Maker, Rena, well done to you as well. Okay, another... <laughs> this one's going to be the most popular. Here we go, all the way down. Let's just do it because this one's absolutely flying already. <gasps> already going completely bonkers. So you've got your silvery grey, your silver, and then your white. So can you see the difference in the three colours there? That is just so, so, so lovely. Look at that, £20, yeah, look, those are your three colours. Oh, I love that. I'd want to put some rose gold kind of galvanised seed beads with this one, I think, as oh, well. That would yes. be really nice. That would be Mixing nice. up those precious metal colours, wouldn't it? Or a red seed bead. Yeah, nice oh. idea, lovely. Dorothy Morag, Valerie Maker, Maker, Jacqueline, well done to you. Loads in baskets. Alex from uh, Hobby Maker almost slipped over then. <laughs> that would have been £250. You've been framed. <laughs> no, no, not really. Wouldn't, I wouldn't have done that, no. Uh, well done, uh, 1999. Well done, Stella, Pauline, Janet, to Alison, Ella, Maker, Lynn, Eileen, Belinda. Just ridiculously priced. Well done, everyone. Check out your baskets. Demo. What are we gonna do, Monica? Well, I thought you had. I thought I'd show you how to do the super beaded bead. Oh, super beady biddy. <laughs> Because as I said, the blue necklace is just plain stranding. Um, these ones I will show you, as the, the smaller beady beads are just a beady bead that's embellished with the seed bead. So I thought I'd show you how to do this larger bead. Lovely, yes um, please. At the bottom. So, um, so I've got all my pearls here uh -huh. and I've got my seed beads and I'm using my uh, wildfire actually in this case. You can use wildfire fire line. Any of those threads will work because the holes are quite big in the, in the shell pearls and obviously the seed beads are quite big as well. So any of your beading threads um, will work, okay? So now we're gonna start off similarly to how we make a beady bead. So I'm gonna pick up one of my white pearls. I'm gonna pick up one of the medium ones. I'm gonna pick up another white. And I'm gonna pick up a seed bead. So normally, a normal beady bead, you start with four beads. So I'm doing the same here. I'm just, one of my fourth, or well, my fourth bead is gonna be a seed bead, okay? I'm gonna bring that down to the end of my thread. <laughs> <clears throat> leave a little bit of a tail, just enough so you can stitch it in afterwards. And then I'm going to go through all four of those again. Uh-huh. Okay. And then I'm going to tie it into a double knot to tie those together into a circle. Okay. Right. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the white pearl that is next to my knot. Okay, so I've got four beads in a circle like that. I'm just gonna move up a little. Gorgeous. Right, so now I'm gonna pick up one of my medium gray pearls. I'm gonna pick up a white pearl. Can't stop looking at that ring, Monica. Oh my gosh, you're <laughs> so talented. And then I'm gonna pick up another one of my seed beads and then I'm gonna go through this white pearl that I'm coming out of. I'm gonna go through that again in a circle. Okay, so I'm going around like that. I'm going to do the same thing again, but now my thread needs to be coming out of this white pearl here. So I'm going to follow my beads around until I'm coming out of this white pearl here. Okay, then I'm going to repeat the same thing again, but this time I'm going in a circle this way around. So first I need to pick up one of the seed beads, then a white pearl, and then a medium gray pearl. Okay, and then I'm going to go through the white again. Okay. Right, like that. Then I'm going to do the same thing again. I need to carry on until I have five, well, actually, until I have four of my seed beads, and then I'm going to do it slightly differently. So I'm going to go around again until I'm coming out of the white pearl again. So now I need to pick up a silver. Uh, a white pearl, and then a seed bead. And then again, I'm going through the white pearl again. So I'm coming around <coughs> like 
something like that. Okay. So now I want to join these together to come together like that, basically. Okay. So first I'm going to come around again so that I'm coming out of the last white pearl, just like I've been doing. Gorgeous. So coming out of the white pearl. But now I basically I just want to join up the two ends. Okay. So I'm coming out of the top of this white pearl. Well, the bottom if I'm holding it like that, but at this side where the seed beads are. So I need to pick up a seed bead. Okay. Then I'm going to go through this white pearl here on the other end. Okay. Mm. So you'll see it starts to come together. Cute. And then I need to pick up a silver one. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then through this white pearl again, which was the last white pearl that I added. Okay. So when I pull that all through, it kind of comes together. Try and pull the slack of the thread out. So pull it a little bit tight. It looks a little bit kind of wonky and out of shape at the moment. Don't worry too much about that. Just try to pull the thread as tight as you can. So now I'm coming out of this white pearl here. Now I want to join together these five white seed beads. Lovely. So I'm going to go through all of those white seed beads. In fact, you can go through them, go all the way around twice. Okay. Gosh, it's Just amazing they take all that thread. To really <clears throat> enforce that. Oh. So you want that to be quite tight. Just keep going. So for this, um, I use probably about probably about a meter and a half of thread should be enough to make this bead. Uh huh. Um, I didn't measure, to be honest with you, how much thread I used for a bead. <laughs> <laughs> Dare you? Okay, so once those are joined together quite well and they're quite stable, those five, now what you want to do is you want to kind of join together the silver ones at the bottom. Okay, so we're going to make our way through the pearls, so mm -hmm. go th down through the next white until you get to the silver ones at the bottom. So I'm, now I'm going through the silver. But in between them, I'm going to put a seed bead between each of the silver ones. Mm -hmm. So pick up a seed bead, go through the next silver. Pick up another seed bead. Next silver. Now, at home you would pull the threads a little bit tighter because I've got some loose thread, but even if you don't, it doesn't matter because you're going to be covering up most of that with the seed beads in the end, with the embellishment, so it won't show, especially if you're using a white thread. So now I'm just going through all the silver beads and putting a seed bead in between each one. Okay? Right. So you can see if I turn it over, so I've got a seed bead between each of the silver beads. Okay. Now I'm going to do my next round where I'm going to bring in my darker pearls. Okay. So I'm going to do essentially the same thing I did in this row. I'm coming out of the silver bead. Now in this row, I want to put in the next row, I want to put the darker pearls and then I want another row of the lighter pearls. Okay. So now I'm going to pick up a dark pearl, uh -huh. a medium, another dark. And then the same pearl I'm coming out of, I'm going in back into it in a circle. Okay, so you'll see this makes the first section of my next round. So I've got a row of white pearls, a row of medium ones, dark ones, and then I've got my medium ones again. Okay, now I want to carry on, so now I'm going to go down the dark pearl. Awesome. So at this point, you just want to ignore these seed beads that you've put between the silver ones. Just pretend okay. they're not even there. Okay? Yeah. Now I'm going to pick up a light silver, a dark silver. Yeah. I'm just going to call it dark and light. No, I think, that's, I think you've described it really well. Okay. And then you've got the next light one here. So I want to come around. I want to go through that light pearl. Just the pearl, as I said, just ignore the seed beads. Okay, and then I want to carry on that way, so I want to come round again until I'm coming out of that last dark bead. So I'm going around through the lighter one, through the darker one. Okay, now I want to add my next section. Now I'm going around in a circle this way. Oh, if I can just hold it like that. I'm going around in a circle like that, so I've already got my next bead here. So I want to go through the lighter bead now, the yeah. next lighter bead there. And I just need to add two more beads to make up my next section. So picking up a dark bead and a light bead. And then I'm going to go through this dark bead here. 
and then again through that lighter silver. So I'm making a circle again, adding those two, two beads that are missing from that circle. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then again I'm going down the dark bead. Mm, if I can see the hole. Okay, so now for my next circle, I'm missing these two beads here, so I want a lighter, lighter bead and a darker bead. Okay, and then I'm coming back through, back towards me now, of that silver bead there, so that I have this section here. And then again, I'm going around again to get to the dark bead on the other end. Now, before you get to the end, so I've still got one free silver bead here, and if you count, you should now have five of your darker beads in the middle row, okay? So now for the next section, I want to go through until I'm coming out of that last dark bead that I've added here. So you'll see for this section, if you only look at the top layer, so don't look at those beads, you're looking yeah. at the top la layer, you've got your dark bead, your you're silver light. bead, yeah. and your other dark bead. So yeah. you just need to add one more light colored bead. But my thread is going this way, so I'm going through the silver first, and then the dark, and then I need to add in the last silver, okay? And I'm going around again until I'm coming out of the last uh, layer of beads that I've done. So I'm just following it around now so that my thread is in position for the next section there. So if you've done it correctly and you turn it over, you should have five of your lighter colored pearls there, okay? Now I'm gonna do the same thing I did here. I'm just going to put a seed bead between each one of those lighter silver beads. Okay, so these seed beads are there to first of all stabilize it a bit because it's a little bit sort of um, soft and squishy at the moment, which you don't want. Um, but they're also there because you're going to use them in a minute for the embellishment with the seed beads. Okay, so just keep going all the way around. So you've added in your five seed beads. Oh, I can't see the hole in this one. There we go. Okay. Right, so now I've come all the way around. And now I want to do the last layer. So this layer here with the white pearls, I want to do that on this end. So I'm going to do the same thing again. So now I'm going to pick up a white pearl. Oh, with all this light in here, it's hard to see the holes in the white pearls. I know, yeah. <laughs> Bless you. And then a seed bead and then another white, okay? And then this pearl that I'm coming out of, that one, my thread is going downwards, so I'm going the same way again, around in a circle through that silver pearl, right? And then I wanna follow my thread around again until I'm coming out of that last white pearl at the top, okay? And now I want to do the same thing again, but now I'm going this way around. So my silver pearl is already there, so I'm going through that silver. Okay, then I'm gonna pick up my next white. Sorry if I'm going a bit fast, I just want to make sure I get through the whole No, thing. I, think, I think you're doing a brilliant job, Monica, honestly. And then I'm going down the white again. And for anyone watching as well, don't forget the demo's gonna be on YouTube as well. You can always rewind it, pause it. Yes, of that's course. Always the the of course, yeah, because I mean, I, like I wouldn't that. expect anybody to watch this once and then remember. And go. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Off you go. It's like, <gasps> a, it's like in the cooking shows where they sometimes have to cook and keep, keep up with a professional chef. It's I like, know. how do you watch and, and work at the same time? I don't know. So for the next one, I'm picking up a seed bead and then my next white pearl again. And then going backwards through the silver. Uh-huh. It's not much to do after this, so I should be able to get through it, okay? So then through the white again. So again, I'm ignoring these seed beads, which are between yeah. the silver ones, so just pretend those are not even there. So you don't want to go through any of them. We are using the seed beads that are on this side, because that's in my current uh, round that I'm working on, okay? So now for the next one again, I've got my silver, so I'm going through the silver, picking up my next white, uh, yes, uh, and picking up my next seed bead, and then going down this white bead, 
around through the silver and through the white again. So I'm coming out of the last white. Yeah, nice. Okay. And then this is the last round. So I've got all my pearls here. I've got the two whites and the silver. I just need to add the, the seed, seed bead. bead in there. Okay. And then I just want to come around again seed so that I'm coming out of a seed bead. It's just so lovely seeing it all kind of drawing together. It's so nice. Yeah. I love this technique. It's it's basically so sweet. An extension of your beaded bead. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's kind of like layers of of your beaded yes. bead on top of each other. Nice. It's also called right angle weave, but I don't want to say that because people get scared from that. <laughs> the what? <laughs> don't say it. Right, and then you want to go around the seed beads again, just to join them together, just like we did on the other end. Okay, so this is the basis of your super beaded bead. Mm -hmm which is done. Okay. So just go around there a couple of times. Now I'm going to have to join in some thread. Do you want to show something while I join? Yes, absolutely. Okay. What should we do? Eight mil white shell pearls. Yes. Defo, defo, defo. These are lovely. Lovely size on them. We don't see many eight mil oh, nice. shell pearls actually. Um, pure, pure white. And if you want to make these kind of designs that Monica's making here, then, um, you know, shell pearls are the way forward because, of course, you get that definite consistent size. You'd end up with the biggest beady bead, I think, in the, on, on, in, well, the, in the history of the planet if you did it with this size. Actually, the one that I'm showing you now, I'm going to join the, the beady beads together as, um, as a rosary link and I'm going to put one bead in between the rosary links. So those would be perfect. Ah, nice. To add in. Yes to add as that little kind of, um, yes. as that kind of breaking point uh, between the two uh, kind of capsules, if you like. 4 .99. amazing, just take them, go, go, go. That's the beauty of things like Shell Pearl is they are so unbelievably affordable. It's just brilliant, isn't it? Well done, everyone. Paula and Teresa, maker in East Sussex, well done to you. You've got three in your basket there. T taking the price down again. There we go, Pamela, well done to you, my lovely in Surrey. Here we go, all the way down, £3.49. Oh, wow. Well done. <laughs> Just take them. Go, go, go. Um, it's always great bringing you things like this. Always brilliant being able to bring you prices like this. Eileen and Ella, well done to you as well. Great to see you all today. Thank you so much for joining us. It's been oh, just so wonderful to have you all with us today. Thank you very, very much, my lovelies. Maker in Northamptonshire as well. Stella in Somerset, I can see you there, my lovely. Well done. Check out, you've got twos and threes in your baskets um, there. So well done, everyone. Gorgeous at three pounds forty nine pence. It'd be hard pushed to get almost anything these days for that kind of price point. That's absolutely brilliant. Well done. Yeah, it's a coffee. It's a it's a it's a sarni. It's a I don't know. It's a yeah whatever. Uh, Make well done to you, Linda in uh, Shropshire. Well done to you, Sally in East Sussex. Well done to you. Gorgeous. Well done. Are we okay yes. to go back to you? Yes. Perfect. Okay, so I've just gone around the white seed beads on the end. Yep. Just to bring them together, just like I did on the other side. Um, now, the embellishment I want to put across the middle here. Also, with the 8mm beads, what you can do is you could use the 8mm in place of the dark ones here, which make, would make the middle of your bead a little bit fatter, so it would make it a bit more round. Oh, nice. So that would be a different uh, variation as well, so you could use your, your 8mm in there as well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through one of these pearls and one of the seed beads here so that I'm coming out of a seed bead there. So through the pearl. Yeah and through one of the seed beads, okay? And then for the embellishment, I'm gonna pick up seven of my seed beads. Five, six, seven, okay? And then you'll see, so you've got your seed beads next to each other, yeah. in the middle two rows here. I wanna go through the next one on the other side. So it creates sort of like a diagonal line like that. Cute. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing again, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Now I want to go through the one on this side, the next one along. It's connect the dots. Yes, it is, basically. <laughs> seven again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and then seven again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. <laughs> and then seven again. Now, because you've got an odd number of beads, you've got five beads around, it kind of carries on naturally. Three, four, five, 
six, seven. So the next seven is going to go to this bead here. Okay. And then from here on, what you're going to do is you want to create a sort of a cross. So now I want to jump across to there. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to share the middle bead. Ah, okay. There. So I've been adding seven. So half of that is three, and then you've got a middle one, and then yep, another three. Lovely. So I'm just picking up three. And then you want to find the middle bead on this section here. So if you don't count the original beads that were in the bead, yeah. and you count the seven, then it will be the fourth one. So one, two, three, four. And I'm going to go through it from the bottom up. Okay, that way. Oh, that's such a lovely. Okay. And then I'm going to pick up my other three. Lovely design. One, two, three. And then I'm going to go through this one here. Mm -hmm. Right, so that creates a little cross there. And then repeat the same thing again. One, two, three. Find the middle one. One, two, three. Fourth one. And then this time I'm going from right to left through that one. Okay, and then pick up the other three. One, two, three. Through the next one that is sticking up there. And then the same thing. One, two, three. The middle one is this one here. So I'm going from left to right through that one. And then three more. One, two, three. It's not difficult, I don't think, this, um, this B is it's quite repetitive. One, two, three, from right to left through the fourth one. Nearly done. One, two, three, through the middle. There you go. And then one, two, three. One, two, three, four, from left to right. And then one, two, three. And then the way I like to finish it off, so I've gone through the next bead as well, which doesn't matter because I'm planning to go through there anyway. Right, so that's that's my beady bead finished. Oh, cute! There, essentially. Okay. And then the way I like to finish it off is to make my way along to where my tail thread is. Mm -hmm. So just go through the seed beads or the or the pearls. It doesn't matter as long as you sort of follow an existing thread path. Pattern, yeah until you get back to your tail thread and then you tie a knot, a, a double knot with your tail thread and then you just take both ends through the pearls again. And then just quickly I want to show you, so on this necklace, what I did after that, so these ones here, which I've already pre-made here, ignore the last bead, that's just a beady bead in the middle. Yeah. A normal standard four bead beady bead. And then I've put some white seed beads in between the beads and then did the same crisscross across also with seven beads to make those smaller beads. And then on these one, this one I've just put them on the rosary link. Mm. Okay, on the pink one, I just threaded beading wire through. I've threaded them on through the beading wire, put those on as stations. Um, I started at the bottom actually, so my beading wire just goes through the top of the tassel and then added on one pearl and then my large bead there, another pearl and then I've separated it that way with just on beading wire. But this one, what I thought I would do with this one is I've got my tassel here, which I've already done. So I did a wrapped loop on the end to attach my tassel. Then I've threaded on a seed bead, a pearl, and then I'm just going to straighten out my wire. And then I can just go straight through the middle of my large beady bead. Like that. That's so satisfying. How <laughs> lovely. And then put on another pearl, which I should be using 0.6 millimeter wire, but I ran out, so I've got 0.8. So it does go through, but it would be easier to use 0.6, but it doesn't matter. It just works as well. Like that. And then I do another wrapped loop there. That is and then such a lovely design. What I'm planning to do, I will finish this and put a picture of it. Yeah, uh, that would be really nice, Monica. Is to go in two directions like that, use all the pearls to yeah. make up the rest of these beads, and then in between put links with just a single pearl, or maybe with a seed bead either side as, as the links that join them up. That is going to look so nice. So that one, this one will give probably a little bit more movement than mm -hmm. this one. A bit more articulated, isn't it? Yeah. Because you've kind of hinged it almost with the yeah. rosary linking sections. So th this is where the eight millimetres would work really well as well. Yes, as absolutely. Between. Thank you so much, Monica. Oh, what a brilliant pleasure. demo. Thank you. <laughs> Yay. So <coughs> we've got a few more strands to bring you between now and the end of the show. Um, all the phone's ringing. Oh, no, don't do it. <laughs> Somebody's in trouble again.
I don't, yeah, I know. This is it. The phone's ringing and oh god. Right, okay. Um, which one are we doing now? What do you reckon, gang? Berry shell pearl. Yay! Frosted shell pearls. Oh, I think I have like that these. strand. <laughs> it's beautiful. Oh, that with a pink kit as well. If you wanted to. Oh put yes. Pop of color in there. Might nick hmm. that very quickly. There we go. There you go. Oh. How gorgeous is that? Sweet, sweet, sweet. Two ninety nine. Should we whip up a bit of a frenzy? Oh. Yeah, come on. Come on, Liam. We spoke about this before the show today. We're going to do it. Here we go, everyone. All the way down. Enjoy. Bish, bash, bosh. 179. Wow. 179. Ho. Well done to you. Go, go, go. Lots and lots and lots of people coming through to get this. You know, I love this colour as well. It's a lovely kind of, yes. a slightly kind of autumnal pink, isn't it? Yes. Pinky purple, like a summer fruit pudding. Gorgeous. Well done, everyone. Loads and loads and loads of... Um, of, of people coming through. And do you know what? This kind of price point as well makes it so affordable, so accessible. Yeah. That's what's important to us. We want to make things as accessible as we possibly can. 179, Elizabeth. Oh, Monica, what a demo. Wow. Fab <laughs> from Betty. Oh, it's from Betty. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Well, it was a great, um, a great demo. Oh, my mother-in-law's called uh, Elizabeth and her name's Betty. Oh, yeah. I've never called her Elizabeth. Always Betty. <laughs> Always Betty. That's it, William and Bill. Yeah, there you go. Yes, let's do the black. Oh, yes. Oh, black. Well, that would work with a silver kit, obviously. <laughs> it would work with any of the kits, to be honest. I know. Yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? That's unusual. We don't often have... Like a proper black five ninety nine. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that beautiful? Three ninety nine. As Monica says, these will go with all of the kits that we bought you today. Whether actually, whether it's these kits or the kits in the nine o'clock hours with all the K two oh, yeah. Jasper. Oh yes. Margaret, Jax, Hillary. Uh, Kathy, Maker, Dorothy, June, uh, Amanda, Mary, Maker in London's got four. Three ninety nine, brilliant deal. Well done, absolutely fantastic. I'm, I, I'm just trying to think actually, have we done much black shell pearl? I don't, I think, don't we think have. So. And I would definitely multiply that because, um, well, not multiply, multiply, multi buy, <laughs> multi buy and multiply. <laughs> right, yeah. Same, same. Because it's really great uh, if you're making gemstone jewelry and you need something light. But yes. Black ah, to put yeah. Between good call. Your gemstones, because then you can use larger gemstones, but you can reduce with, the weight. With the white shell pearl, it's got a touch of kind of coco, coco Chanel. Oh yes, absolutely. Which one? What do we do? Gold. <laughs> Always believe in your soul. These would go beautifully with. Oh, pretty. There you go. With the gorgeous daisies oh. we did earlier on. With a lovely daisy, 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 with a lovely daisy, here the hings. They go beautifully with the beautiful yeah. daisies, don't they? It actually makes the pearl in the daisies look more gold, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? How funny. Yeah. It's definitely kind of pinky there, it looks there like isn't pinky, it? Silvery pink. Not there, anymore. Oh, interesting. I like that. Oh. Amazing. <laughs> Gorgeous shell pearls. There you go. Lovely kind of buttercup colour or a like cowslip colour. Like a primitive. Oh, on Monica's face! Oh, how Wait, dare you! I'll get out of the way again. Okay. There we go. <laughs> there you go, everyone. <laughs> Poor Monica. Uh, <laughs> totally. Straight over there. There we go. Uh, there were eight ninety nine. There you go. Well done. Right. Well done. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Poor Monica. How dare you? It's just done. She's just done that amazing demo. Let me go and put the graphics over her face. <laughs> right. What are we doing? <gasps> yes, these are gorgeous. Look at those. Oh, beautiful. Ooh. Pearls. Lot of luster on those. Oh, I thought it was a meter. Oh, no, it's three strands. Look at the size of. Wow. No. What am I doing? These three. Look at the <laughs> size of these pearls. They're humongous. Wow, look, oh, good, 
Oh, gosh, they're brand new. Brand new strands. Oh, yeah, they're brand new strands. Brand new strands. Oh, but, 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 but. yeah, the coffee bean clasps. Oh, my gosh, these are so beautiful coffee. Yeah. Yeah, coffee bean clasps. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Here we go. Well done, everyone. Look at the size of these. Wow. <laughs> 29 99 Oh, my gosh. I can't go. Oh, dear me. Look at this. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. Well done, everyone. 19.99, isn't that just gorgeous? $19.99 for your gorgeous three strands of the most amazing Baroque pearls. They're so big. This one's my favorite. Yeah. I love that. Look at the size of that. Yeah. It's incredible. You could do loads of things. Oh, look, a lovely no, heart-shaped like one. No, oh my oh. gosh, these are so lovely. 1999 well done totally beautiful and brand new down down deeper than down yes the pearls and the amethyst yes yeah oh look faceted amethyst Aww. Yeah, really cute. Aww. These are gorgeous faceted amethyst rounds you're going to be getting here. People are already coming through. Maker in London's bought two, Carola in Oxfordshire, and they're in South Yorkshire. I think amethyst looks amazing with pearls, doesn't it? It's a lovely, yeah. very classic combination, yes. isn't it? Um, I think the amethyst, you know, because it's, it can be very sparkly, it's very rich and deep and vivid in colour, yes. looks amazing alongside the, the white kind of um, purity of the pearls, yes. doesn't it? Sally in East Sussex, well done to you, my lovely. London's taken too. Angela in Yorkshire, well done to you. Gosh, they're really good amethysts, aren't they? 12 99 that's amazing. Julie, well done to Maker in Manchester. Sally, well done to you in East Sussex, well done to you, my lovelies. Well done, everyone. 0800 644 655, go, go, go. Well done, everyone, at £12 and 99 pence. Kathleen in Monmouthshire, Margaret. Margaret. Have you got any pirate memory games, Margaret? Yes. Right, here we go. So, recapping Turley Bird. Well, which Turley Bird? Because there was two. This bad boy, here we go. The earrings, the gorgeous sterling silver. How, I still can't believe this. Sterling silver earrings in the shape of daisies with two freshwater culture pearls in the middle of them for $8.99. And we were saying that with these gorgeous daisies, you could take the peg, uh, sorry, the pin on, uh, sorry, the post, turn it over into a loop. Yeah. You've all of a sudden made a pendant. Um, you could literally take that little loop off the bottom there, turn that loop over, make it into a ring. Yes. And just for a pair of sterling silver studs, you know, without pearls, without any kind of design and craftsmanship involved, you know, are they going to be, are they going to be 8 99 No, they're going to be close to kind of 15, 20 pounds. There's so much you're getting here with these earrings. So much design, so much quality, and you've got all those gorgeous pearls and all the sterling silver yes. for eight ninety nine. Loads and loads and loads of people there still. Linda's got four pairs. Claire's got two pairs. Maker's got, Kent's got two pairs. Kathy's got two pairs. Well done to you. Go go go. Okay, we've got time for uno más, por favor. Right, which one? Yes, the big pinky pearls. This is. With two mil drill holes. These are so round, I thought they were shell pearls. No, Monica, they are genuine. Freshwater, mixed dyed, pale pink and purple freshwater culture <laughs> potato pearls. Let's say that with a mouthful of food. There you go. So, gorgeous colours. I don't know. What do you mean, where are we getting it off? You are literally stealing it all, Liam. <laughs> by the way, Liam's back tomorrow. You're, you're going to be shopping tomorrow, by the way, um, Monica. Yes, probably. Just make aware. <laughs> Monica in Buckinghamshire, she's going to be through. 19.99. Not your deal to that. How do you shop? Is it on the app or do you phone um, Apple? I have the, the website on my phone. Do you? Yeah. I prefer using the website. 
Yes. Get it immediately. <laughs> I love it. Margaret, Valerie, Linda, well done to you. Because the hypo cement went so well today, Liam might make another bundle with them. $12.99, by the way. Yeah, let's have a look at one of the kits from yeah. tomorrow. <gasps> oh my God. What do you mean, wait? That's beautiful. What do you mean it gets better? I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting. <gasps> oh. oh. Oh, opal pearls. Yeah, that is like a thing. Good grief. What do you mean, wait? Oh, oh, I want that. Uh, is that with Susie tomorrow? No, with Claire. Oh. Claire McDonald. Claire McDonald had some pearls. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Amazing. Wow. Yeah, they're just your colour as well, those purple yes. ones. Well done, everyone. I can see what you mean that I'm going to be shopping tomorrow. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> That's it. These pearls are just brilliant. Okay, so... So that's tomorrow with Claire. Very excited about that. That's going to be absolutely brilliant. We've got the Hague strands hopefully back in tomorrow with Dave. That'll be brill. Oh, we've had a couple of requests through. That's why Liam's... Okay, we could do it by picture. Somebody wanted to see this. We put it on pre-order and didn't play it. From the nine o'clock hour. What is it? A, a meter strand of four mil pink terra jaspers. Oh yes, in the, yeah. yes, we did have those, didn't we? Yeah, we can show you the picture. There's a lovely picture. Tana. Tana, Tana, Tana. There you go, everyone. There we go. Lisa, you asked for us to play this. There you are, my darling. Gorgeous, <laughs> 999, well done. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, thank you, Kinga. Oh, She's wow. She's so that, good. That's impressive. She's just amazing. <laughs> well done, Lisa. <laughs> A meter of Terra Jasper. Oh, dear me. Gorgeous. Well done, everybody. Oh, dear me. Thank you so much. Monica, it's been lovely to see you today. Oh, thank you. That was thank a brilliant you. demo, by the way. Oh, thank you. M mucho, mucho concentration from you. You did very well. <laughs> that was really trying hard not to go Three wrong. very similar looking shell pearls. <laughs> oh, but thank you so much, lovely. Join Dave and the gang after this for Hobby Maker. You've got an amazing afternoon. Oh, he's boogieing away. You've got a great afternoon planned. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you the other side of this. I'll see you tomorrow morning.